Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Final Fantasy. I did just as I said I was going to. I went back to town and I bought heal potions. I bought all the heal potions because we're going to need every single one just to get to this damn volcano. Ah, now, I do have kind of a plan to get to this though as I've already gotten most of the treasures on the first floor. Which means I can go right past it. Hello, sphinxes. We'll beat you up. Just cool. Uh, no, no, for a regular lightning spell? Uh, since I already got most of the treasure on the first floor, I got a few upgrades out of it. Mostly the- Ow, Jesus Christ, that crit! Mostly the new, uh, sword for P, which is awesome. Mmm, I'm so into that. Looks so cool. Don't like the fact that, that Sphinx lived, though. Try switching targets a little bit. And uh, because I did kind of bloop my way through it in the previous attempt, I did find exactly where the next fiend is. Ah, damn it! I missed! I was supposed to kill that Sphinx! I did find exactly where I want to be to get to the last fiend, kill his ass, and get the fire orb and all the volcano done. However, there are a lot of treasure spots in this entire volcano slash dungeon. Stop missing, jerk! And they hold a lot of really good treasures that I kind of want. I don't remember exactly where they are. I just know there's somewhere in here. For example, one of them is, I believe, the an ice sword. I want to say there's an ice shield as well. I think that's a thing. But that's somewhere in the dungeon. So because of that, I also really want to find those. Which is why I bought so many heal potions to get through this place. That was a long fight. I'm sorry. A healthy amount of experience points though. Hmm. Experience points are delicious. Your growing body needs experience points. So... I'm not going to use any spells as much as possible. Just going to use these heal potions and then stay on fire to avoid most fights. <laughs> oh, the flashing lights. Okay, so here was... I don't believe there's treasures in here. Like, those, those walls kind of look like it would be a building to get inside, but I don't believe that's the case. It's just kind of there to throw you off. You just want to move on. I was so close. I don't want to fuck with you. Uh, I should really hold on to my ice spells. Although you're not hard to kill. Nope, we're getting out of here. Here's the thing. So these guys, they don't turn you to stone. I, I believe they just instantly kill you. They have, they have uh, some other ability that just instantly kills you. Like rubber, the equivalent. This place also doesn't have any treasures. It's just the stairwell. Through here. I think we might be getting to the point where we could get some, get some treasures or two. Damn it, it's been way too long since I played this game. That's also great because it, it feels relatively fresh to me, making it exciting for me to play. Not that I wouldn't be excited to play this because I love this game. Okay, so we got a decent amount of heals left. Alright, um... Let's try going this way just to see. I have a sneeze coming on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, I was wrong. I was very wrong. There are no doors in here. I'm a fool! Okay, but I can use this way to also kind of get to the exit. Yeah? Shit. Two giants. We can kill giants, right? Yeah, we can kill giants. Uh, regular ice spell is plenty. Oh, we'll hit the giant with the giant sword! Ah! Three hits. No actual extra damage, because that's broker. Oh, that reminds me. I was looking into the, uh, the thief running away ability and how exactly that works. And I was, I was partially right. Partially right. So... The luck stack is supposed to affect how well you can run away. And that is glitched in this game. 
Uh, but not in, not entirely in the way that I described that, it just didn't matter. The way uh, this game figures out how you can run is that the character attempting to run in your party, it's like their luck stat is uh, compared to the current status of the party member two slots below them. So whether they're uh, paralyzed, uh, asleep, or poisoned, I believe that's what actually matters. So whenever Jurd attempts to run, it checks how how Joof is doing. Anytime Peeb tries to run, it tries to check how Ian is doing. And anytime Ian or Joof tries to run, tries to run, it checks the slot two spaces below them, which doesn't exist. Which is where the glitch comes from. So instead it uses some other, uh, set, like some other value within the game that's just always there. So because of that, I believe Jurd still has a slightly better chance at running so long as Juke is okay. But I don't believe the luck stat plays into it as much as it once did. Or something like that. There are people who know that stuff better, but I was just- I was curious and I looked it up and tried to remember exactly how it works, but... There you go. I hope that clears up some confusion or makes you more confused. I don't know. Man, I've already gone through 30 heals. Okay. So our first set of treasures that I want... It's just Grey Worms. Grey Worms we can handle. As we approach this treasure, this monstrous ward bursts out of the ground and screeches at us. <laughs> Undeterred, because there's treasure before us, we start cutting the shit out of this worm. And freezing it. Oh, that did a healthy amount of damage. Maybe he is actually weak to ice. Dope. Alright, sure. Finish it. Ah, oh, the Joof double stab. For two. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Alright, dude still hurts. Got it. Nice triple crit. That's what you get for biting. Yay! A soft. I don't... I like I already forgot what was in here. Grabbing him anyway, because I like money. And we're using more heals. Basically all the money we're getting from that chest is gonna go... <laughs> right back into replenishing our heals as soon as we're out of here. Uh, alright. Full hit points. Oh boy! Mm, I mean, might as well, right? Right? Yeah, might as well. Regular ice spell. I'm gonna save the uh, ice two spells for the uh, boss in this area. That's my plan. I don't know how large this worm is supposed to be. Oh! 189 damage for three hits? 104 damage from Joof? I'd like to imagine that Peep somehow like rode onto the back of the worm, just took his giants or just. Uh, as it's like dashing at Joof and Joof is just powering up an ice spell and blasts it into its face and just slams and slides and stops right before Joof's feet. Frozen to death. His blood like frozen over his gross worm skin. What's in here? More cash money? So down is where I want to go. I th Over here is treasures? Yeah? Okay, lots of treasures. But also, definitely red dragons and shit. And... Probably okay. Let's get this one first. Cash money. Ice sword! That's what I wanted! Yes! Okay. So... Let's trade these around. Alright. P current status is 37 damage, 69 hit percentage. To 4574. Fuck. That's a good ass sword. Alright, well, thanks for being here, short-lived giant sword. Okay, here we go. Mad deeps, peep. Use an ice sword. Oh, big bite on Ian! Oh, another juf crit though. Haha! -ha! Three hits, 103 damage. It's, it's solid. A 74% chance to hit is ridiculous. Beeb's chance to miss is so low that we should be seeing a lot of uh, consistent damage coming out of him, especially with the multiple hits. Haha! -ha! 
207 damage on a crit. Hmm. I don't believe Jerd can use that. Level up for Jerd! Strength up. And some hit points, like 28. I'll take it. Yeah, it levels up. Not a whole lot. Intelligence, vitality. Nice. Can't hold any more. Shit. $7,000? Yeah. Alright, so we are full on armor? Okay. Buy silver hats. What was in here? Flame shield. Okay, so ice. Yeah, ice flame shield protects against flame. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me check those stats first. So, P current absorption duration is 44, evasion 37. Swaps up the silver line shield for a flame one. Bringing them up to 48.37. Excellent. And just because I want to make sure, even though I know it's the case, Jerd can't use the ice sword. No. Okay. Just want to make sure. Alright, awesome. And then I haven't gotten this chest yet, which is a pure potion. Cool! So those are the main upgrades I wanted to get. That's awesome! I uh, want to heal Ian a little bit since he did get a big chunk bit out of him. I have more hit points than Ian again. That feels good. I just got a, my damage increased by one since I got a total of two points of strength. Great! Aha! Alright, awesome! Dun, 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 dun. So, let's, you know what? Let's, let's try our fight against the Cerberus. Or Cerebus. Ow. Scorched damage didn't do a whole lot. Come to think of it, I don't know if actually the flame shield will actually protect against fire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Peeb. Well done. Cause no, I think this game like had it weirdly backwards. Cause you figured a flame shield would keep you warm and protect against ice. Rather, it's the flame shield that protects you against fire because it's the same element or something weird like that. I think. I don't remember anymore. So, I didn't really talk about this a whole lot, but um, one of the cooler things about this game is that I could have gone to the ice cavern first and inside the ice cavern is a fire sword and an ice shield. So I could have got that stuff to bring over to Gurgu Volcano to help with all the fire shit. Instead, I did it this way. Oh, a chance to strike first against a gray worm. At this point, we've seen so many treasures. We're like, hey guys, I think there's a worm underneath our feet. Stab the ground! Which is why I got crits. Oh, Peep's got crits. Ian's still smashing with that hammer. Smash some more! Another one! Jer, double hit! Ah, oh, he got a bite off. I was hoping for, like, no damage whatsoever. Ah, we still got him killed. Is that, uh, just Peep Juice level up? Yeah, it is! Hit points up, strength up, agility up, agility up. And Juice got two more hit points! Uh! 155 gold. 10 gold. So when you play, don't go in this room. It's a waste of your fucking time. Damn it. What was this room? More treasures with something. It's uh, Agama. This should be easily handled with our new weaponry. Freeze! 51 damage. George, damn it, the fire lizard! Ian smashes his foot or something. Ow. Just like double slaps Jerd a little bit. Uh, uh, peep? Oh, Ian with a big crit. 32 damage. Two more hits from Jerd to finish it off. The Agama got crit by Ian and he turns his attention to him. That's when Jerd knew his exact moment that he had to backstab him. Twice. To get a wooden staff. Troll ass game. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. Damn it. Joke's on you. I wanted that sweet Agama experience. Didn't want that damage on Joof, though. 
<laughs> Whoops. It's fine. That's why we got all those heal potions. Oh, 267 crit from Peeb. Dude, that's like the next threshold. The moment we see someone melee crit for over 300, that's gonna be so freaking exciting. Okay, I need to heal up Joof. Poor Joof. Are you thirsty, buddy? Here you go. Drink up. Give Jerd some as well. The rest of us are doing all right. Oh, so much. It's a lot of bulls. Which I will gladly fight because you actually take damage from fire too. And I can hold on to the ice twos for the other actual fire elementals. We can fight them. So the way I'm trying to play this is that, oh yes, Peep just took down a fucking bull all by himself. Oh, it's so good. Remember when these guys were scurry? Uh, so the way I'm trying to play this is that I want to get a decent amount of level and experience points for my party so that we don't get our asses handed to us. But I'm also not to try not to level up too hard for a uh, pretty crucial moment in the game, which we're actually getting towards pretty pretty soon here. Like after I finish up the volcano, that's gonna be our next major goal. And down in here, this place. All right, so there's a lot of treasures in here. I don't remember what's in what. I got the main things I wanted, which was the ice sword and the flame shield. Everything else is probably money. Um, I don't know what else. I know the bosses. It's down on the left. We're, you know, we're doing okay right now. Maybe we should explore a little bit just to see what stuff we can get. This is a dead end. Unless it's mostly dead ends. It's been so long since I've been in here, I really don't remember. Go over to this burrow. I remember the, on the left side, there's that red dragon. Uh, oh, whiz ogres and a gray ogre. Well, we can mute the whiz ogres. That'll fuck them up. And then... Lightning to the rest, why not? 40, 30, 64, 44. Not great. I think these guys just have a lot of natural magic defense. Oh, yes, silence the Wiz Ogres. One of them. One of them. And the Grey Ogre got silenced. He doesn't cast spells, but take that. Haha. -ha. One of them couldn't ruse himself, so he can stab the my beam! <laughs> Fuck. He's gonna be hard to hit. Peep, focus him. While the rest of us gang up on this other wizard ogre. A wizard ogre's kind of terrifying, because they're big and beefy, and they can cast spells. Terrifying. Peep, go! Oh, one hit? Oh, no. We're getting blinded again. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Just let Peep unshot all of the wizard ogres. The rest of us can catch a little co cop on the gray ogre. You think blind, being blinded will stop me? Fool, I feel the battlefield, not see it. My sword is but a natural extension of my body. It's a branch that bends, branch that bends to my will. Ow. Please die. Oh man, if that was a third hit, that would have been close to uh, over 300 damage on that dude. Hey, he's still dead. Oh, you can't walk past Candelabras? Damn it! So, as some people kind of pointed out in uh, the comments, which I never actually knew about until I started playing this game again just now, is that a lot of treasures that come up as empty aren't actually tre aren't actually empty. This game uses a lot of linked treasure chests, in that if you get uh, a chest in one spot, uh, it'll remove the treasure from a chest in another spot but they had the same treasures. So I don't know what was in there, but the fact that it was empty just means that whatever treasure it did have, I already got. I'm gonna ice two of these bros. Oh, fuck. That was semi to pee. This might actually might hurt, but I thought it would. Well, we got the anti-fire up just in case. Ice sword? Ooh, 
no. Oh no, okay. Shit. Actually, a little concerned. Good ice damage. Ha! Huh. Still alive, though. Uh, do I have a... Uh, I don't want to lose my life spell. Uh... Guess I'll just, uh... Just, just do some cures on Jerd. And then we do a regular ice against bottom bro. Cause, oh god damn. Oh Jesus, dude, they're beating the hell out of Peep. Kill him. Good. Didn't figure you had much left. Get Jared a little bit of hit points. That was awful. Just awful for a cute 2 spell. How much you want to bet this chest isn't worth it? How much you want to bet? The lightning. Eh! Ooh, that, that could actually do... Ooh, ooh, that could have been way deadlier against Joof. Oh yes, critical hit! Okay. Goddamn red giants. Yay! What was in here? Is it empty? And thus we learned a really important lesson. You know what? I don't think I want to get any more chests in this whole fucking area anymore. I kinda got a feeling that they're all gonna be empty. And would uh, much rather just move on. Sound good? S sounds good to me. Use up the. I've, I've gone through all of our heal potions in this freaking area though. God damn. Is it because all the monsters hurt that much? Or is it because I'm just using that many? Or is it because I'm using that many? from uh, the lava floors that I'm walking on. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to get out of here. Just because I want to move on very badly. I'll still have Peeb attempt to kill one. Yeah, them all being able to ruse up before the battle starts kind of sucks, though. Get us out of here, Jerd. And leave this place. Alright, let's, let's just go. We're just gonna go. Gonna go. It was down ya. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. There we are. Okay, almost there. Just gotta deal with a couple more dudes. Once you got get past a couple more dudes, then our true tests will begin. Kill that Cerebus. Oh yeah, babe. Deeps! Uh! Chick attack! Uh, the three of us continue to stab the shins of this ogre. Oh, he keeps rusing though! Is it. Is it. Ruse? Oh, never mind, you get crit! Bitch. There's uh, one of those spells you can double up on, I believe. Like, if you cast Ruse or. Uh, invisibility? Or something to that effect? It'll actually double the effect. I don't remember what. Damn it. I wish I knew, because it'd probably be a really good effect or trick to have. Eh. Ah, okay. We're there. Time to use up our last bit of heal potions. Make sure we're all, uh, top shape for this. Or at least close to, close to top. Good enough. Whew. Okay. Let's do this. Is it you? The tinder that defeated the fiend of the earth and disturbed my sleep. Oh wait, hold on. Let me try that voice again. Is it you? The tinder that defeated the fiend of the earth and disturbed my sleep. I carry, will now show you the force of fire and you shall burn in its flames. Oh shit! Fiend of fire, baby. Second fiend fight. Here we go. So... I know, alright. Cut. Cut. Uh, anti-fire, most definitely. Juf, Ice 2. So a little fun story about the first time I ever fought this is that uh, it was really hard for me to figure out what this uh, graphic was of. Just because, again, older screen on an NES used into the antenna. Not the strongest 
graphical comparison. So I always thought it was kind of like a, uh, you know, I always thought it was a dude with an insane mustache. I, I, I don't know how else to explain it, like, uh, so Carrie, like, you, like, you see her, like, her boobs, like, the purple bra going across her chest, and, like, her stomach there, I thought maybe, like, that was an open mouth going, ah, and they just had an insane mustache going out to the side, <laughs> uh, with swords, and I, I don't know what the rest of it was, but, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a, a Lilith, more or less. Uh, so we got anti-fire up, which is awesome. Can... can I mute you? I'm gonna try to mute you. And keep blasting you with ice, too. Oof. On the weaker side for ice, too. Five hits on Peep! It's a lot of hits! They're all coming in from the mustache. Mute! Damn it. I have no idea if that actually works against the fiends or not. Three hits! Yeah, so she's carrying four... four, five? Yeah, she has five... Six blades. So I guess she could do up to three hits. Alright, so since Peep just got like sliced up by a bunch of blades, uh let's go let's get it uh uh cure two on Peeps. Despite our best efforts, it doesn't seem like Ice 2 is doing a lot of damage. If it gets that many swords, Peep won't stand a chance. Fast Peep! Give him the Oh six cents against Jerd! Woo! I got her attention just enough time for Juve to quickly speed up Peeb and then Ian cures him up. So now Peeb taking that ice sword is ready to fight. Six hits, 216 damage, critical here. Yeah! And now he's just like parrying all the blades, no problem, while getting his own attacks in. Jerd, we can take the step back. Ian runs up with a cure three spell already in hand and presses it upon his wound. Juve! Uh. Duh. Lightning 2! Use all the blades as like a lightning rod and have it course through all the metal. Beam! 6 more hits, 160 damage terminated. Yeah! Ugh. It's alright, Jared, you're weakened, but you gave just enough dis distraction to help Peeb finish her off. And then uh, we do a little bit of this action. Gone up here. Boom! Check it out. Our second orb is lit. We now have two of the uh, crystals of or orbs, elemental orbs, now lit. So we're more or less halfway through the game. That's pretty freaking exciting. Uh, so we are going to use a cabin to heal up a little bit, save the game, and get out of here. The graphics messed up a little bit. Normally when you step on that platform to light the orb, uh, like huge beam of light comes uh, out of the orb and like up to the sky in a diagonal fashion, but the graphic wasn't showing on this. Full disclosure, I'm playing on my cartridge, but I'm using a Retron 5 so that the graphics look as nice as possible and, and because it's the easiest way to capture it for me playing and for the everything. So I guess something just messed up with the Retron on there. I'm sorry, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, so let's uh, we're gonna go back to town. We're gonna go back to town and uh, buy all the heal potions again. Replenish that. And then we're gonna move on to the next area, which will be the ice cave. I was, this image always was really funny to me. Just two people on a boat wearing hats, just staring at each other in the eyes, going, Yep. Ow! Fucker. Look, I've got an ice sword now, bitch. Want some of this? Let me too. Get fucked, Hydra. You think I'm afraid of you? Haha! Ha! Jump, 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 jump. Nice. don't remember, but I'm curious about Peeb's ice sword in the ice cave, though. Because I might need to switch him back to the giant sword if most things actually resist his ice damage. I thought that was... Maybe it was just on other ones? 
I thought that was broken. Like one of the many bugs in this game. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Back to damn it. Alright, fine. We'll kill peeds. Peep! Kill the peeds! Fire three! Yeah, you forgot I had this, didn't you? I've been saving for this moment. That sucked. That also sucked. Damn it. <laughs> no, even Peeb's damage was relatively low compared to everything else that he's been doing. Hey, Jerd. Look, we're about to sleep. Go hog wild. All the spells. All the spells. Put them out. Put them out. Poison! Sturdy son of a bitch. It's a good thing I killed the super hard monsters and picked up one pure in the volcano. And I'm glad that the liquid in that potion is still okay and not, you know, uh, like, boiling. Uh, have I showed Peeb's overworld sprite? Or Joof's? This is what Joof looks like on the overworld. There's actually, like, a graphical glitch. When he takes a step, the back of his hat, like, changes, like, skin tone colored instead of being the hat colored. Which is weird. Anyway. Go ahead. Fix you guys right back. And we'll go heal. In the end. Locked away with a lot of gold out of that place. Killing so many dudes and finding it all in treasures. Still gonna hold on to all that money though, because I still need it. And um pretty much good on level five spells. I can't even use level six spells yet, so I so I probably won't I won't bother buying level six spells here yet. I'll I'd rather do everything else first. Like, get to the point where I can actually use level 6 spells. Because, especially since I don't even know if I can use all the level 6 spells in there. It might be like, you can't use this, you dummy. It's like, oh, okay. I kind of wish it was a mechanic where, uh, for some of the spells, you had to have so much intelligence to cast it or something. But it's not quite the case. I got all the heals back up. We, I rested, right? I rested, two orbs down, and now we're gonna make our way to the next location, which is the ice cave. Ice cave? Ice cavern? It's one of those descriptions of cave, I forget which. Now, despite what you may think, going to the ice cavern is not uh, a place with a fiend or an orb. It's not. It's actually, it's, there's no ice orb or ice crystal that we're trying to revive. We're just, uh, we're just going to an ice cave. So this, uh, I didn't get to talk about this a whole lot before. I want to talk about it now. Uh, especially when it comes to RPGs in general. Um, and people brought this up a lot upon Final Fantasy XIII's release. Because Final Fantasy XIII got a lot of criticism for being linear as fuck. And it is. To which people try to build defenses for that game saying, Well, if you think about it, all RPGs are actually extremely linear. And... There's some truth to that, yes. However, I'm at a point in the game where that linearity that people like to argue about currently doesn't exist. As I said before, I went to the volcano, but I could have gone to the ice cavern first. Whoop, this is definitely not the right way. I think I have to actually take the ship up and around somewhere, come to think of it. Damn it, I don't remember. Uh, sorry. So, I could have completely skipped the volcano and then gone to the ice cavern first because minor spoiler what we're going to get in the ice cavern is the floater item which is a magical stone and we can use that stone in a special desert and retrieve the airship and once we have the airship we can go anywhere in the world so we could just completely skip the volcano get that airship move on and do a million other things and then come back to the volcano if we wanted to and then go through it or we could have done the volcano, which is, you know, what's suggested. Then go to the ice cave, because then you have the weapons for either or. Or you can do the ice cave, get the floater weapon, and then go, uh, go back to the volcano, and then go get the airship so you don't feel like you miss anything. You don't gotta do that. And even, uh, a much more minor one was the moment that we, uh, had the bridge built back at the beginning of the game. Where the fuck am I going? Sorry, I got myself all completely lost and confused. 
Uh, when we got that bridge built, I immediately went to the second town because I knew it was there and that's where you're supposed to go. But, one of the things the game does to help make it feel uh, bigger and more realized in the world it is that I didn't have to do that. I could have gone straight up north to Matoya's cave and met with Matoya and learned there that she's missing this crystal and she can't see it. I already knew about it, so I kind of skipped past it. Um, and there's also, I can also like just walk around the world, go to like dead ends more or less. That's how I discover things like the Peninsula of Power, which is stumbling upon it. So one of the things that this game has that a lot of later games uh, don't, especially way late in the series. I keep going the wrong friggin' way. I'm talking after starting it like Final Fantasy... I guess 10. 10's, pretty, 10's got that linearity to it. 12. Maybe. I haven't played 12 in a long time to really remember. 13 for sure has got that linearity. And then for 15, there's like, oh yeah, motherfuckers, you want non linear bitch? Open world. Why is everything beating the shit out of me? Anyway. So yeah, the, the way this game is set up is that uh, there are many junctions where, yes, there is a single path that you have to go to hit those story beats. But there's a lot of uh, branch. There's a lot of uh, try. There's like there's like a lot of branches off to that side of that main path that you could go to that let you experience something else or get do little neat fun things or or whatever. I'm like talking and also trying to remember where the fuck I parked my ship and got myself completely lost. This is not right. It's all the way back to the east. Damn it. <laughs> uh, so, and that's something that I always felt this game did extremely well. Is that there are several moments where you don't have to follow the main path. You can explore a little bit and feel like you're a part of this world and it's bigger than you realize. And that's why those uh, little moments where you get to explore further out than than you ever had previously before, whether it's the bridge from Corneria, uh, using the TNT to destroy the canal so that your ship can leave that, that center lake. Those are all very small things that they did to just be like, this world is large and you can explore it, have at it, dude. And that's a, that's a feeling a lot of the Final Fantasy games were missing, or a lot of RPGs in general. So that's kind of my counter, counter argument to people who are like, a lot of RPGs are linear, if you think about it. It's like, yes, but. Because they're, they're not entirely wrong either. And I'm just talking about the story bits. Anyway, I'm sorry it's taken me so long just to get the ice cave because I went the completely wrong direction. But that was something that I always found just fascinating about this game or other RPGs in general. And I wanted to bring it up. Okay, back to the sea. Now there's a special drop off point with the ship that we gotta use. Just to get to, uh, just to get over to the ice cavern, which I really want to do. These guys aren't worth my time fighting. So don't. Thank you. It was... I think this is it. So yeah, you can actually park your ship at the end of a river, right at the mouth right there. And you can use that to get into your canoe. And now we just gotta go through this bullshit and try to remember where it is. Which, I remember that forest. So I believe it's actually up left and around. Let's kill this Ocho. Since Peep's got this super good sword, I bet he could do some, uh, do some testing of our strength, how we fared against previous difficult enemies. Should really heal Jurd, huh? Yeah, but we killed a fish! Yay! Cure three of them. Oh, good crit, Joof! Woo! <laughs> yep, I'm back, baby. Take this. Fuck you. <laughs> Down to three. Ah, uh, having a lot of close calls. All right. 
better. Oh, fuck! Okay. I was right. It was up and around, but it's over this way. A much longer way up and around. God damn alligators. They've teamed up with the fish. What was once their natural prey is now their ally. The world truly is in chaos. I just want to run. Again, they're not worth a whole lot. I'm going to I'm gonna use a house before we get into the ice cavern. Because the house will save uh, magic points a little bit. Is that what I wanted? No. That's a dead end. It's like a big open thing to a dead end. That's the ice cave right there. Kill about Chogo. I like killing these. Do you only have one eye? Or are you missing it? Should you have another eye? Stab? Double stab? As he barely touches Ian with his three hits. Jerk ass. I believe, from what I remember, the ice cave was another uh, many owls place. We just walk into it and it's. It'll be many owls. Lots of things will hurt. I don't know if it'll be as bad as the, uh. As the volcano, since it doesn't have the, the, the lava tiles I was stepping on. There we go, back to land. I believe, uh. Someone tells you to go here. I think it's one of the sages in the circle of sages mentions. I hear there's a floater in the ice cave or something super cool in the ice cave. You should check it out. Mm. Yeah. Bam! Single, or I guess single attack from P for three hits to kill an old I'm gonna kill these guys because I think it'd be faster to kill them than actually fight them. Right here, we'll use up a house. There we go. Oh, I'm almost back to full, so good enough. That brings, yay! All right, magic restored. So here's a weird glitch with the game. Uh, houses are the only thing that restore uh, magic points and hit points. But the way it's programmed is that if you use that to restore your hit points and magic, the game actually saves itself before the restoration of the magic points. So if you just use a house and you die and reset, you'll come back, your hit points will be healed, but your magic points won't be, because the game saved before that happened. So like, it, it, it heals your hit points, then saves, then brings back your, or, or brings back your magic, but if you load the game, it just loads it and doesn't heal your magic, so it's totally weird. So. You just throw on a tent immediately afterwards for an extra save to fix that. Anyway, ice cave. All right, so this place, this is another one of my uh, fuzzy memory place. Freaking wizards. Are you even hard anymore? You used to be, I don't know if that's still the case. Can I kill one on my own? No, Beeb definitely can, yeah. They average, what, 100 hit points or so? So I guess if Jerk, Eden, and Joof focus on one, they can kill it. Joof taking a lot of damage! Can't say I'm a fan of that. Yeah, anyway. So, kind of fuzzy memory on all of the ice cave, ice cave, ice cavern. Uh, just because it, uh, the whole thing with this place is uh, you're uh, hopping between floors a lot and you have to go through a very specific way to get to a couple of very, very specific, very important chests. Freaking die, wizards. My god. I really wanted Juve to kill one. Just because a wizard on wizard melee fight would be sweet to watch. Or boring, depending on the wizard. Alright. Need these guys to die, please. Thank you. Good crit from Jerd. Juve stab! Yeah, you did it! They're like ready to have a magic battle and just Juve gets right up in his face, pulls out his dagger, plunges into his heart and just whispers, I don't even need magic to defeat you. Uh, heal up, Juve. 
heal up Drew because he was straight up bullied. And Wraith's Inspectors? Can't say I remember Wraith's at all. Blast him with Harm 2. And Fire 2. Harm! Okay. Maybe not that tough? Oh, that one lived. Hmm, was anyone attacking that bottom spell? That bottom wraith, because I'm about to waste a fire two spell. Damn it. Oh well. Well, now you're super fucking dead, so. Meh. Yay. Down here. This just goes around. Okay. So. I believe. So I, th I, th I think that's the. I think that's the place I want to end up. Oh man. Okay. I know I want to go down first. And then. Oh my god. This is gonna be tough. Ooh! Frost Dragon! Oh! Oh! Ooh! 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 Okay! Oh boy! Do I have anti-ice? I do. Awesome. We're throwing out a heal too. And fire three. I'm, I'm gonna fuck around. Fuck you, fire dragons. That sucked! Come on! Both of those suck. Please don't kill me. Don't kill anyone! Ah. God damn it. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, oh, shit. All right, so that's that's just all kinds of unlucky. They had they had the preemptive strike, froze three fourths of the party to death. P leveled up. Okay, um, gonna do like I did in the volcano and take this moment to kind of explore and get a general idea of where I'm supposed to go. Oh, sorcerers. You cast spells. What? That wasn't even a spell, he just touched him. I used that tent after I used the house. I forgot to sell and get rid of some stuff. Okay. What did we learn? We learned to just drop this goddamn stick. Get out of here. Um. Holy shit. Okay. Learned a couple things. Anti ice is going to be important. Don't fuck with sorcerers. What, what, do you like just roll awesome on the wild magic table or something? Red bones, see you're not shit. I don't care about you. I'm gonna run because I don't want to lose a lot of hit points fighting you. But you're nothing. Oh my god, all right. Dude, I remember, I, I guess I, I remember this place, like I said, being a lot of owls. I don't remember it being instant death owls. Let's try this way. Maybe this way won't be so bad. I think this is just like a big square. All right, wraiths. We can handle wraiths. These guys aren't, aren't, aren't too bad. Yeah, uh, just a harm two even kills them. They do okay damage. He's got just over 100 hit points based off of Peeves' hit. Off the peeps hit in the previous time we cast uh, harm and all the rays. Ian, want to step up, buddy? Shit! Damn it! 
trying to gonna try to do the same thing. Ah, God damn it! I lose Juve at this point. There we go. Good harm two. Weak harm two. Weak harm two. Those guys were already hurt, so they're dead. Damn it! I think they they just like go through like so much armor because they're ghosts or shades or whatever you want to call them. But still, holy shit! All right, stab the wraith. Ow! I think uh, I want to say the first time I got to this point in the game when I played it. Uh, this wasn't when I, when I was like a kid kid. At this point, I was probably somewhere around high school was when I tried to play it again, like early high school, I, I want to say, give or take. Maybe middle school, I don't remember. So I wasn't like a kid kid. But I do remember leveling up a crap ton for this place. I guess because of shit like you're seeing now, everything just deals so much damage. Oh man. Okay, so... We're in for a rough one. Hope you're all prepared for that. Cause I sure am. Okay. Uh... Going over here... Do a bit... Oh, don't let him fight first! Oh! oh, damn it. Images aren't as bad as wraiths. The wraiths do all the pains. Peeb is paralyzed. Jerd, run! Um, just use that harm too, AN. God, get us out of there. God damn. This. This shut up, just beat the shit out of Peeb. And they're wraiths too, so they just beat the shit out of his soul. There it is. Going down. And then we're going right back up. Oh, yeah. This looks really familiar. Okay. So... Mm, I want to run, I want to run, I want to run. Okay. So, thankfully, there isn't a true boss in this uh, whole area. I believe there is a... Um, oh, yeah, okay. So this is the hard part. This is what makes this part hard. Is these images and wraiths show up and interrupt me trying to explain something. No. So these are holes in the ground and you basically have to drop down the right hole in the ground to uh, land a certain room to go up two levels and then drop down again to get to that center chest. And that center chest is what we want. However, we can get these other two chests right now. Probably have to fight something. No? Oh, flame sword! The same... same power and damage, I think. Or slightly less? Oh, slightly less. Interesting. Whatever. It's fucking fire. I don't remember which hole you dropped down. And what, uh... We got a chance to strike first against sorcerers. We're gonna... Get the fuck out of here. Before they touch us. I don't remember which hole you dropped down. And if you get the wrong one... You have to, like, come all the way back to this place. No! Okay. Mute. Mute, please. No more of that. Mages. Holy god. I do have the life spell so I can bring him back. Fire 2 didn't do a whole lot of damage. There was some. Mute! Knock it off? Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Gonna have a feeling you're unmutable. Lightning 3?! Oh! oh god, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. I can't run from this. 
I can't run. Fear! I'll make you run! No? Not one? Well, this was fun. Oh my god, the rub spells. There is an anti-rub white mage spell. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Back in it, baby, let's go. I won't be deterred. Cockatrices and mummies? Well, cockatrices are easy killed. Mummies annoying, but overall, not that bad. Ah, uh, fire cockatrice. Don't turn into us a stone, you fuck. He lived. That's terrible news. And I missed. <laughs> Everything's coming up, monsters. We out, boys. We out. What's annoying is that the soft potions to heal being turned to stone, you can't use them in battle. Which is bizarre. You can only use heal potions and pure potions in battle, not softs. I'm just gonna move on like that never happened. Gonna say something, forgot what. That's what, right? Uh. Now. Should I just lightning to you and fucking move on? Fucks. This is a. I kinda feel like something of a difficulty spike. With all the, you know. Instant death shit. God, stop it. Jerk. Die. Damn it. That's a weak lightning, too. This game does not fuck around, though. I mean, if you get past it, it's so very much worth it. It's just all the pain to get past it. Uh, I guess we're actually not all that hurt. I'm gonna take the same path I did before. I don't know if that sorcerer and ice dragon thing is, uh, scripted battles. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, of course. So because these guys are like ghosts and shadows and whatever, they have a, like, ridiculously high chance of striking first. Because you don't see shadows coming. Okay, Jordan and Ian are still stunned. So, we're probably better off just blasting the shit out of these guys and trying to move on. Ah! As they just whittle away our hit points. My god, fire two, please! All of you, go away. At least you can burn shadows. They're technically undead. That's why the harm spell works on them. That's why fire damage does extra against them. That one. Ooh. There we go. There we go. And then an Ian Harm will sweep up and get the hell out of here. It's pretty good for Harm 1. Ugh. Come on, we'll get through this. I swear we will. More uh, heal potions for everyone? Okay. Whew. Yeah, I'm only level 15 right now. I think what I did when I, I played this as a kid is I level up to the point where I could start buying or start using. F fuck. Uh, tempt mute. I worked on mages. Maybe work on you, lightning too. Damn it! How? Why? What are you doing? I was wrong. It's not the same. They resist the lightning. You are silenced! Oh, good. Jerk got us out of there. Uh, hey! Come back to life, my dude! And Peeb's gonna slam. 
11 heal potions. Doing it so much that the music can't even come back. You just hear sound effects. <laughs> so, when I reached the play, I think I basically did so that I would be able to get to the point where I could use the uh, current level of spells available at the local town shop. And that's how I determined if I was like grinded up enough or had like a high enough level to move on. It's like, oh, I can use these spells. I must be in a good position. Which is a uh, general, it's, it's a pretty good rule of thumb. But I also think that uh, that could get you a little over leveled for things to come. Uh, oh man, I'm getting low on fires. Urgh. Oh good, dirt guns out of there right away. Alright, no spells were expended. Do I dare try that again? I have no. Hey, chance to strike first. Bye, nerds. Bye, bye, bye. Do I really want to try that again? Or should I just try to get the thing and move on with my life? That's a really tough call. It's that, it's that goddamn rub spell. You know what, without a good way of stopping it, it's probably not a good idea. Okay. Instead, let's pick a hole. Oh my god. Which, which one was this? Uh, I feel like memory serves. It was the far left of this triple, of these three in a row. Fall! I have no idea this is red. Hi, boys. We're gonna kill all of you. It's a... It's a... Yeah, nice, diverse group of enemies here. Even though you're all undead, so you... Whoop. That's fine. Fire too! Weak. Yes. Yes. We like fall down a hole and we all like do a sweet three point landing and then st stand up and there's just all these monsters ahead of us just going Juf steps forward from the back of our party and just goes, I'll handle this. <laughs> Scorches all of them. And then we finish them off with our blade! With our blades! <laughs> Stop it. Doof! Damn it. Uh, get him! Get him! Good. I really don't remember if this is the right place or not. Oh, you gotta step on ice shit! No idea if this is actually the right pathway or not, so I kinda wanna check. Do you like fall down into these other little houses? That might be the case. Or you get treasures. Yeah, hold on. I know how you work, game. Nothing's given out for free. We're gonna heal up. Then we'll check the treasures. Nah! -ha! I knew it! Oh, I wish I didn't. Okay. I learned some things. More prepared. Anti ice. Uh. Fire 3 didn't do a whole lot last time for some reason. Try it again? Yes, anti-ice, start with that. Defend against the cold. This is what I think of your ice bullshit you fucking frost dragons. 89? 278! Mm, that's how it should be. Fire sword! And we're fine! Nailed it. I had no worries whatsoever, did you? Oh, Jerd leveled up! Strength up, agility up, intelligence up, vitality up. Got a decent amount of hit points. Ian leveled up! Not a whole lot of hit points there. Yay! Uh, ice armor! Put it on, beam! That's gotta be way better than his iron. Uh, absorb 48, evade 38. Stray that around. Equip that. And you up to 40... 58, 51! Sick, nasty. What's in here? 
Can't hold anymore. I knew it. Is that armor we had too much of? Yeah, I've got too much armor. Right, drop, drop the iron armor. That crap is old and cheap. Something really good in here? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Looking up. Oh, the silver, silver gauntlet. That doesn't help at all, does it? No, no, it doesn't. In fact, let's just drop, let's drop both of those, just so we have a little bit more room. Do I have to fight frost dragons again? I restrict. <sighs> okay, uh, second anti-ice spell. Fire two. Oh, still want to hold on to a fire three spell just in case. Peeb, do it up! Mm, on the weaker side. Anti-ice shield up! So it should make Peep like barely get effective if they use a bl blizzard attack. 34, 46, 32. Oh my god, yeah, that's far more manageable than the hundreds of damage it was doing last time. Alright, choose fire spell back to Peep's fire sword. Alright, that's protected from his ice blast. We can easily take him down. There. Okay, so that's great. And then Peeb got his level up, strength up, agility up, intelligence up, lock up. Joof leveled up. Hey, Joof has got two more hit points. <laughs> Someday you'll break 200, Joof. Someday. Uh, hit percent up to 75. Do I need to throw out heals at all? One on Joof, I guess. I guess we do Peeb a little bit. And, yeah, well, everyone gets a little bit. Okay. Alright, so did glad I come this way. That was very helpful. But now... We wanna... No! No! I mean, there's only two of them, so that's not so bad. Okay. I may need life spells. Attempt to mute. Don't think it's actually gonna matter, and I guess... Ice 2? Just for any kind of damage? Okay, no insta-kills, that's good. Oh! Oh, really? Okay. So you really don't have that many hit- damn it. So he really doesn't have that many hit points. He just does that insta-kill bullshit. So, it's reason it's pot reasonable plus possible that we could still kill him. More ice spells from Joof! Jerd! Big hits! Oh no, he's so close! Ah, oh, Peep just died again! Mm. Does life spell work in battle? I, I don't think the life spell actually works in battle. So sadly, yeah, he had like barely any points. So sadly, we're at the push Peeves' experience total slightly behind everyone else's again. Because I am not redoing this whole place again. This place sucks. Swap them back. Sorry, Peep. At least you got to level up first before you died. Heal. Heal. And heal. I wish, I'd, I wish I had heal potions in my inventory before I got the loot to heal me first in the uh, item screen. Alright, done. Oh, let's go this way. Nope, dead end. Down. Ah, ah. To right. Nope, dead end. Mm. Couple of wraiths. Goddamn. Look, I'm killing ice dragons and sorcerers. Wraiths, while annoying. Jesus Christ. There are worse things I could be possibly fighting in here. Oh, big crit from Jurd. Yeah. Stay there, bundle of Joof. Oh! Why are you so hateful against Joof? He's not even casting spells! Okay. Some experience. More heals. All right. This looks like there's a building down there. 
over here. Oh, mm, that's a stairway though. Red bones. Look at that. You're only hitting for one. Man, fuck you guys. Uh, yeah, fuck you. We're gonna, we're gonna leave. See? Don't even care. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try to move on. We got we got the fire sword. I wanted that. And the ice armor. I wanted those the most. Uh, that's gotta be a trap. I know those aren't the ones I want. But I'm also just so curious. Discipline! Discipline! Maybe they'll come back someday. Mm, no thanks. Rather not everyone turn to stone. Thank you very much. We're just gonna leave, please. Leave, please. Leave, please, leave, please, leave, please. Thank you, Jared. Sick dodge by everybody else. Oh! This is it! This is the one I wanted. This is the hole that I need. What's in here? A tent. Awesome. That'll save the party as soon as we're done fighting. Almost 10,000 gold. And an ice shield. I feel like ice armor and ice shield is a little bit of overkill. Yeah, I don't think that stacks up. But dropping down here... <gasps> yes! Oh god, what do we have to fight? What do we have to fight? Oh! Oh! Okay, uh, real quick, funny story about these guys. So this, this is a cool looking spread, like it's this demonic phantom eye kind of thing with things coming out out of it. I mentioned previously in some earlier episodes how uh, this game took a lot of inspirations from Dungeons and Dragons. As uh, you noticed with the uh, wizard and sorcerer sprites just being direct copies of... Uh, of... Uh, Mind Flayers. In the Japanese version of the game, this sprite is straight up the Beholder. Like, unabashedly, unapologetically, the Beholder from Dungeons and Dragons. Now, for whatever reason, when this game was coming over to the States, TSR, who owned D&D at the time, saw that and went, hey, wait a minute, and made them change it. However, in the original Famicom version in Japan for Final Fantasy 1, that's a fucking Beholder. We have found the floater! Here comes the sucky part. Leaving. Because you have to drop back down a hole. Oh, I have to go through all this shit again. And now we gotta get the fuck out of here. Alright, Joof. Oh, you're on fire twos! You still have a fire three left, but I feel like that's too much. Alright, let's go back to Ian. Instead, just use a harm to, because I'm pretty good on those for some reason. And... Just just do a stab. So, I pretty much have to go... I think I more or less have to do the exact same path I just took. Only the... Uh, tr the three treasure room where I got the tent and the ice shield and it dropped down. You go past that, and there's a stairway or near, stairwell nearby, and you take that stairway, and I believe that's how you start getting towards the exit. Because I want to leave this place. A lot of death has happened. A lot of pain has happened. Alright. Good. Out of there, let's throw down some heal potions right away. Uh, and... Uh, that, that's actually pretty much it. I'm throwing a peep too. Hey, I've got over 100,000 gold now. Let's see how long that lasts. Okay, fast way out of here, straight down. Through this. And then it was down again? We're getting some pretty generous monster encounters. One hit, peep! Come on. You made Ian take 60 damage. I thought you were better than that. Even Joof hit twice, dude. And he's Joof. And he was punished for it. Alright, we'll swap targets. As our uh, damage should round out and be able to easily finish him off. Nope, I was wrong. 
sure did a weak hit. Much better. Gonna kill you. Gonna kill you. Oh, can he do it? Ah, oh, he missed. Ah, oh, damn it. Just crush a race so hard that it shatters the stone underneath him. Just shoo, just like the anime, like slow motion, is like chips of floor fly up. Some more experience points though. It was down this way before I forget. Throw down some heels on Joof. Oop, at the tent. And see, this is why I ha wish I had the warp spell. Because I could easily gotten out of here. But I can't use that yet. Over this way up. Okay, so now we're back here. And we're gonna go. Friggin' wizards. Again, you are no longer that tough. Uh, just ice two to do some damage to all of them. I know it won't do that much. But since these guys are uh, used as like the mini bosses back in the ice, uh, the marsh cave, because of that, they're considered mini bosses here, and you can't actually run from them. I'm pretty positive it's impossible to run from them. And they were programmed that way, that way in the marsh cave, you can't just run from them to get past the fight, grab the crown, and get out. You have to fight them. So, annoyingly, we shall do battle with these six wizards. Keep having Juve throw out ice twos, just to spread out some damage on all of them. Get us through it. Nah. Nah. Yeah, die. Yeah. Yay. Oh, only 20? Damn it. It's alright. It'll be enough to let the rest of these dudes melee these wizards down to death. Three from Ian. 119 from Peeve. They beat up Juice a little bit. 21 kills him. Juve, finish it off! Oh, a 32 crit! And he did! I think Juve just hates other wizards. That's why he always manages to stab them so hard. I'll have a single. A couple Ian cures. Just to save me on buying more heal potions. Alright. I don't want to check those chests. At this point, I'm, I've got the floater. We're all alive. I just want to get out of here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have to go up. Oh, that is the exit! Oh, that is the exit! It's an alternate exit! Thank Christ! Oh, we made it out! Where's that tent that we found in a box? <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, yes. Oh. Oh, really, Gramps? Really? You wanna fucking go? You think I give a shit anymore? Ugh. Yeah, that place can suck. I'm at, I'd imagine if you just don't have, like, the life spell, and those sorcerers show up. Oh my god, just scorching the fuck out of these imps. Juve just letting his fiery rage out on these little bitches. No fucks given. Without the life spell, you, you you have so many inevitable deaths in the ice cavern because of those sorcerers. Instant murder touch attacks. Which I didn't don't remember at all. But like I said, thankfully you don't have like a real boss fight in there. It's just the uh, eye or beholder that shows up. And he, he really wasn't that bad. Like, he was, he was dead before even getting uh, any kind of ability off. I have no idea if he actually uses ice abilities or not anymore. Not important. I know there's a couple of chests back there. Don't even know if I care at this point. I think we're just kind of ready to move on to much bigger and better things. Way bigger and better things. Just leave us alone. Alright, so we need to... I could go... I could go back to town. 
but I actually don't have to. I would only go back to town to rest up and get spell points back. But I actually, I, honestly, not necessary at the moment, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Do you remember what uh, people were saying about the floater? Some of the people we, that we talked to in uh, some of the towns talked about them, this magical floating stone. And they say the stone could be used to levitate anything. It's like, really? Interesting. And then talking to other NPCs will give you clues about using this stone in a nearby desert of Crescent Lake. Which are, it, there is a desert just to the south of it that is only accessible by ship and canoe. Ah, oh, let me get on the ship! Dumbass hydras. Leave me alone. Stop it. And the ship! Okay. So we're gonna go straight down. Oh, sh we're gonna murder the fuck out of this shark. Doof! I wanna get to the point where Juve can take down a shark by himself. Because a black mage with a knife, like, wrestling a shark underwater and shanking it until it dies, it's pretty good imagery. Especially since it's Juve doing it. Wait, was that it? Hold on. Double checking my map, sorry. Uh, nope, it's much further south. Yeah, that was just a, uh... Here it is. So we can park the ship right here, walk right over. What's on this island? Oh, just giants. Not even bad. Honestly, not even bad. Oh, I should switch P back to the uh, ice sword. Because that uh, does have higher hit rate and damage than... Whoa, giant! What the fuck is your problem? that Q3 action? Yeah, I do. Yeah, let's let's run before Juve dies. Rather not a dead Juve. Don't mind using Q3. Get him back 80 hit points. And here's the desert. So we go to our special items, to the floater, and use it. The airship begins to rise from the desert. Boom. We have an airship, baby! So I talked about it before, about how the world would expand at certain intervals of the game. That bridge from Corneria, getting the ship, the canal from the Interior League, and now it's the airship. Dun dun dun, ba da 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 dun, da da dun, dun. And now I can fucking fly wherever the fuck I want! We got the airship! Where do I wanna go? Where do I wanna go? I don't even know. There's so many places. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Canaria. Why you ask? Because it's cheap to rest here. <laughs> Look, we still got pretty messed up by that ice cave. Kind of wanna spend thirty gold and rest up. All right, yeah, we're back to full, baby. I'm gonna buy a buy like a tent or two. Just so I have a cheap way to save. It doesn't have to be cabins or houses. Yeah, just give me a few of those. Won't need a whole lot, lady. We got a lot of money in our pockets. So now, what was exciting about this is like, I kind of skipped over it just because I already know knew about it. But the first time I got the uh, I got the ship out of the canal. I basically took that and sailed all over the world because there's so many blinky dots on this map I try to check out each and every one of them and you can see a lot of them But a lot of them you can't actually access yet So now you get the as soon as you get the airship the first thing that kind of dawns upon you is like oh my god I can get to all of those places that I couldn't before And I can go back and redo anything that I needed to for example uh, I can go get back a level 5 spell. We can now cast level 6 spells. I could do that too. Um, yeah, let's go 
Let's go get that level 5 spell for Juf since he's missing it. There's the Northwest Castle where you fought, uh, Astos. There's the, uh, there's the Earth Cave. Go back to the Melmond. Okay. Heard you boys had some level 5 magic and I got cash money in my pockets. This used to be expensive, but not no more. I mean, it's still expensive, I'm just rich. Alright, so he's... Oh, that's right, I was gonna get his warp. But he can't use that yet. That's right. I'm dumb. Never mind! Uh, I forgot how long this episode is, because I'm excited. Uh, what was this cave? Is that where Sardo lives? Uh, wait, where am I? Wait, what cave was that? Hold on. Oh, that's the dwarf cave. Okay. So we're gonna go fly straight north. And now there's a bunch of other cities and villages that we can now visit and go to. Like there's one right over here somewhere. This one. Now the difficult thing is that the airship can only land on grass and a uh, field like this. So to get there, you have to like land here and canoe all the way up. But I actually, I'm not gonna go there yet. Instead, we're gonna go to this archipelago. It's got all kinds of uh, caverns inside of it. And we're gonna check these out. Because here, dragons live. Have you met Bahamut, the Dragon King? He honors those with courage as true warriors. Uh, that's what I want to do. That's why I'm here. We're here to meet Bahamut. Uh, was it the marshy one? I think he lives in the marshy one. But I'm gonna check all of them because I want to talk to dragons. Oh, is this it? This one actually might be it. Never mind. Yeah, this one might be it. It's got a long, ominous hallway. Down these steps. Yep, here it is. Check this shit out. Even since Final Fantasy 1, Bahamut has always been the kid. You know how nerve-wracking this is as a kid walking up and seeing this dude? I am Bahamut, King of the Dragons. Bring me proof of your courage to receive the honor due true warriors. You got it, dude. I'll bring you some courage. This is Bahamut's room. Yeah, man, this is Bahamut's room. He verifies his true courage well. So now that we have that information, uh, again, this is another point of uh, just the linearity of Final Fantasy 1. What Bahamut is basically offering is more or less a completely optional side quest. It isn't something that you have to do. I highly recommend it, and most people recommend that you do do this thing. But you don't gotta. I sure as hell am gonna do it though. So... Uh... You know what, I kinda just, I haven't been here so long, I kinda just wanna walk around and talk to the other dragons. Okay, I think I, I think I see where I'm supposed to go for his thing. Wait, what's on your island? Worms? How tough are you? Are you fire three tough? I forgot to switch Peep's sword. I only hit Peep for one, so maybe he's not too bad. Fire, weak fire. Ice! Eh. Wow! Damn! They might actually be weak to ice, because that was almost as much as Fire 3! That was the easy 300 experience points. I'm just gonna talk to dragons. Whoop, whoop, hello, sir. If you are brave enough, try meeting ki the king of the dragons, Bahamut. If you're brave enough? Like, that just sounds ominous and threatening, like he'll fight you. Unprofitable business is not a practice of the dragons of Cardia. These are the Cardia Islands. Yeah, okay. Long ago, dragons and humans lived and traded together. 
But we have no need for money, nor capitalism. We just wanted goods. Maybe a human chick to bang or two. Some women are into that. Some, some women just want to get fucked by dragons. We all know at least someone like that. What was in here? Do you have chests or stuff? We are going to the castle of Ordeal to the northeast. There we will test and bring back proof of our courage. And that's the clue you need to do Bahamut's test. Next up, we are going to do the, uh, the castle of Ordeals. You do have treasures. Once in the north, there was a beautiful pal there were beautiful palaces and big mechanical castles. Neat. The proof of your courage might be anything. Who knows what it could be? Ten gold! Oh my god, that was like that dragon's life savings and I'm taking it. And your house in this box. Your human house. Another 500 gold. Sorry, light warrior's tax. Gotta take it. What's this stairway? Oh, this is how I came in. Alright. Nice. Totally ransacked him. But important to go to this way to learn about the, uh... That's about four more... Four too many sphinxes that I am willing to deal with right now. Let's, uh, let's leave. Alright, so that's the information that I wanted, that I, I mostly want to know was, or to show to you guys, is that someone here says you can go to the Castle of Ordeals to take the Courage Test. And I also want your stuff. Yes! Eh? Yes! Nothing's gonna fight me, is it? Good. Just money. It's like, we have no need for it, but it just shows up after we're done eating people, so you can have it. Thanks, Mr. Dragon! Hello! You are not afraid of me? Then I am impressed. Oh, these are all benevolent dragons. So impressed that he's letting me take his money. Ooh! 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 I feel like the game's trying to tell me something. Like, if you're gonna do the Castle of Ordeals, it will be an ordeal. Maybe have some money in. Maybe you should spend it on a thing or two. Maybe I will, dragon. Maybe I will. Should I... Could actually, maybe go back and grab a level 6 spell or two. It may not be that bad of an idea. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Oh, this is it right here. This is the castle where it deals. So, you have, like, now that you have this big fancy airship, your first thought is, like, I'm gonna take this airship and fly to the castle where it deals. But if you take the airship, the only place to land it is, like, freaking. Uh. Here. And you gotta walk this whole bitch just to get the castle. Or, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our normal ship, park it here, and get there much faster. So that's what I'm going to do. But first, I'm going to head back to... Oh, this actually works out. I head back to Crescent Lake. Oh, here's Elfland. Uh, head back to Crescent Lake. Get the level 6 spells. Right? Yeah, you're level 6 spells. And then go back down to south of the desert. Grab my normal ship. And then we're going to sail to the castle of Verdeals. I need to, I need to max out my potions before that for sure too. Buy some softs. Yeah, we need those. Okay. Uh, what? I can get the spell soft? I'd rather not. For twenty thousand gold, I'd rather just buy the spell soft. Um, I don't remember which ones are good or not. Something tells me you can't learn that. Is it? Yeah. Nope. Can you learn fog too? You can learn Fog 2, and Invisibility 2, which I think Invisibility 2 is better? No, Fog works, doesn't it? Ah, can't remember. We'll do Fog 2. That would be your one. And Joof, you will get... Rub? You can learn rub? That's dope. 
can also learn Quake. There's also Stun. And just Lightning 3. I think Lightning 3 is going to be the safest bet. Just to give him another elemental spell. Who knows what's going to be in there. Just want to have that option. Awesome. Okay. So. I am going to buy all the heal potions that we used up. Which is like another 50 or so. Uh, I'm going to go buy some more pure, some more softs. Because I don't fully remember what's all in there. And when we come back, we're gonna head to the Castle of Ordeals and take the Test of Courage. And rather than taking the airship, we're gonna take our normal ship because this will actually be way better. Less odd eyes since the Hagen show up. You dicks. I should've just stabbed you. Just to see how much damage I would've done. That would've so good. But we'll, uh... We're just gonna get past them just to save on time. They're worth so- Look, they only hit Joof for one. They hit Joof for one of all people. Not worth fighting. I think I need to get more, go more to the east. Or no. Far west, really. Yeah, far west. And the ship just feels so slow after getting the airship. What a bizarre feeling. Sadly, the uh, creatures in the sea never really improve up uh, beyond the Sahagan and Odd Eyes and Sharks. Which is also a good thing, so once you get the ship out of the canal and you go exploring around, you don't get suddenly murked by a massive hydras or something appearing out of nowhere because you sailed to the wrong spot. Boop. There we go. What's in this forest? Sarias? More lizard things. Are you hard? Not especially so far. You hit Jew for 14. Yin's hammer did a little bit. Joof's dagger, not so much. Alright, so you survive after one round. Is this, this is what we can expect out of out of a castle over deals? Double stay. Okay. Never mind, not bad at all. Worth a healthy amount of experience points. So we definitely need to save the game. I think I just use a normal tent. Yeah, Juve only lost like 20 hit points. So, 10. 100%. This is the game saved. All our magic is ready. Okay. Now it's called the Castle of Ordeals because it is an ordeal to get through. There might be a lot of running involved. Hello, lone wizard. Possession of the crown is required to test your courage. Take it to the royal throne and bring back proof of your courage. Good luck. Oh. Okay. So this whole area is empty, except for this room up here, which has a throne. And you just have to take that crown. That crown that we had to get to Astos, which we still have for some reason. You take that to the throne. And the warp... It dropped the sound effect, but it played a happy sound. And now we're in the castle. It's a freaking maze. And you ask yourself, what the hell? What do you go? Where do you do? How do you do? There aren't fake walls. Rather, these pillars? They're actually warp points. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to keep hitting warp points until you're like, oh shit. Which one do I take? And there's actually a trick to doing this. And the answer is, whichever one is the southernmost, whichever is like the lowest one down. That one always takes you to the right direction. That's like the one piece of advice slash trick I can give you to get through these. Alright, here's first fight. Medusas! Oh! Oh no! That preemptive strike though. They could turn a stone and poison? Man, fuck you guys. We out. Or are we... Oh, Peep got us out! Joof's okay! <laughs> oh, I'm glad I bought softs. I honestly didn't remember if that was a thing or not in here. But super glad I did! Let's fix our party order. 
Oof. Mm, okay. Moving on! I think you can fire two Medusas and... Or just any fire spell hurts Medusas really bad. Uh... Shit. This way? It's south. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh god. Oh god, I want it! I want it, I want it, I want it! Mud Golem. Um... Well, I don't exactly have an anti-Earth spell at all. So... Fog! But you're fire or Earth-based. Ice didn't work. But fire do? Fire do! It's actually fire three, but I'm going to do the fire three. Ah! Nope. Nope. Oh god, what have I done? Oh, keep killed one. Maybe actually not that bad. Oh, two hits from Jerd. We cast spells? How did a Mongol cast a spell to fast himself? Yeah, get fucked. Fuck you. Oh, wow, these guys really aren't bad at all. Okay, I don't know why I was so afraid. Alright, done. Kinda wish I didn't waste so many spells, but... Got him! What did you have? <gasps> yes! Oh my god, yes! The Zeus Gauntlet! Uh... Mm. Alright, so here's the thing the Zeus Gauntlet. It is undoubtedly an armor upgrade for P. Let me check. Uh, yeah, absorb 58, evade 52. Just because I'm curious and I want to see the results. Oh, you can't wear it yet. Oh, okay. Well, that makes this way easier then. Alright, so we're going to take that Zeus Gauntlet and actually give it to Ian. Alright, so not that pillar. Ooh. Red gargoyles? I don't know how hard you are. Let's try it. Remember that Zeus gauntlet I just got? Can't wear it yet, so let's actually use it. And I'm gonna try ice too because you're red. Eee! Nope. I've done this before. I've done this before. I am a fool. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Have I forgotten already? The answer is yes. It's been like a week. Zeus gauntlet! Bzzz. What? It's dealing damage to them. So the Zeus Gauntlet, when used as an item, actually casts uh, lightning too. Will that matter because we're all on fire? Oh, fuck. It doesn't matter, turns out. And Peep is still using his fire sword like a dingus. Whoops, I fucked up. Oh, good crit though. Well, I'll just take this moment to uh, remember where I'm supposed to go. Okay, this is one. Because I'm not I'm not finishing up this place without both Ian and Juf. Is that it? No, there's way more. There's way more than that. Oh, I think that's the room though. Man cats! Don't laugh at them or their name! I. I. If memory serves correctly, I think these guys can straight fuck you up. So I wanna. I wanna test how tough they are. Okay. Oh, they cast fire too! Good to know. Would not expect that at all. Surprisingly low physical damage? Can, can Peep get out of there? He can! Great! Up in here... Whoop! What? Nightmares? They're like super pissed mad ponies! Peep's been darked! I'm sure there's an enemy in front of that chest, so I'm just gonna skip it for now. Oof. 
Oh, this is fucking death. They're just gonna touch him. Peep's gonna die. Which is fine. Oh, we're gonna trance him first. Boop. Done. Okay. Cool. That's fine. That's why we saved the game. Just wanted a reminder what was in there. Explore as much as I wanted to. Uh, remember to use anti-fire more often. Alright, so, same thing. We'll do this slightly better, especially against those mud golems, which aren't hard at all. Oh, before I forget, Peep, that fire sword, go back to ice. That should help a lot. At least some. Keep taking those southern pillars for the teleports. Keep on moving on. I want to get that Zeus gauntlet for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, one step. Straight to man cats. And as we discover, these fuckers cast fire. So we're going to anti-fire. If you cast fire, does Ice 2 do a lot to you? Ice 2! It does not! Do you have a weakness? You may... Oh, could I not get the, an the anti-fire off? This is really important, Ian. I'm counting on you, dude. Yes! Okay, we got it. Probably would have been smarter, smarter just to run away from these guys because they hurt so much. Ooh, okay. Yep, there it goes. Street with another fire too, but now we're resisting it. Hey! God damn it. Manageable. Still super annoying. Stop. Stop. You know what? Might still try to run. <laughs> We've mitigated a lot of the damage. Oh, but Peeve just killed one. Alright. Peeve still only trying to chop him down. Jerd will try to get us out of there. Ooh, hold on. Uh, cure two. Mm. Mm. Regular cure. Joof. Uh... Is that the secret? Did you cast fire too, but your weakness is fire? Never mind. We got out of there. Heal potions! Hey, what's up, guys? Once again, got real thirsty. Oh, my inventory's all screwed up. There is no sort inventory option, in case you're wondering. So that sucks. Makes it a little uh, hard. Gotta press so many more inputs just to cure my dudes. All right, back to respectable levels. Mod golems, only three. So, attempt to mute him, I suppose. I won't waste a fire spell at all. Just do like a, a regular ice. Ah, there you have the fast off. All of you? Ah, okay. Okay, so they punch really hard and they fast themselves. And one of those punches lands on a mage, they're fucking dead. Can you mute, mute golems? Doesn't look like it. I figured I'd give it a shot just to see. Chop, 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 chop! Yes! Yes, peep. Uh, you know what, Ian? You took a pretty hard hit. Why don't you drink a heal potion? That's weird if you use. I think I've. Oh, God! I think I've said this before, but if you use a heal potion in battle, it does a random amount. Yeah, that was 21, but out of battle, it always does 30. So it, it is better to use them out of battle, but I wanted to get me in some hit points. And you got dangerously close to death. Grab that Zeus gauntlet, baby! Alright, heals. On to Ian. Yeah. Took a couple of slugs. Whoops, wrong. I missed. Took a couple of slugs like a champ. But you're still in it. Okay. This dungeon isn't nearly as long as I remember. I remember this being way harder. I guess my first time through, I didn't know about the pillars. It took me a while to figure out. Oh, but there's always all the treasures I want to look at.
gonna try to run. Because we did get the first strike chance. So I want to see if it actually is a possible or an option. It is! Good! Bye! Don't want to fuck with you. <sighs> okay. Okay, so there's always nightmares here. Which we can run from. I guess all you really do is- all I really see them do is snort and cause darkness. And they're not crazy high in damage. Alright! Though your nightmares manifest before you, warriors. Stay true. Earn your courage. Heal staff! Guess! Guess what that does! It heals! That is awesome. That's another really useful item. So now we got that Zeus Gauntlet. I'm actually going to trade that to Ian too. So now, basically every turn, Ian may not be using his hammer ever again. He's either always using that Zeus Gauntlet to lighten two people, or using that Heal Staff to get some extra heals off. Can't hold anymore. Shit. But now I've got too much armor. That's all armor that I like. What do you do? Well, we can drop something silly like Juice Cap. Because it's not hard to get another cap. Oh, the gold bracelet! Fuck yes! Uh, I'm putting that on Jurd. I'm putting that on Jurd, who's currently got Absorb 19, Evade 66. Operating that silver bracelet to a gold one. Bringing him up to absorb 28! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Great upgrade. Let's drop this other one right away. And this one? Another ice sword. This one? Iron gauntlet. Do we have two ice swords? We do. Oh. Drop this iron gauntlet right away because they're stupid. Okay, moving on. I thought there's going to be an enemy in front of those chests. Fucking Medusas. Let's try it. I'm feeling brave and stupid. Ian, use that Zeus gauntlet and you Let's just get some fire twos off. Yes! Your stone glare did not work on Peeb, for he's holding his sword horizontally in front of his eyes. Oh, they he died? Got a 90 damage? She's easy to kill! Get her! Done! Alright, cool. They're not bad at all, they just turn you to stone sometimes. Way to... Look away, peeb. Ooh. More chests. Treasure box is empty. That's probably a linked chest. Found a house. Some cash money. Some cash money. And then, here it is. Okay. I think you're right here? Yep. And we fight! A zombie dragon! Well, only so many things we can do. Uh, a harm too from Ian will fuck him up. And you know what? Feeling good about a blast of fire three from Joof. <laughs> this is undead dragon! Like, collapses out of the ceiling and then it's, it's dead. Never mind. That was a courage test. It was like Skeletal Dragon showed up. <laughs> and Joof immediately bursts open the whole room with his fire. But like, warps it around, Peep dashes forth his sword just cuts him up. His bones partially melted and Peep shatters it so that we can obtain a tail. A rat's tail, specifically. And then you step back onto the throne. And you're back out. Remember how they said that anything could be proof of your courage? And the proof of your courage is a rat's tail. It's a plain old rat's tail. Well, we did it though! Wow, okay. I mean, I honestly remember that being way more painful and way more difficult than that was. But on the bright note, that was nowhere near as difficult as I remember. So, we got through it. Oh, that's so fucking cool. This is the best. This is the best. Oh, the Zeus Gauntlet just doing mad deeps! This is so much more powerful now. Oh, Fire 3 didn't- Fire 3 didn't do shit. Oh, I should do Lightning 3. I'll be funny. Even though they're all, like, super close to dead now. 
So, funny thing about the, uh, about the rat's tail, uh, people who, uh, played other Final Fantasy games may recognize it as they brought the rat's tail item back for other games. One that comes to mind, I don't remember if there's another or not, but, uh, Final Fantasy IV has it as a, an important item that you need to get, and you get it for Bahamut in that game as well. Which, uh, allows you to... I think you need that to get the Excalibur Sword or something weird like that. Shit, it's been a while since I played that game. But yes, yeah, so there, there's another Bahamut entirely optional side quest where you get him the rat's tail. He gets you, like, one of the best swords in the game. Zeus Gauntlet! Bzzzt. Mad damage from the whole party. Taking their cash, taking their cash. And thus we sail back to our airship. And then probably never use our normal ship again. Uh, it's getting lost out in the middle of the sea. Wow, see? We're such high level, the Sahagan are at the point, they're running from us. They like hopped on our boats and they're like, eh! and then like we all just kind of give them the slow turnaround, make eye contact, and they're like, oh shit, I heard about these guys. And they just bail right back out of the boat. <laughs> ah, bloosh. No, as they all leave, Rawls like, fucking right. Back to here to get our ship. And we're gonna fly back down this way and return to Bahamut and bring proof to him of our courage. We did your castle of ordeals, Bahamut. And we present to you this rat tail. Right, which one was it? It's one of these, right? Yep, there it is. This is the best part of the game. This is the best part. The best part. Ugh, oh, such a long walk, but so worth it. As we return to Bahamut, trial completed. Check this out. Bahamut! We bring you this rat tail from the Castle of Ordeals. The tail of a rat proves your courage. I shall give you the honor to true warriors. What? Wh oh! What peep! What happened to you? Your armor, you look so muscular. That's because upon completing the Castle of Ordeals, getting the rat tail and bringing it back to Bahamut, our classes have changed. No longer were we just these tiny light warriors. Now we are a knight, a ninja, white wizard, and black wizard! Those spells we couldn't learn before, those equipment we couldn't use before, now we can. How fucking cool is that? Oh, hit percent 80? Oh, what? Are you like, damage has gone up, hit percentage has gone up, stats are gonna go up? Oh my god, so fucking cool. Look at that! We've all just like got super powered. Uh, what's the reason why I didn't want to level up too much is because uh, after you class change and level up, I believe you actually get better stat increases. I believe that to be the case. So all that shit we couldn't use before, now we can. Hey, Jared, did you want to use say this flame sword? Cause now I can, baby. Maybe I want to use this giant sword. Because now I can, baby. Yes, the thief at the start was not a great fighter. All he could really do is run away. But now as a ninja, he's fucking awesome. He's going to continue to improve very quickly. And you'll see why. Uh, oh, what else, what else we do? Uh, I, I want to see how much a Zeus gauntlet improves Peeb's armor. Just out of curiosity. He's at 52, 58. With Zeus Gauntlet, it's 58, 52. Oh, it's about the same. Okay, yeah, so not really, not even really worth equipping. Well, let's keep that as an item to use for Ian. 
this also gives Jerd more options of stuff to wear. I think, I forget exactly what. Still can't use shields. Buckler still is the best option there. But now I'm a fucking ninja. Well, check it. Well, let's, 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 I want to see what everyone looks like on the overworld. Here's Jerd on the overworld as a ninja. Oh, fuck. So ninja like. Wearing all red because black would not show up in the battle screen. Here's Ian. Hair, there's hair flowing in the wind, looking so fucking majestic. <laughs> and Joof. Whoa. It actually looks like really regal. It's kind of got that uh, side side hair like Joof actually, Jeff actually has. Fucking rad. That's so goddamn exciting. Whoops, I missed. Boom, baby! And now we are now that much more powerful. And here's one of the one of the reasons I really like this part of the game. Is one, if this is completely optional, you can beat the game and not do this at all. Uh, but one of the things I've always talked about, how one of the uh, best things about playing RPGs is that character growth. You see the numbers go up, you see their stats go up, you see they're improved. That's one of the most satisfying things to see in RPGs. But what makes this special is that it's not just the characters' stats and stuff improving. It's, it's like them physically have changed. Like, look at their sprites now. They, they've, like, matured. They've gone been on this journey for so long and been, th been through so much that not only has their skills as have improved as warriors or mages, but they themselves have gotten older and become more experienced people. And I thought this is a really cool concept. I don't, I don't know if that's actually what was intended by the developers, but that's kind of my interpretation of it. They aren't just better warriors. They are older, wiser. They've been through some shit. They know what they're doing. And that's just really fucking cool to me. And even better, now I can go back and get all those spells I couldn't learn before. Hey, you warp son of a bitch. Come here. Come here. I want this. I've been waiting so long. I guess that makes sense why they wouldn't let you have that spell beforehand. Otherwise, places like Volcano and... Ah, I learned it. Volcano and Ice Cave and all these other places would be way easier if you could just warp out of it. Yes! I'm gonna give a quick rest here since we're still injured. Yay! See, now they just like, all look badass and way more realistic compared to everybody else's sprites. Oh, I should, I should also sell some shit. I bring, got a lot of equipment on me that I really don't need to have. So fucking exciting. So the uh, when the game came out, it came with a a boxing manual, and it kind of told you. It, actually, I might be able to show you a little bit. I've got the box right here. So it came with a map of the whole world and also came with the instruction manual. This is actually a pretty hefty instruction manual with a lot of pages, but basically two-thirds of the instruction manual is more or less a uh, kind of pseudo walkthrough slash guide of of where to go, maps, and etc. And it leads you how to do everything up until you get the airship. And then like after you get the airship, it's like, now what do you do? It mentions the class change, but not how to do it. So, this is where the game, with everything that's included in here, at least for American audiences, takes your literal training wheels off and says, you figure it out. This is your world now. I'll sell, sell some of my extra garbage real fast. Uh, like... Not selling that Zeus gauntlet. Uh, Joof. Oh, you need, you need a cap again, don't you? Or not. Fuck it. I can find a place that sells. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that's right. That's gonna be coming up real fast. Alright, these cost 20,000. I'm actually 700 gold short from being able to afford everything. Um. Let's get Juve Quake. And we'll grab Ian another spell. I'll hold on to some money. Uh, ooh, exit. 
exit is like warp, only instead of going up one level, it just takes you out of the dungeon completely. Uh, don't remember what's better. Fuck it. I want to be shh. Just in case. So let's, uh... I want to fly, I want to fly to a place, check their armor and weapon shops. Now that we're just awesome. Shit, which place can I go? There's, there's, there's a couple other towns. One's on that western continent, and then one is straight north, more or less. I don't remember which is which. Yeah, right here. Is there an easy place to land for this town? Can I... Nope. Damn it. Uh, no. Cut your damn trees! Let me land my airship. I have to go all the way up here. Oof. Yeah, I can land, like, right here. And then walk over. Which I think I have to. And we got this desert place? Oh, that's fucking cool. There's a big old desert? Oh, shit. Some kind of desert tower? Shit. There's also that town over here that I can go to. That's the castle of our deals. Uh, oh, I think you're going to that waterfall at some point, which I believe was connected to the river's connected to a town or near, nearby. This one, that's right. All right, well, we can land here and we'll canoe our way up. So I think we still face, yeah, we still face the same water enemies. All right, whatever, dudes. Look how. Frickin' boss we are. Think I give a shit about you? Lightning 3, fuck you. Haha! -ha! Giant sword, two hits. Peep. Ice sword. Damn it, so hit you. Zeus! Oh, why was that so weak? I killed the gator. Lightning 3! Surprisingly. Weak. Damn it. Bam, 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 bam. Hammer, hammer! Aw, oh, Ian missed. So now I actually want to get experience points, because we can start leveling up and getting even cooler stuff. Yay! We'll canoe up to the next town. I want to take a look at their weapon and armor shop. I know they're going to have spells, and they're going to be expensive as fuck, because now we're getting to like, the level 7, level 8 spells, and those are just... My god. Hey, knock it off. Ah, oh, you poison pee! Fucker. Keeping with Zeus. Uh. Bane. That'll show him. Stop it. Zeus, call it! Zzzt. 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 Easy damage. Oh, that jerk's poisoned. Eh. Man, even their just choke on it. Good. Man, even their like weekend spreads are just more badass looking. Hold on. Eh. It's a good thing we got all this pure still. How far are we, are we from leveling up? Oh, Ian's close. Jerd's close. P a little bit more behind. Just gonna swap a uh, little swap of runies. All right, let's go to the town first. Which one was this? What's up, dancer? My legs are beautiful. It's so nice to have legs. It sure is. Mohawk man, what up, dude? Underhill, the caravan master, had something very strange. Oh, he did, huh? Soldier? Have you found Oxyale? Until 200 years ago, the mermaids lived in the shrine. And then, in fire and smoke, it sank. The mermaids. That's right, dudes. We're dealing with some mermaids real soon. Oh, another pirate! They just use all the sprites here. I've asked you to lend them a stay out of me way. Okay. 
Cope says he saw a shining object fall. Aura. This town used to be prosperous until 200 years ago. Lots of dead people around. Hello? You have legs! Yes, I do. I'm currently walking and standing upon them. Hello? My father runs the caravan. He's having a close-up sale near the oasis in the western desert. Oh, okay. I should go find him. There's a fucking dragon living here too? What's this place? Oh, that's, that's a nice inn. My brother, Dr. Oon, has studied the Finnish, the language of the Sky Warriors. If he had the slab, he could teach it. That's important information. Fables say that when the shrine sank, many treasures were lost. Also, they tell of a cryptic stone plate. Like the one that teaches the Finnish? I don't need to stay here yet. On my way. Alright, I don't... Maybe this place doesn't have weapons and armor. Could be wrong. Well, well, I see you have been honored. I think if you go to this town, this dragon kind of hints at or tells you about uh, getting the class change option. Has anyone done that yet? A no class change challenge? What do they have here? Saber and blind for 45,000 gold. Level 7 spells. But you'll notice there's only two of them here. What? That sure is weird. Anti-rub. There it is. It's a fucking level 7 spell, and I've been seeing that shit since goddamn Astos. Asshole of a game. Well, I can't even use level 7 spells yet. Right? Yeah, I'm, I got a few levels to go on that. So I won't need to buy any of those, but I wanted to see at least what they were. Oh, wait, hold on. So... Over this way in the far eastern side of the town is... My name is Cope. I saw it north, near the waterfall. Believe me, I think it was a robot. I made a submarine to save the mermaids, but to go deep enough, it will require oxyale. Interesting. So the mermaids need our help. That submarine can do it, but we need oxyale to have oxygen to go down and do so. Until 200 years ago, the power of water brought us good fortune. Instead, we just talk about our legs all day. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, so I mentioned it before about how non-linear this game gets once you get the airship. So now I can do the water part. Or I can go to the desert and check out that weird, like, desert tower oasis. Not oasis, the desert tower thing. I could go there. I have a couple options. Now, Joel, you are a different Joel. I don't know how tough you are, but I want your experience points. Get some fat level ups. Whoa. Hmm, okay. It's weak, weak physical damage going on. Fire? Fire 2 is weak. Lightning? Lightning was okay. Hmm. Uh, pure jerd. Uh, I'm on a lightning too. Uh, ice. Ice? Don't poison. Damn it. Yeah. Die, you son of a bitch. Ice too! Got some sick shoulder pads, Joof. Makes you look real manly. Yay! And level up jerd! Agility up, luck up. Not a whole lot of hit points. Ian levels up. Ian got way more hit points, because of course he did. So, here's an exciting thing. Jerd leveled up, and if you'll notice, suddenly the magic thing showed up for him. What? What does that mean? That means Jerd can now cast up to level 4 black magic, baby. Oh, Jerd the Thief sure was sucky, but now I'm a ninja. I can use weapons, I can use armor, and I can cast spells. The ninja is awesome. Thief, not great, but the ninja, awesome. Kind of changes your whole perspective on things, doesn't it? So that's another just really cool way that the class changes matter so much and why they're so exciting. It's not, it's not just you get slightly higher stats. It actually affects your abilities. 
ninjas can now cast black magic. The uh, black belts, they become, they call them Grand Masters, which is a stupid name, but they just, they just become beefer looking and hit harder. Uh, fighters become knights and allows them to, they can equip and use any armor in the game, any, any weapon in the game, they can use all of them. Uh, ninjas can't use everything, they are still slightly limited. Uh, but they do have way more options available to them as ninjas than they did as, uh, Thief. Obviously, because of the swords are wielding. I don't think their armor options change a whole lot though, I think it's mostly their weapons. I'm gonna kill these dudes. I wanna get that Peeves level up. The dude needs it. Ah, man, these guys can still do a surprising amount of damage. Lightning too! Yeah, between this and the Zeus Gauntlet, you guys should be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Level up Joof! Agility up, intelligence up, vitality up. You got five more hit points. Or three or whatever it was. Just so close, dude. You can you can almost break 200 hit points. You got a second level 6 spell. Still no level 7 yet, but... Level 6 at the very least. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's throw that tier 3 on Jur. Nice. I think one more fight will get... We'll get P caught up. A Frost Gator? Red Caribbean. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Gotta focus on that. Um... Still need to use that Zeus Gauntlet. And then Joof. Fire three because there's a Frost Gator. I don't trust that. Burn! Okay. Well, it worked on the Caribbean at least. Frost Gator didn't give a shit. Wow, 46 damage on Peep? That doesn't sound like much, but it gets through that much absorption on his armor. That's more on the impressive side. Zeus Gauntlet! Bzz, bzz. Fuck. Got a fish lift. Oh, okay. Cool. Big threats are gone. A little more experience points for Peep and Jerry get that level up. Hey! Did it. And level up P! 417 hit points, strength up, agility, intelligence, vitality, luck. Yeah, now Peep is leveled up and oh, what's that? Why is there a magic thing there for Peep? Because Peep can cast level three white magic. They called it a knight, but he's more or less become a paladin and can now cast low level white magic spells. So it gives him a couple extra heal options for we need it. Uh, he can bruise himself. He can invisi use invisibility on himself. He can't cast. He can't cast harm. He's not able to turn undead at all. That's still exclusive to the white mages. But he does have a small option of white magic spell. So the dude who had the lowest intelligence in the game, this dumbass motherfucker, can still cast white magic because intelligence doesn't actually ca affect your spell casting ability whatsoever. But how fucking cool is that, though? Even Peeb gets to cast magic. We all get to cast magic. So with that, I am now going to go back to the previous towns and uh, and get him some magic. We gotta learn them. If we have that option, we have to learn it. It'd be so helpful to have. So I'm gonna go do that. I ran off screen. I ran back to all the previous towns, and I got uh, as much magic for everybody as possible. These are all the spells that Peeb can learn. These are all the spells that Jerd can learn. I also made an important discovery slash mistake from last episode that I immediately rectified. Jerd, as a ninja, can wear way better armor. He can wear the silver gauntlet, silver helmet, and equip the ice shield, which brings his absorb rating up to 48. Compare that to Peebs, who's got 58, making Jerd a still pr a, a much better target. It can actually take damage way better, and he has high evasion to make up for his uh, lack of armor compared to Peeb. So that's really exciting, making Jerd that much more viable. Anyway, uh, I want to go to this town first just to see what they've got going on, which means parking all the way over here, and we're gonna start hoofing it. Oh, Tyrannosauruses! Let's fight them! Remember when these guys were scurry? Not no more. 
Uh, hit him with fire three. Aha! So yeah, this. Oh, I think I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically on what would normally be the Peninsula of Power. So th those are the enemies that are, are going to be showing up. Only it's just you know these bros. I don't know why I had Ian attack where he's got the Zeus Gauntlet. It's fire two to follow up. Dirt wings. Oh crit. One damage to Peeb. You're a bitch. Three damage to a Tyrannosaurus, and it's dead. Bzzz. Zeus Gauntlet. I imagine Ian's actually like wearing the gauntlet, and anytime he shoots lightning for it, it's like a very Super Sentai kind of pose. Are we just like. <coughs> it's just rad looking. Oh, a thousand experience points. Girl. Which is great because we want those level ups now. To get those super stats, get more magic, etc. This is why I was trying to avoid over leveling as I was playing up to this point because you do get way better level ups when your class changed. And importantly, if you uh, class change way too late in the game, the max le maximum level is 50. And if you class change way too late in the game, you could possibly make it so that any fighters or thieves that you have, slash new ninjas, new knights, they could lose out on getting their maximum potential magic points because they didn't have enough time to grow as the class change. I forget the actual exact threshold, it's like level 35 or something like that. If you class change after that point, you're going to lose out on magic potential for your ninjas and your, and your knights. So that's what I wanted to do it as soon as possible. And so that we get those fat level up. What's up, frost bitches? Oh wait, Jerd! Jerd can fire too! Uh... Anti-Ice, just in case, Joof, fire three of them, because I think that's funny. Oh, Frost. It's not, even, it's not even that much anymore. This used to be the worst. It's kind of cool to just see how far we've come. Ian is now completely nonchalant in his magic casting. He used to be like, ah! And now he's just like, oh, you need an anti-Ice? Alright, whatever, here you go. Just, meh, meh. Had that frost damage. Ain't shit to us dudes. Fire! <laughs> burning wolves, burning wolves, burning wolves. They lived Jew Flame. Ah! <laughs> Super fucking dead. Bitches. Taking that cash money because we'll probably need it because I don't remember how expensive things are. Aside from spells, I know spells are expensive, but I'm more cons interested in any po potential armor upgrades. Hello, you're interesting looking. Lupa? Lupa! Oh fuck, that's right. Lupa? Lupa? I don't speak their language! So that sucks. I guess, I guess I wasn't supposed to be here yet. You have an armor weapon shop to you. I remember what I have to do to get this place working. There's nothing over here. Yeah, alright, well, that's alright. I can still show you a little bit of secret, boys! This break in the wall, head straight east, secretly hide their white and black magic over here. Which, thankfully, this witch still speaks English. What do you have? Level 8 spell, Life 2 for 60,000. And the black magic spell, Nuke for 60,000. They call it Nuke. These days you probably know it as, uh... Flare. Okay, so I can't do that yet. Are there... Sup, zombie bitches. I uh, used my fire 2 already. Let's fuck him up with, uh, Combination Harm 2 and, uh, Fire 3! <laughs> Ian, what's the end? Just, mm, Harm 2. <laughs> These oops all zombies are nothing to us anymore. Look at that. 
Just murders left and right. One damage to Jerd? Ah, oh, that feels so good. Mega fire deeps. Ah, oh, that son of a bitch Zombo lived. Kind of impressive between that and the arm spell. Get this Zeus glove going again. I'm gonna rearrange Ian's inventory. So that Zeus glove is at the top of it, so it's easier to use. Zeus call it. Got him. Psst. Got him. Ian still finishes it off with his Zeus Gauntlet. real fast for my sake. There. And now it's that much easier to use as you spell it. Ooh, wow. So it's taking tens of thousands of experience points for us to level up now. So even this peninsula of power. Not a whole lot of crazy power coming from it. I mean, it's still a pretty good experience points, but I think we get more once we start moving on to the actual dungeons. I'm gonna check the map one more time after this fight is over. Yo, this is a lot of frost damage. Are we gonna be okay? Dickles? Uh, I used my one fire two already. Uh, let's get a heal two off. And... Fire two. Oh, and two fleets it off. Oh, on the weak side. So there's a uh, fun glitch with heal two. It's, that's, um, it is the heal two spell. It'll heal your whole party for not a whole lot of hit points. It's like 40 to 60 or something like that. But if you use it in battle, it glitches out and is as effective as heal three. Like it should not be healing that much hit points. That's like twice as much. So if you get the heal two spell, only use it in battle. And then for even more heal, we'll use Ian's heal staff. And using the heal staff as an item, casts heal one. Oh, there it is! Triple hit, 329 damage, the first ever over 300 melee hit from Peeb. It's happened, everybody. It's happened. <laughs> yes! I don't mind fighting these guys. Since, uh, we need that money. It's just mostly money at this point, let's be real. I'll use a heal staff. Almost, almost out of fire twos on Juve. Damn it! Stop it! God, you're so annoying. Oh, it's right. Peep's got the frost armor and Jerk's got the frost shield. That's why it's not affecting them a whole lot. Don't kill my dudes. I swear to God. Heal staff. Yeah, some some hit points. I mean, I mean, some hit points is better than no hit points. But the fire too from Juve. 180. Oh, wait. I've got it. I know what to do. Oh, Ian, are you injured? Fear not, for Peeb can lay on hands. Cure two! And regular cure. Yay! And then I got a shit ton of cure ones I can just toss around. Fuck it. Awesome! What's kind of nice about having uh, Peeb as a knight is just it's just a few more uh, heals that we can throw up. Uh, let's do a Zeus Gauntlet since I'm out of fire twos and fire threes. Uh, Quake! Let's try Quake! I don't know if I've ever really used this spell any other time I've played the game, to be honest. So let's try it! Chop chop! Three hits! Do it! Quake! Bam! Fell into crack and died! Oh! Oh, it's an insta-kill spell! Oh, well, that's fun. There's so many instant-kill spells. Why would you need, like, Rub, Quake, and... What was the other one? XXXX? Those are, like, all instant-kill spells. Why would you need all of them? Alright, cool. Apparently I should use Quake more often. Later, man. These guys are just gone. Let me check my map. 
remember where villages are. Uh, oh, there's one straight north. That's the one I'm missing. There's a village up here on this little... Yeah, this is what I wanted. Okay. Hello, pink man. This town is Gaia. The Fierce Knight! More black magic and white magic. What do you have here? Ice 3 and Rack. That's supposed to be break or turn to stone or instant kill spell. Don't need all of those. White, uh, ooh, cure 4 and harm 4. Cure 4, uh, automatically heals you up to 100% no matter what. Hello. Unbelievable, you are outsiders, right? How did you get this far north? Hello. What's that broom up to? It's talking backwards. Do you have great power? He says backwards. The answer is yes. Look at us. Uh, I would like to be sleep, please. 500? Shit, lady. There we go. What do we have for armor and weapons here? Welcome. Uh, oh, gold bracelets. I want those for the mages. And protection rings. Those are also really good. I think pretty much everyone can have those. Let's start off with one of those for now. Oh, shit. One protection ring for now. Damn it. Uh, Juve? All right, good. <laughs> and you have weapons, too? I can't imagine there's any weapons we would want to buy. Cat Claw. Yeah, it's like a... That's a black belt weapon. Although I think ninjas can wear, use it, too. I saw a shining object flying towards the east. Towards the east? Item shop. Should be just houses. Heal and viewers, yeah. Hello, sir. Let me see. Yes, there was a professor that studied Le Finish. Oh, he must be talking about Dr. Oon. If you bring him the slab, he can translate it. Clinic's all the way up here. There's a pirate hanging out. Pink pirate. What's up? Hardy har. You are too late. I bottled the fairy and sold her to a caravan. That's important information, so a fairy is needed somewhere. And we did learn about the caravan in that other town. So we need to go to that... We need to get over to that caravan in the Oasis. And, okay, yeah, that's where the ferry normally is, but you have to, you have to free her or whatever. Alright, gotta do, gotta do some math real quick. So we got this protection ring, yeah? Which takes the glove slot. Okay. So is the protection ring better than the silver... Then the silver gauntlet. I'm at I'm at 58 absorbed with the protection ring. It's 50 absorbed, so it is slightly better. So I need four protection rings. That's 80,000 gold. Okay. Okay. But hey, that brings Ian up to 24 abs absorbed. Seven more on him. I'm gonna need some cash. Remember that time I thought I was rich for a while? And then I instantly wasn't. Ah! No! Oh. I could probably still do the, uh, waterfall okay. Yeah, Zeus! Dear. Quake? Okay. Hear me out? Quake, fall into a ravine, die forever? Go extinct? Quake! Holy shit, it worked. Damn it. And damn it. Well, the Hydra and all four of its flailing heads just went down into a ravine, so that's funny. You kill another Ocho. Eh. Eh. Heal staff! Man, do I try to decide if I want to take the time to grind up the money more so than the experience points to get all those protection rings? 
or move on. Yeah, you're not worth a whole lot of cash. Discovered that. Oh, that's why this place sells pures. Because these fuckers poison you here. Got it. Hold on. There we are. And how close are we to a level up? 4,000. About 3,000. Level up isn't far away. I feel like if we go to the waterfall area, it's a, gonna be a lot of water monsters. Ooh, a grapeed. Which, uh, if it's a lot of water monsters, we got this Zeus Gauntlet and plenty of lightnings from the rest of the party. So I don't think it'd be all that tough to go through. Ow. Well, Juve just took 59 damage. Which kind of makes me want to give another protection ring. At least for Juve. We, we honestly do need it mostly for the mages than anything else. Because they, they still get beat up pretty badly. Jurd's armor has doubled his high, crazy high evasion. Tier 3. Um, Peeb's armor is so good right now that getting him like two more isn't going to be that big of a difference. But So we'll grab everyone a level here. And then we'll uh, head over to the... Uh, ice? Wait, what am I doing? So one of the best things about uh, Jerd being a ninja, being able to cast level 4 magic, is that he can just fast himself and just make himself that much more effective of a fighter while Peeb is still being able to fight himself. Uh, Lightning 3, let's see how that does. Zeus Gauntlet! Bzz. Arg. Lightning 3! <laughs> Not great. Not great. I didn't want to cast Quake because they're... they're Myrons are probably flying. But now I'm all, I'm all speedy. I want to see how many hits I can do. I should, I should fast Juve. Just to see how many times he can shank a fucker. Only two? Damn it. Come on. I know I can do better. One hit for P, but a crit to kill him. Oh, a crit from Jew for 16. See, now that we've class changed, anyone's been doing fan art, now you've got to update it to reflect their class changes and all their sudden new power that they have. Which, by the way, thank you all for the, uh, all the lovely fan art that you've been throwing out there. I've, uh, enjoyed putting that as the end slate art. Makes me happy. Oh, I fucking fire three these fuckers. Fire two! Overkill! <laughs> Just to set him up. In case for some reason juice fire isn't good enough. Chop chop. Oh, P. Mega damage. Heal staff! Just, just get a. Get going, it gives you like 10 to 20 hit points or something like that on the heal staff. It's not much, but that is 40 hit points for the party overall. That motherfucker lived. Alright, you're gonna regret that because that's just more pay for you! Chop chop! Damn. New peep sprite looks swole as fuck. Like he's got a nice, like, triangular torso and, like, massive pecs. Damn, dude. Have you been working out? Because it shows. Uh, wait, why did I learn the lock spell? That was stupid. I don't know why I did that. Zeus. And for Juf. Uh, Ice 2. What the hell? Why not? Yeah. So, since I'm going to be spending a little bit of time grinding, I want to talk about the battle system a little bit because... Um, I was thinking about why I enjoy it so much, and and I was doing the, and this was like in between, been between recordings and in between episodes. And well, one, I think a mark of a really good game is that 
when you're thinking about the game, even when you're not playing it. That, that to me is like signifying like this game has really got its hold on you. It's really good. Ooh, a frost giant. This is new. Let's fuck him up. And I was, I was thinking about why I enjoy this battle system so much. And there's a number of reasons. Uh, one, I honestly really like the slow text at the bottom because it's like D and D, and those boxes showing up. It's it's a it's like a split second kind of thing, but it absolutely happens. It makes it so that every action that you see, every number you see, shows up just for just long enough that it really that it really like lands, like it has a punch to it. As like it as you like process this information in your mind. So like I'm fighting this wyvern, and I see Goof attacks the wyvern, okay, hits for 15. Jura attacks the wyvern, okay, two hits, okay, 98, and it's a critical hit, awesome. So it just like, it slows it down just enough that it gives your brain time to process it. And this is with the uh, res the uh, battle speed increase from the options uh, at the menu start menu of the game. So it's a very minor thing, but if that just lets you like, just get, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'm not explaining it very well, or maybe I am, but everything that happens just gives you that brief moment to be like, oh! So even every hit, say, one of your party members being slain, uh, there's like a slight delay between doing, doing da damage and seeing the word terminated show up. So it's like, ah, 93! Terminated. And again, oh, Manticores, hello. I don't know what you're about, but let's get fucked up. It's a, um, it reminds me a lot of Dungeons and Dragons and the kind of what, what having a dun DM can do. Because it's it's like the equivalent of him being like, Juve casts Ice 2. The first Manticore takes 120 damage. Terminated. Second Manticore takes 122 damage. Terminated. So it kind of builds suspense a little bit between... These numbers. Jared leveled up! 302 hit points! Strength up! Fatality and luck! He had leveled up from 291! And the other guys are gonna be shortly behind. So I like... I like that slight delay in seeing that information and being able to process it, because it reminds me a lot of playing a tabletop role-playing game, and I think it's awesome. And... The newer games speed things up... a lot. And I do think that's good too, because these battles do take a long time and I absolutely understand people who get annoyed or agitated at how slow these battles are. So the newer games, uh, with the active time battle system, you always just see 73 damage, and it like immediately moves on to someone else. They do an attack, their animation, and it does whatever damage, you see the number pop up. Monster fades away if they're dead and just move on. And level up for Joof! Dude got his 200 some hit points! Scratch Joof! Uh, and that's good too, because it does speed things up, but I also think it loses just a little bit of the role-playing magic and losing losing that, that, that oomph that happens when you play a game like this, and it, everything literally takes a moment to process. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass, but that's how I feel and believe when I play a game like this compared to other RPGs, and why I, why I like this. It absolutely is steeped in my history and love for tabletop role-playing games. That was 80 damage to peeps, by the way. That's a lot. Six hits! Uh... So that's a reason- that's one of the re many reasons I enjoy this game so much. Ah, strength up for peep. Not an amazing level up for him in terms of hit points, but... Still a level up. No more magic. Nah, no more magic. Yeah, they need... I think it's like every other level to get more magic points for stuff to cast. Ian and Joof, they got, they got another level 2 and another level 5 spell to cast, though. And this should be enough money to get a Protect Ring, so let's do that. Anyway, uh, that's another reason that I enjoy the uh, battle system in this game for what it is. Hopefully that provides a little bit of insight to you as to 
why I think it's so special and why I think it's so great. If not, that's cool too. Uh, I should just save up for gold rings. No, it's too expensive. Just, uh... Wait, do I have any space? Uh, oh, yeah, I've got two gloves. Sell gloves. Sell your stupid gloves. You won't be needing those anymore. Keep the cat, though. Is everyone else, like, maxed out on stuff? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Everyone, everyone else is using all their things. Okay. I got a feeling I'm gonna find protection rings and gold bracelets in dungeons coming up. I don't remember if that's the case or not, but I feel like that could be it. Cool. Juice up to 24 absorption. Awesome! So we're gonna fly back to the other town and make our way into the, uh... Into the... Into the waterfall! Meow! Straight west, pretty much. There's the waterfall. Do you have to park far away still? But we'll go up the uh, go up the river. So another thing I really like about the music in this game, and one thing that's always been very Final Fantasy, Fantasy to me, has been the battle theme. And it's a number of factors. I think the main one, and like my probably my just overall favorite part of the music, is that opening bass line. Like after it does like the, uh, you just hear that bass line, basically set up the battle, and it's kind of brilliantly timed in terms of uh, the it just like ties the gameplay to you a little bit. And I don't know if this is intentional or, or not. I would like to believe it is. Uh, but it, it's, it's tied to the gameplay, your information processing, and your response to everything. I'll try to show you what I mean. So, like, that very first, uh, first note you hear as soon as the battle, after you hear, like, that initial ring, you hear that bass line going, do 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 Now, and it kind of, like, times itself perfectly so that... You hear the bring, and there's the surprise of seeing the monsters. And during the doo 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 doo, you as a player are looking at the monsters are showing up, and you're currently processing. You're saying like, okay, it's that enemy, that enemy. Uh, how can I handle this? It's like, okay, two manticores. All right, so PB dirt on that one. Ian used that. Juve used that. Go. And it kind of tied itself to like that thought process. At least anytime I've played, uh, to before I even press a button. Usually. Not- that's not always the case. But that's how I'm feeling this way, so... Again, to kind of- Ooh, Stinger. What does that do? Oh, a group poison? That's obnoxious. There are worse things in the world. That's just obnoxious. Yeah, so to kind of- To kind of recap, so like... You don't know that what the battles are going to be. So like, as soon as you see it, it does that- Like the shock, like, oh shit, here it is. That bass line, it's like, alright, what are you gonna do about it? And by the time you got it, then the rest of the music goes in. Almost as if your party, surprised by these attacks, like, turn, and they see these monsters, and there's just that... The, the music kind of gives, like, that... That, that uh... That feel of, like, a, a, st a stare-down. Like, for just a brief moment, your party is just staring at the enemies, as they like kind of come up with a battle plan, like they got their weapons ready, uh, and then uh, after you've chosen their actions, you're like, go, the rest of the music comes in. Again, try to keep that in mind as this battle starts. Ready? Oh shit, two trolls. Alright, you have to fight there, you have to fight there. You have to use, use and you have to use, uh, fire three. I used more button imprompts. But now, like, the music kicks up, and now the battle is starting, now they're actually fighting, they're going back and forth. You know, it's just turn-based, like, the fight has actually started. It's a very cool thing, and I love it. And... It was, like, always such an impactful way to start battles, that they kept that opening bass line to every single Final Fantasy battle song, up until... Uh, up through Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VII was the first one that they... Uh, didn't use it. And that was one of the more disappointing things to me of, of Final Fantasy VII, is that how much they changed that battle music. I always like I always felt very traditional to me, just having that bass line. 
and then eight didn't have it either. And then uh, they brought it back to brought it back with nine, and arguably nine has like the strongest, most powerful bassline beginning to battle music because they do some really cool things with it. Uh, and nine was intentionally designed to throw back to older Final Fantasies before seven and eight. Um, and then ten didn't have it. Neither did twelve. Thirteen didn't have shit. Uh, but then they very subtly brought it back for 15. So if you played Final Fantasy 15, and if you're doing the thing where like, you see a group of enemies, uh, and you kind of crouch down and you're doing like the sneak up to sneak up on them. Uh, so it's again, you're near enemies, you're kind of like scoping it out and coming up with a battle plan, and you hear that bass line very subtly slower in Final Fantasy 15. Listen to the music again, it's a very slower. And I just think it's a fucking awesome effect. It's a very cool way to start battles. Anyway, I ranted rant and rambled a little bit and got off course of what I was doing and just got more money and experience points. But So to me, when I play a Final Fantasy game, just hearing that bass line in the music uh, to me, is like, fuck yes, this is a Final Fantasy game. I love hearing that. Even Final Fantasy XIV has that, which has this huge sweeping music score and all kinds of crazy battles. It doesn't happen right at the beginning, but instead they kind of use it as a bridge to uh, loop the song. It sounds awesome. Like, play, play any dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV, and like the uh, boss theme, right in the middle of it, you hear, you'll hear hear the strings going, bump, 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 then the music uh, repeats. It's, it's fucking cool. I'm so into it. And of course, like the classic, you know, victory theme. Da -da 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 so many people know that. I feel like more people know that. Well, I don't know what game, what game really pe made people really believe that. But uh, again, six or seven was the first one to really change. Uh, what it does like the first few notes, and then it just goes into something different, which. That's fine. Not nearly as, as good in my opinion. Anyway, let's go on the waterfall. Yay! Alright. So here's how much I remember about this dungeon. Close to nothing. There's more nightmares. I'm not afraid of you nightmares. Because I've, I've got spells and stuff I can do for you. I have class changed. I am far more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Zeus Garland. Mad deeps on both. Juke. Misses. Damn it. Oh, a critical hit and not a nightmare and kills it. Snort all you want, dude. Still gonna get stabbed. That's why you're covered in white. Because you've been snorting so much. Am I right? Okay, cocaine jokes. Those are hilarious. Yep. Ian's still using that same hammer. He may never get rid of it at this point. I honestly don't recall if there's an wep actual weapon upgrade for white mages. And I think at this point, it's just better for him to be using the heal staff more often. Ooh, shit, mud golems. Than actually attacking. So let's use a heal staff in case someone gets hurt. Oh, he also got the Zeus Gauntlet, though. Oh, this is Zeus Gauntlet. Yeah! Three hits, dead. You were supposed to be bosses in the Castle of Ordeals, but you're not sure. Surprisingly, I haven't seen, like, underwater enemies in here at all. Which is what I th thought was going to happen. I mean, it's so early. I, I mean, we're not technically underwater. We're just in a cave uh, past the waterfall. I don't remember where I'm going. It's not this way. All right. Are there treasures? Hello, bat friend. Kiki! All right, I don't know why I thought he would have vital information for me. Oh. Fucking wizard mummy? None of that. None of that. Let's go with a, uh... We got that. We got that Jew Fire Two. Between a Jew Fire Two and a Zeus Gauntlet, should have him pretty close to death. And P. Majority can focus on that Wizard Mummy because I don't know how tough he is. 
Oh, 104 on that one. Okay, so the Zeus Gauntlet could be strong enough to kill a mummy. Awesome. Couple hits on the wizard. Peep goes in. Three hits on the wizard. The spellcasting mummy is weird. I thought maybe most of their muscles wouldn't work to be able to do the somatic component of it, but I guess not. Help the amount of cash. Uh, let's go more left. North then? Alright, normal fight, normal fight. Uh, I guess I don't really need a fire 2 spell if the Zeus Gauntlet is strong enough to take it down. So let's do regular. regular fire against the Wizard Mummy. Just as a backup in case Peeping Jerk can't do it. Good amount of damage there. Not being lived. Ah, uh, weak. I say that and then the Zeus Gauntlet kills none of them. Got him. Fire! Oh, he's dead. Whoops. Whatever. At this point, level one spells really aren't all that useful, aside from the aside from the cure one, because that's still hit points. And then a second round of a Zeus Gauntlet. It's probably all that's really needed. We'll uh, spread out some uh, melee attack damage to help guarantee the kill. There's one. You've already been weakened by Jerry, so you're dead. Nice. Wizards down. When Juf, like, is, does his victory pose slash cast pose, it looks like he's straight up throwing a Hadouken. Where the fuck am I? Couple more nightmares. This doesn't, uh... This, uh... this doesn't do, like, an infinite wraparound thing, right? I don't think this game does that at all, aside from the overworld. Single critical here. Damn it. Actually got damage on Egan. Ah, oh, weak Zeus. Weak Zeus. Uh, let's do heal staff. Yeah. Yay, hit points. We're not even that hurt, but yay. Damn it. Never mind, Ian's, Ian's getting hurt. That's why I used the heal staff. Maybe I'll get another, maybe I'll get another heal staff off before it's over. Stop, dude, shit. All right. It's a good thing I got him that protection ring. Uh, P, why don't you use your cure two on Ian and your cure? Better. I swear I've seen that bat before. Okay. Dead end. I'm gonna guess down. Oh, Paralisks. These are the guys with the insta-kill. We'll throw out Zeus Gauntlet and the Lightning too. Because they don't have a lot of hit points. Die, please? Oh, 100. Nice. Okay, clean. Good, all right, I think we're all right. Oh, no. That one didn't take, really take anything. Ha, ha, ha! He squinted at Peeb, he's like, how dare you kill my friends. Ah! Good. The last thing Peeb needs is to get behind in more experience points. You know what, come to think of it? Is this it? I... I might actually be totally wrong. This might be like a super short dungeon. And it doesn't even have... I don't think it has any other floors. I might just be way wrong on that. Anyway. Let's conquer our nightmares. Am I right? It's a metaphor. Yeah. Damn it. Is it just, just nightmares that hate Ian? Ian, do you have some bad nightmares we need to talk about? We're here for you, dude. I'm your ninja friend. You can talk to me. But you won't know I'm there, nor will you see me. For I'm a ninja. Die! Uh, is this? Oh, this is it! Oh, cool! Whoop. 
Why? Do I party? Because let's fucking do it. Uh, let's make sure you die. So, we're gonna go Zeus Gauntlet, and since it's so short, fire three. Just fuck them all up. Yes, Joof leads off. He's like, no, look out, robot! Oh. <coughs> just scorps everything. But not the treasures. Joof, don't burn the treasures. We need those. <laughs> wow, we kicked that Perilous at the end. He still died. Awesome! Hi, robot friend! Beep boop boop! Take this cube. With it, you can transfer to the floating castle. What? Oh, the wizard staff! The ribbon! Oh, this is good shit. Cash fucking money. Cash money. Cash money. And... Oh! Is that the de defense sword? Ooh, oh, hold on. Okay. So the defense sword, when you equip it, actually, like, raises your armor, I believe. So, Peeb's currently at 47 damage, 86 hit percentage. With the defense sword, it's 48, 96. Oh, shit. That might be four hit territory, boys. That might be four hit territory. Hold on, let me check it. Hold on, I might have been wrong. Maybe it doesn't actually increase your armor evasion at all. It doesn't. But that is... That is some, uh, four-hit... Four-hit territory. Uh... Was the ice sword any better for Jur? 31, 59... Oops. 39, 64! Ooh, that's 64%! Jur should be doing three hits now! Fuck yeah! Alright, and for armor. Alright, so the ribbon replaces the cap? Yes. So the ribbon, I believe, protects from all elemental damage. So we're gonna keep that on Ian so that he's always around ready for heals. And I think there's only three in the whole game or something weird like that. Anyway, let's peace out of this place, am I right? Exit! Lost? No way out? Is it hopeless? Use this spell to exit! Okay, could've just done it. Wow, okay, so that actually was not what I thought was going to. So, I can now bring that to go to the floating castle. Which is where we'll find the air elemental. Or, I could figure out this uh, fairy situation and go to the, uh, and go to the, uh, uh, underwater place. So again, slight variations, non-linearity, I could go to either place right now. Hold on. I got that power staff and I wanted, or wizard staff. Use it. I believe that's a usable thing. And it does stuff. And it's awesome. Uh, Ian got hurt a lot. Uh... Just blast them with everything we got, because we're almost back to town. Fuck it. Wizard Staff! Oh, it confuses? Oh! That's not what I thought it did. I thought it was like a fire two or something. Alright, cool. They're all confused. Hit each other, idiots. If nothing else, that's just a great way to, like, stall them all from doing stuff. Oh, Lightning 3 just did 344 damage against that fucking alligator. Oh, the Hydra bit a Hydra for 16! Haha! <laughs> Lightning 2 from Gerbs! <laughs> so now I need, to, I need to decide if I want to go to the floating castle. Or if I want to go to the underwater place. Uh, gonna be real with you, I'm leaning towards underwater place. Because if memory serves correctly, I feel like I'll die less there. I think... I think that's the case. Oh, the Hydra bit himself! Haha, <laughs> idiot! Stab! Their heads are just like snapping at each other because they don't know what to do. Guess quick three thousand gold out of it. Okay, I'm gonna make it back to town, rest up, and then I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on the water place first. But now I'm ready to go to the air place whenever I want to. So I believe from here I need to go to the to the oasis because as we learned in the other town, that uh, one dastardly pirate took the ferry from there, 
bottled her up and sold her to a caravan. And as we learned from someone in this town, uh, oh shit, P with the four hits. You see his sword, by the way? That was awesome looking. Show me again, and jerked it three hits. <laughs> yeah, jifted two and killed him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, as we learned in this town, uh, some uh, lady's father owns a caravan and took the oasis to the west. So we're gonna find this oasis, which I don't actually really remember. And then I'm gonna need to bring some items in a second. And then we'll uh, demand the fairy from him. I don't, I don't remember exactly how you get it. Get some hit points up. Mostly on P, but I guess he's the only one who's not so far. That's a huge sweet sword for four hits. Mmm, jerk. Three hits. Yeah, buddy. Not a shitty character anymore, am I? I start off really bad and sucky no one cares about. But it's not until later on in life that people actually think, hey, you know what? Maybe he's not so bad. All the more accurate. We're heading back to the airship. Back there it is. Then let's check the map. For where? Oh, okay. The, oh, so it's like the straight north. Okay. Like a desert up here. Somewhere in this area. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, hold on. Alright, cool. Save a lot of time. Oh, don't get to see the desert background very often. So there you go. This is what the background of the desert looks like. Uh, still don't really know your weakness, do I? You may not have one. Zeus Gauntlet! It's not lighting, that's for sure. Your weakness is Peep Sword! Oh, damn it. Ice too! Please! Oh! That worked really well. It could be ice. 50 gold! Oh, Jerd leveled up and got sh shit for hit points, I believe. Strength up, agility up, intelligence up, luck up. And Ian leveled up, strength up, agility up, intelligence up, vitality. Oh, that should get uh, some more spell slots. So, whoop. Ankylo, I remember these guys. Another dinosaur, an Ankylosaurus. You're in a desert. So ice, presumably. Eh? It was okay. Zeus Gauntlet? It was okay. Holy shit! He like curled up in a ball and ran over Joof. We killed it though. God damn, that was a lot of damage. One gold. Joof leveled up! It's a good thing you're getting more hit points, Joof. You know, it's actually pretty realistic that we would get no money off an Ankylosaurus. Is that a real dinosaur? Not important. So... Oh! There's a secret town in here. Welcome to my caravan. What would you like to buy? Bottle for 50,000. Wow. That was a gold bracelet. Okay. So then we release her. Pop! A fairy appears and then is gone. I saved her! Hooray! And now I can head back to the city that had her. Which one was that? It was the one in... It was this one nearby, wasn't it? Yeah. I seem to go back this way. You're in the forest, too? Alright, well, let's beat the shit out of them. More ice. I think this guy got a little lost. You belong in the desert. Ooh, good ice damage. Peep for hurts. So, yeah, I think he's supposed to use uh, magic because physical attacks aren't doing a whole lot to him. That's a juice step. <laughs> Three more hits from Jerd. More hits from B, but the crit finishes him off. Hooray! Come on, we need to get Peep his level up. Don't leave him behind, my dude. Yeah! Strength up! Good levels, good levels. And that should be enough to... 
Yeah, Peep and Jerry can now have uh, two uh, spell slots for every level spell. And Ian and Joof got what? Another level of one spell. And maybe a level two spell? No. Oh, level five spell went up. Awesome. Still can't quite cast level seven spells. I guess that's not until uh, level tw one? 20? Is that where we're at? Ah, I'm only level 19? Like, I feel so far in the game, I'm only level 19. That's crazy. That's also, I mean, that's also kind of a compliment to the game. Because I know a lot of people talk about how crazy grind heavy these games are. And now that I'm playing it again, it kind of isn't. It is and it isn't. You bet they'll grind more for money than you do anything else. Like, I'm I'm doing okay fighting fighting the current monsters and stuff. Oh, that's a big Chris. I say as Joof gets weakened down to that. Um, but I, I, I don't feel the need to grind up for experience points. I think I just need money to get the uh, better equipment for everyone more than anything else. Like, you can grind up a lot and get to crazy high levels, but you really don't need to. Huh. Because I always- yeah, I was always under the impression that this game is like, if you don't beat it at like level 45, you're fucked, dude. But not really the case. Alright, so we freed the fairy, so she should have returned to her... ...lake over this way? Hold on, I'm gonna... Hit that in real fast. Since we used up some spells and we got we had some pain go around. Ah, ah, better. Alright, awesome. Alright. It was over here, across this bridge. Yeah, I think they have these rivers here to uh, Yep. That's what I wanted. No, it's not. It was the other town. Damn it. Okay, this is the town with the submarine. Alright, so I got a little ahead of myself. Oh, okay, it was at the same place where the pirate bottled it up, which is the city in the mountains. Okay. Got myself back on track, that's all I needed. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you don't really need to grind a shit ton to crazy levels in this game to be good at it, or to be successful. Which... Which is good, like, that's a mark of a better RPG game than most, where it doesn't set up superficial roadblocks to force you- to force you through things. It would be nice to have those gold bracelets and protection rings on everyone, yeah! But I don't need them. We are doing plenty of deeps without. I keep forgetting to, uh, swap items around. I need to give Joof that wizard staff. So anytime I don't want him to use a spell, he can just use the withered staff and confuse stuff. Three hits on Joof? Why? Because I mentioned giving him the staff? Jerk ass. Do that now, since I gotta go and pure him anyway. No, let's just use Ian's magic. Alright, uh, weapon, trade the withered staff down to Joof. Looks good to me. Probably don't need that coral sword anymore. Sell this off at some point. Honestly. Back this way. Oh, my boat's up here. Boat. Airship. Airship's up here. Alright, back to the mountains of the other town. Which I don't remember the name of this city place at all. Uh, so this is where you go to initiate the... Uh, floating fortress. Can you, like, make your way to the top of that tower and use the floating cube to be, like, teleported up into the floating castle? But we're back here, because I saved the fairy. And she should have returned home. I don't have any money, do I? Not especially. Whoop. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Up over here, so to the straight right, so there are magic places up here. It's where Dick Hole's like, yeah, I took her. Now, what do you say now that you're she's freed? 
Oh. Good, he doesn't know. I mean, if he... <laughs> it would take like, Oh, the fairy's back! Guess I'll rebottle her and make another quick profit. Yarr. I do like how the uh, caravan tries to sell you, like, It's a bottle! And you're like, I'm not spending 50000 for a bottle. Unless you know the fact that a fairy got trapped in it. Hi, fairy! That pirate trapped me in the bottle. I will draw Oxy Yale from the bottom of the spring for you. Boom! Now we've got Oxy Yale, and now we can breathe into water. We can bring that back to the submarine lady, give her the Oxy Yale, power the submarine, and thus we can go underwater and continue our journey. That's pretty cool, right? I mean, that, that does a good job of explaining where you need to go and how you, how you need to go about doing it. Use your new wizard staff, Joof! Confuse? Now, in effect, both time. That's alright. Just giving him the uh, option for crowd control instead of wasting spells for damage. Even though I could just cast it. I'm gonna go back to another town real fast. Oh, big crit from Peeb! You know what? That'll do it now. Save myself from trouble. Don't poison! Good. Aha! Chop, 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 chop! Yay! Kinda miss, uh, having Final Fantasy games be like, you hit multiple times. But also not have it be like, so <laughs> excessive that it loses its effect. That's kind of, like, they have it in uh, Final Fantasy 3 and, like, Bravely Default as well. But, you, uh, you, like, hit so many times, you're just kind of like, alright. Like, Final Fantasy 3, like, you very quickly are like, you hit him eight times! And it's like, okay. Just kind of loses, loses luster a little bit, you know? Even Bravely Default has, like, a crazy amount of multiple hits super quickly. Kind of goes ties into like the smaller numbers thing, like keeps things fresh, keeps things special. Keep using this wizard staff, you know. I could just be casting spells. Eh. Zoo Scarlet. Ooh, 176. Wither staff. Damn it. I guess it is just confusion. I was, I thought maybe it did like. Random effects or something, but I think it's just confusing every time. Oh, that's a lot of damage on the end. Did Juf just punch him? He did. Juf just punched that frustrator. I forgot to equip his dagger. Sorry, Juf. I guess you could- wait. Oh, I didn't even think about him being with the wizard staff. Hold on. With the silver knife, damage 15, hit 38. With the wizard staff, damage 20, hit 38. Oh, man. He actually does slightly more damage if he hits someone with his staff. But no! Joof is a knife man. He loves his stabbings. And really, at this point, he shouldn't be physically hitting anyone. He should just be using spells or the magic of the staff. So no, from here on out, Joof, you shall always have a knife in your hand. Ready to stab fools. Uh, I'm just gonna blast the fuck out of them. The town's right here. Get fucked. Fire three! Weak. Good. Good, weak. Jerk back up with fire two! Hooray! Yeah, man! I'm starting to feel like a final member of the team! I missed that. Oh! Ooh, do I need... I'm actually pretty good on heals. I still have 75. Which I think we gotten past most of the bullshit of the game. In terms of, uh... Shit doing way too much damage. The fire, like... The volcano and the ice cave. That's what I'm mostly referring to. But still... We'll have them should we need them. Alright, so let's uh let's go underwater. This is gonna be another one of those places. Okay, again, like 
I mentioned before, like, right at the point in the game where it's kind of hazy. It's even hazier here, because I've only gotten to, like, this point in the game once before in my entire life. Alright. Warriors, you have Oxy Ale! The mermaids wait. Please help them! You got it, lady. And now we are underwater. Getting some Temple of Fiends music. Is there any, uh... What's under here? Gray sharks! Or great sharks, whichever. Uh, well, we got the Zeus gauntlet, so this will be funny. Oh, shit. Hmm. They still be able to bite peeps for 24, which is a hefty amount of damage at this point. Zeus gauntlet, 78 to each. We'll take it. Oh, crit from Jerd. Uh... Same thing, I guess. Wizard staff for confusion! Damn. See, maybe it is. Maybe it does do something different, because, like, the little cloud effect every time he uses it has been changing. So maybe it actually does do different effects, and only some of them has been working. Ooh. Easy experience in gold, though. Hi, right, what's in here? Treasure. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so freaking happy for any and all money that we find. That's a lot of Red Sahagan and Wizard Sahagan. Are you serious with this? Well, we got the Zeus, uh... We got the Zeus thing. Um... I feel like I should hold on to my lightnings. Uh... Ooh. Lightning 2? The Red Sahagans aren't shit. Like, they're not gonna do any kind of damage to any of us. Lightning 2, just sweeping forward, which should pretty much kill everyone in the sea, honestly. It's not gonna be isolated to just these dudes. We should all be affected, but... Thankfully not the case! Do they cast spells? I don't remember. Jerd killed one. Ian with a Zeus Gauntlet! Yeah, easy kills. Easy kills. Good money, not great in experience, which makes sense. They're pretty easy to kill. Okay, there's a stairway there. Check these other buildings. A sea troll and fucking lobsters? Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, lobster's poison? Uh, hold on. Pretty sure lobsters aren't poisonous. Even though I guess these are just reused scorpion sprites, but... Lobsters. Wizard staff! Nope, okay. It was a different puff of club smoke, but it still confused them. I set out all my targets just perfectly, though, and killed them all. Hold on, I got goddamn poison. I wasn't expecting there to be poison underneath here. Yeah. Yeah. Building over here. A couple of them. Oh, there's a stairway up. Shit. I don't know where to go. Hello. Many dudes. Wizard staff! Yes. Like free crowd control, so good. Even though confusion has got a relatively low chance of succeeding, it does just help mitigate damage. See, lobster stab patrol, which is really funny to think about. Ah, sea troll hit the lobster, and I all get Zeus gauntlet in. For not great, really not great. All right, we'll give you a round two of some Zeus gauntlet. God damn you, lobster! Why must you be like this? Uh, you guys are pretty close to dead. Uh, drink just the pure on pee. Oh, okay. Troll did three hits and 112 damage to Ian. Alright, so we can't fuck around too much. Yeah, I gotta get in those gold bracelets. I hope they'll find something like that down here. Or maybe something better. Alright. Uh, pure peep. 
since he loves getting poisoned so much. I wonder if that stairway up is actually the exit. Because there wasn't like a stairway up from where I first appeared, was there? I think all of these are empty. Maybe that one has some stuff. Hi guys! I remember you. Remember you're a bitch. Oh, four hit crit takes out a wizard Sahagan. Sahagan? Sahagan? Yeah, the Zeus Gauntlet! Just take them all out. Just take them all out. Like a, just like a sweeping lightning laser beam across. It just. Just. Just cut some in half with lightning. It just fucking looks rad. Yes, juice dead for one! Hi! You're on your own now, you son of a bitch. Let's use a heal staff. Try to get some hit points out. Oh, unless he's dead. He's dead. He's very dead. Alright! More cash, money, and experience. And in here... There was a chest! 2,000 gold. Cool. Guess we'll... Use a, use a couple of heal potions on Ian. Just for safety's sake. Okay, I want to try the upstairs first, just because I'm curious on that. Whoa, water elemental to see, Naga? That's pretty cool. Hit him with lightning. Just like everything else that lives here. Whoa, Naga cast lightning. Not cool. Hmm. Okay. You know, come to think of it, I don't think there's a thunder sword at all. There's a fire sword and an ice sword. Oh yes, confuse him, Juf. But I'm pretty sure there is no... I'm pretty sure there's no, like, lightning blade any kind. Probably because, from what I can imagine, they couldn't fit the word thunder or lightning in it. But I don't remember there being one. Ooh, they're worth hella gold. Oops, this way. Oh, excuse me. And up here? Nope. Where am I? Whoa! Gray shark and a big eye! Look how big it is! I don't know how many hit points you're gonna have, so I'm gonna hope a Zeus Gauntlet kills you. Well, Peep and Jerd. Oh, 200 crit from Jerd! Wait. Was that the first 200 damage from Jerd? I don't remember. But if so, that's fucking exciting. And now, those big eyes are just huge targets for our brigades. Come here, fucker. <laughs> Ian Hammer Smash. I should use a heal stab. That was foolish of me. Oh, stab right in your. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay, big guy's got crapped on the hit points. Way more than I expected. I just figured he'd be like odd eye and have very little. Am I going the right way? I think I am. I think I am. Like this feels vaguely familiar. You guys, you're just you're not scary. Look, done. That's all I gotta do. Not scary. Uh, I mean, we're juke doing anything. Just gonna hang back and let the Zeus God take care of all the work. Yep. I guess this is another good reason why I wanted to do the sea area before the floating castle. Is because the Zeus God, it, it just makes the game. It makes it pretty easy. Just sweep through enemies, no problem. And then with that, it makes it way easier to gather up a bunch of experience points and money, so that by the time you make it over to the floating castle, you're far better prepared. Zeus call it still helpful, but won't be nearly as like overpowered fighting the stuff there. But here, great. Oh, you're not a place I can go into. There's another building down there, though. Check up. Oh, this. 
Oh, there's the entrance. What a weird room. Who built shit like that? 20 gold, baby! Mmm. Straight up fucking ghosts. Uh. Zeus is going I have a fire too if need be. How tough are you guys? Whoa! 95 to Jerd. Okay, so they do crazy damage. Easy to kill though. Peep was able to take out one by himself with a crit. Uh, 59 plus 90, still alive. That has a lot of Jerd damage. Just get a heal staff to everyone that'll heal him outside of battle. 108 to Peeb? Okay. Don't underestimate ghosts. Keep everyone above 100 hit points fighting them. Okay, ghosts are threats. They just go through absorption or your armor, no problem. Damn. Peep, cure two. Sure. Sure. Cool. Actually, he's pretty easy to heal the potions too, I suppose. And save that for battle. Whatever. Whatever. Zeus. Uh, that one! Yeah, if that one lives and Juice stabs and kills it, I'll be so pleased. Or he gets the stab off first for me. <laughs> yeah! Three hits, 221 damage! Yes! Don't remember how long this mermaid place is. Oh! Okay, I had a slight flashback. Oh, shit. I think I wanted to go down back at the beginning. Because I believe there's an actual mermaid village slash city you can go to. I don't remember if they let you buy stuff there. They're mermaids. But it, it could have had helpful things. Shit, I don't remember. Well, I'm already here. Copy. I feel like because I'm seeing this stuff, I am definitely not on my way to the Mermaid Village. I think I went the wrong way. Opal armor, hell yes! We're gonna take uh, Peeves' armor and super, super juice it up. He's got hit percentage 99. That's ridiculous. Alright, so current armor it is uh, absorb 58, evade 55, and with the opal armor on, 66.55. Can a uh, jerk wear ice armor? He can! Can absorb 58, evade 55. Raises his evasion down a little bit, but gives him 10 more absorption, which I guess I'm okay with. Which, in that case, I can give the gold ring to someone. Ooh, give it to Joof. Yeah, Joof has 33 absorb. Yay! Awesome. Drop this bullshit. I mean, I know I could go back to town and sell it, but... That would mean I need to go all the way back to town to sell it. <laughs> Whoop. Water elementals. Uh, uh, confuse him! Oof. They still get a decent amount of damage on it, everyone. Confusion? Damn. That would've been nice. Let's see if we get... I don't... They're water elementals, but I don't feel like the lightning damage from the Zeus Gauntlet is doing enough. Hmm. The Juice. Ass. Normal lightning. Just in case. Not- oh, I hit the wrong one. Well, that missed. Whoops! Well, whatever a dead water elemental's corpse looks like, Jeff shocked the shit out of it. Hey, level up, Jerd! Mm, jack shit for hit points, though. And Ian leveled up! Got a lot of hit points. Did you just pass me again? I could cast the exit spell and try again. Find the mermaids. 
Sea snakes? Do sea snakes poison? I feel like these fuckers would make them poisonous. Because they're assholes like that. Assholes. Zeus? And uh, Probably nothing. Because they're still just snakes, right? They're not that tough. Right? Yeah, Peep can kill one on his own. Hopefully his Zeus Gauntlet does extra damage against it. Eh. Oh yeah, it does. So, yeah, so the sea, sea snakes take double damage from lightning too. Water elementals? Not really though? Eh. I don't have a good answer for you. Oh, there's another crit from sure to kill a sea snake. Chopping him up into pieces. We'll eat him for dinner. But not here, because we can't make a fire underwater. In before someone makes a SpongeBob joke. Ha! How dare you. And level up Joof! Strength up, intelligence up, vitality up. Let's get Peeb that level up. Does anyone need heals? Yeah, we, yeah, throw a couple heals out. Alright, and... And... It's pretty much good. Peep is missing like a fourth of his hit points, but with for him that's that's like nothing. A light axe? Hmm. Damage 49, hit 99. I doubt a light axe is gonna be better than that. 47, 79. Yeah, that's way worse. Congratulations. Light axe, more like money axe. This is all you are to me. More sea snakes. Zeus damage. We'll have a Juice Lightning too. Why not? Help take him down. Oh, nice crit, Peep. Lightning 2 from Juice! <laughs> Oof. Ooh, girl. And a Zeus Skull to finish him up. Lots of deeps. Mad deeps. I'll be a Peep level up. Yeah! 480 hit points. That's a good one. As he reaches ever closer to 500. And I grab this chest. Ooh, mage staff. We have a wizard staff and a mage staff? What does it all mean? Okay. So how does that compare to the wizard staff? If Juf were to equip it. Damage 17, hit 34. So... Not crazy good over his knife. I want to try using it in battle, though. Whoop. That regular ash shark. How dare you show your face. Regular ash shark. Alright, does mage staff do a thing? I don't remember. Mage staff! Ooh. Oh, I think this one is fire, too. Fuck yes. So we have the Zeus gauntlet dealing lightning damage. And the mage staff dealing fire damage. And then we also have a wizard staff to confuse him. Should we need it? So basically, everyone is just getting fucked. So it's not a whole lot of damage, but still damage nonetheless down here. I mean, it's... See, he killed a shark with it! It's probably still better than him just stabbing anyways. Awesome. I love that you can, you can use these infinitely, by the way. They never break. They should have so many charges, because it's a little overpowered. But oh well. Game developers fucked up, so I'm taking it. Alright, over this way. There's more stairs up. Plus a lot of cash. Yes. And holy shit. Oh no! Oh, this is the mermaid place! Oh, okay. I was going the right way. Cool! Made it to the mermaids! Look at them all! Let's talk to one! Hi, mermaid! You are... You are topless. Straight up. Nice. If we cannot regain the power of water, we will become bubbles, then disappear. I'm looking at your bubbles. I'm sorry. Really, before anything, I need to explore... All these sweet chests. 
If you know what I'm talking about. Because I want all this cash money. Ooh, opal bracelet. That sounds dope. Uh, the opal... Peep's got opal armor. How good is the opal bracelet? If I put this opal bracelet on, say... Joof. Absorb 43, evade 65? That's pretty ridiculous. But is that any better than Jurd's ice armor? Absorb 58, evade 65. There was like five more, I think? I was paying attention. Welcome to the most exciting part of Final Fantasy games. Math. Doesn't prove his evade. But it's absorbed the same, so I'd rather... I guess I'd rather just, uh... Do it like this. That way, Ian's got to absorb a 43. With high evade, and Juke's supposed to absorb a 33. Okay. So I spread it out a little bit. So the, the silver bracelet is pretty much worthless, so we can... Throw that in the fucking garbage. Awesome! Cool! More armor for Ian and Juve. Hello. My friend Daryl went to the land, then never returned. I often wondered what happened. Maybe she grew legs and walked away. Okay. I don't think you actually ever meet Daryl ever. Unbelievable! You can breathe underwater? I'm impressed. Thank you. More impressive, we just walk underwater while wearing all of this equipment. Peep, looking at you. Hello. Please save the sea and make the orb shine again. I shall. Hello. I suppose you are legendary. I don't like your sarcastic tone, mermaid lady. Dude, why are you all so rich? What do you need with money? <laughs> Get so many of you have it. Oh, 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 hold on. This is the shrine's top floor. The fiend of water, Kraken, lives on the bottom floor. I'm really glad I went up first. Because I went straight to the Kraken and missed all of this. As long as the fiend of water lives, we... Oh, boo-hoo! Again, that sarcastic tone. I know it's supposed to be legit, but... More cash money. Yeah, this rate can actually afford some spells. We're pretty much got to the point of the game where buying weapons and armor really isn't worth it anymore. To unlock the Mirage Tower, the Lefenish use a musical tone. And a pure. Yeah, we're at the point where buying weapons and equipment really isn't useful anymore. It's all the best weapons and armor are going to be things that we can find and or quest for. Ooh, an opal shield. And just pretty much going to spend all that money on 102% hit. That's so ridiculous. Uh, 66 absorb, 56 dodge, 70 absorb, 56 evade. Tight. And then we got the flame shield and an ice shield still, which I don't know if I still need those. Mm, I'll hold on to it. I guess, I guess. I don't think the Kraken... Casts. Ooh. 10,000 gold! And 10. Are we going to become bubbles? No. I won't let that happen. How do I get to that one? Upper right one? Are you like the extra secrets? I checked this one, right? Yeah, okay. Just make a jerk. I don't remember if you actually need to come here at all for plot, but man, there's a lot of fat loot. All right, I've checked all of these. I don't know if we can get to that upper right one. This goes to a dead end. Or does it? Or does it? No, this looks important. And it's vaguely familiar in my memory. Oh wait, that's right, it wraps around and you go, okay, that's right. Oh, uh, can't hold anymore. Whoops, hold on. Uh, oh, the slab! Yes! Awesome! I needed that. That's that an important item. And I can't hold anymore. 
what I can only assume is armor, because I got plenty of weapon room, which... Oh, shit. Okay. If I have to get rid of an armor piece... Um... I don't want to get rid of the flame shield. So, what I can do is just drop, say, a silver gauntlet, because I can buy those again. What's in here? An opal gauntlet! Perfect! Crushed it. Boop. Gives Peeb up to 72 absorb. But now I gotta make a decision here. Maybe it's an opal helmet. Let's drop your silver helmet. Uh. It is an opal helmet! <laughs> yeah! Ah, I'm so good at this game, you guys. Boom. Crush it. So good. So, uh, that- I got the important item out of here, which was the slab. I don't need to talk to the memories for anything else. Uh... If you actually look at the slab, it'll say, Unknown symbols cover the slab. If only we knew someone who knew an ancient language and could decipher this codes and text. Do you remember that at all? Probably not, but we'll get back to him. Uh, so I'm done here, which means I can exit. Yes. Perfect. Which is great, because I want to hit the in and rest before I go back down. I still got... Uh, max out on my heals real fast. This won't take too long, I don't think. Oh, never mind. I was gonna do it, but... The heals all the way down there, the co requires more button presses, and I don't want to do that. Oh wait, I've got all this money. What were in these magic shops? I don't think stuff I can use yet. Choof, Saber, and Blind. Both of those are worthless spells, because neither of them work! I can use level 7 magic. Yet here I am. Anti-rub! That is a good one. Um. Ah. I can't even use level 7 magic. Fuck. That's fine. Alright, so we're gonna rest up at the inn and then we're gonna go back to the water shrine. And start going down instead of up. Because that's where Kraken is. Yes. I'd like to rest, please. Thank you. Okay! So you do need to go both directions in that water shrine. And we're going back. Into the sub. Boop. Alright! Whoop! What's up, shark? Ha ha! Only two hits from Peeb, that's disappointing. So I know there is a better hammer that Ian can get. I don't remember where it is. But there is a better one he can get. But I also just like him using his good old classic silver hammer. It's used for ages. So many brains have been collected over onto that hammer. Why would you want to get rid of it, you know? Okay, where's that stairway down? It's up to the left? It's been like a... It's been like a hot minute since I last recorded. So my memory's a bit fuzzy on everything. Uh, got a couple lightning twos for everyone. Now, let me hold on to that. Instead, I'll have Juf use, uh... I'll use the mage. It's not much more damage compared to the Zeus one, because that one's lightning based, but... Just in case any of them survive for some reason. Which I don't think they will at this rate. Man, you kinda go on a power trip as soon as you get like the class change and you start getting these items. And all of your dudes can just do ridiculous damage. Yeah! Oh a big crit from Peeb! Ka those ninths of Hagen. Aren't even worth as much as one gray shark. All right, heading down. Uh, I don't even remember if it's. Oh shit! Sea snakes and sea trolls. You can tell they're water based because we put the word "sea" in front of their name. Uh, uh stick with the Zeus gauntlet. 
So I know I've mentioned it before, but we're once again kind of at that point in the game where I've only done this whole area, like, once before in my entire life. Any other time? Because I, I frequently- I expect this usual to die that fast. Because any other time I played this game, I could pretty consistently do- when I was a kid, I could pretty consistently do the first two orbs. I could do the earth orb, and I can get to the fire orb. And then I just, for whatever reason, started having problems around here, because I couldn't figure it out. And again, this is before widely, wide available of walkthroughs and stuff on the internet. So because of that, I've only done this whole place one time before in my life. I, th I think it was the... It's probably just the ice cave that just crushed me so hard every time that it made me give up a lot. Which you saw the ice cave, so, you know, it's understandable, right? Oh, uh, you paralyzing dickholes doing a lot of damage. Yeah. That, that, that was actually a lot, of, a lot of damage. I probably shouldn't fuck around with these ghosts. Oh, that was a good zap from the Zeus gauntlet, though. Oh, poor Peeves. He's not doing too hot. We'll get a heal staff going, though. Might help a little bit. Mage staff! <laughs> Even though we're underwater, you're still susceptible to fire. You're okay, Peeve. Look at that. Thousand experience points, though. We'll use... Since I got him, we'll use some potions. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a sort button. Uh. There we go. A little bit better. Let's move on. Hello? Wait. Stare me up. But I thought I wanted to go down. What's what's up? Hold on. Now I'm curious. What is up? Don't remember that. Yeah, because even the, the mermaid lady even said that the Kraken lives on the bottom floor. So then why would I be able to go down and then head on their stairway up back towards the first floor? Unless the game wants me to think that. I don't remember. Do you know that Peep's going to murder the shit out of that wizard Sahagin? Mm. More like Wiz Sahagin. Because he looks like he's covered in pee. <laughs> okay. Ah, thanks for coming. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> ah, so dead. All of them just dead. Yay! I know he's supposed to be doing like ninja things, but when when Jerd celebrates, it actually looks like he's clapping. Just like we beat him all, he's just like, Aah! Uh, what the hell is this? Oh. I don't remember this at all. And then goes back down? Oh, maybe this is the right way. Or at least to more treasures. Now we can afford an instay. There's just, I'm sure there's better stuff too. Alright, these guys are gonna die pretty quickly, so we'll have Ian use that heal staff to get just a few more hit points on our whole party. Lest we murder him first. Oh, he lived. Surprise. Okay. Hmm. Thought these guys were uh, weaker than that. That's alright. We're, we're still getting some hit points on everybody. Ain't nothing wrong with that. In fact, we'll do it again, just to be sure. P, murder it. Oh, oh, 455. Oh, oh so much. It's so much. Oh, and Joof! You did it, Joof! You stabbed the shit out of that snake until it died. Hello? More money? Plot twist. This whole thing's a dead end. Nope, we're going back down. Hope I didn't miss anything vital. Okay. Yeah, perhaps that was the correct path all along. Oh, good. Get to murder the shit out of these guys first. Alright, I'll get the big eye. Because this is probably not going to be that tough. We'll get a heal off. 
And then we should be okay. Yeah. So Mima, before they can fight, we're gonna get some hit points. Mostly on Peeb. Everyone else is doing all right, but it's mostly Peeb that needs it. So if we can get that next threshold of Peeb critting for uh, over 500. Oh, oh, so good. So another 300 crit, which we've seen before, Peeb. It's not exciting anymore, dude. Step it up. I'm just kidding, dude. You're doing awesome. You don't deserve that shade. Uh, cash money. Whoop! It's guarded by water elementals. There must be something quite valuable in here. Same with that Zeus gauntlet and Joof. Power up that lightning too, baby. Got lightning all around for you. Bzzzt. That sucked. Are they not weak? Are you gonna be something weird and be not weak to lightning? Because I swear to God. Joof, what about you? 84, 33. Okay, well, one died, so that's super tough. Really thought they'd be more, more weak to lightning, but I guess not the case. Fire from the mage staff? Nope. Oh, we killed him! <clears throat> that's an embarrassing death. That water elemental became steam. Yay. Where were you hiding? Cash money, okay. I think they... Do the developers just run up ideas of what to put into stuff, so they're... Just give it everyone money. I, I, I don't. <laughs> uh, let's hit these guys with a fire three. Cause I'd rather they die right away with how much damage they can do. They're ghosts. Their hands and appendages go through the armor and grip your soul. It's not a pleasant feeling. No, it's not, also not pleasant. Fire three gets undead. <laughs> 200! Oh, no, 290! Shit. Wasted. Later, bitches. Uh, if I were a... Probably have to go down more. This isn't the exit, but it is. More chests. Of cash money. A fight! Ooh. Yeah, it gets exciting things. But also things that are easily killed by more fire. Let's use the mage staff. Don't see a need to blast a fire three against these dudes. Unless the cockatrices turn us to stone. Then I'll be upset. Thankfully they're mostly dodging. Oh, you put... Mummies put people to sleep? That makes no sense. I right, we just lost out on peeps. Mad deeps, but oh well. The Zeus Gauntlet setting up a lot of the mummies to be easily killed by the mage staff of Joof. Me and Joof have just become a powerful team. It's like Zeus Gauntlet, mage staff. It's like in the animes where they both shoot like a beam of energy and like one starts coiling around the other. It's like that, basically. It's exactly what happened. It was so cool. You just imagine in your head. Actually, it's pretty rad in my head. You know, Joof is like a fire, it's a massive fire, and then Ian uses his Zeus girl and he shoots it, it's a fireball, lightning coiling around, and it just hits them all and explodes. And then we get fat experience points and find all this money laying around afterwards. Oh, more armor that I can't hold. Oh, shit. I don't know what to get rid of. I will right, we'll drop Jared's silver gauntlet. Zing it. Always get another one. So I can get this power gauntlet. If I. I think if you use this as an item, it casts temper on yourself. Which would normally sound exciting, but, but temper doesn't work in this game, so I don't think it does much. 5856. Let me uh Okay, I can't wear the opal one. So that sucks. But Peeb with that one on. Uh, oh, so the power actually has slightly less absorb than the opal. 
So, probably still a step up from the silver. Fine. I'll, I'll still wear it. That's cool. Slight upgrade for Jared. Yay! Alright. Uh, you guys fight that. I'm gonna test this out. See what happens. Just to make sure. Uh, wizard staff. Confuse them. Because it's funny to me. <laughs> there you go. See, the crazy thing is, a lot of these items that you can use to cast spells, I just never really occurred to me for the most part as a kid. The only one I figured out on my own that was pretty obvious to me was the heal staff. Because, yeah, yeah, you use the gauntlet and it charges up your weapon, but it doesn't actually work. Okay. The heal staff was obvious to me just because it didn't do much damage, you can't really hit people, and if you hit people with it, it wouldn't heal them, that doesn't make any sense. So I used it in battle, and I was like, oh, it does heal you, awesome! But I never figured out the Zeus gauntlet, the power gauntlet, uh, the wizard staff, the mage staff, I just thought they were just different staffs you can use. And then when I played it again, I became a little more experimental with my items and try to use as many as I could to see what powers or abilities they had. And lo and behold, a lot of them really make the game pretty easy. Okay. That, now that's some shit. How about a Jared Lightning 2 combined with an Ian Zeus Gauntlet? As Joof backs him up with a Mage Blast. Even though you're sea trolls, you, you're still part troll. Suck fire! Wait, is that... What are sea trolls weak against? Would it be fire? Because they're troll? Or would it be water? Because they're sea. Which is it? Whatever, lobster. I'm trying to get you guys to kill... Die first, because you poison! Eh. Oof. Come on. Lightning to you from Jared! Ah, uh, just... Based off the damage so far, I think the sea turtles are still weak to fire. Everything else, though, get lit to death. Or mostly alive. Thank you, Ian. Back me up. <laughs> Yay. What? Ow! Come on! Uh, do I have a heal too? Uh, it's my cure threes though. I'd rather not waste those up. I'll use a heal staff. If I can get that off for a few extra hit points before it dies, that'd be great. Or Peeb slaughters it. Another 455 for crit. That's that's our max right now. 455. Can we get higher than that? I believe in you, Peebs. And a light axe. Now, if I recall correctly, the light axe uh, sucks dick. So I'm just gonna move on and ignore that. Because axes are dumb. I mean, they're not, they're not entirely dumb in general, but in this, this particular game, I don't think they're all that great. The drop in... The drop in accuracy isn't, uh, isn't worth the, a little bit of extra power in my, in my head. I'd rather have the additional hits than just a little bit of po more power on the hits that... What few hits you do get, you know? Economically speaking, I think it... Works out better that way. Ow. Snake bit me. Heal staff. Yeah. Good job, Joof. <laughs> Snake didn't like it. Seems like he tried to stab it and finish it off, immediately he turned around and snipped at ya. Did I check this room already? Definitely not. More money. Battle! Oh. With, um, with just embarrassing enemies. Uh, you guys aren't even all that tough. Nah, I'll nah that's alright. Debated using the heal staff instead, but... We'll, 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 we'll kill him. Oh. Oh, you did so little damage to us. Juf managed to dodge, and I only took one. Because all the sweet new armors I can wear. Zeus Gauntlet! Zzzt. Zzzt. Yeah! Uh, 
So I can get more money and some more money. Oh, that's gonna be one of those, okay. So you guys are always gonna be here, that's fine. Now that I know how little damage you actually output, I'll we'll take this time to heal staff up a little bit. I say the bike jerd for 42. Ow. Oh, but he comes back with a crit against the wizard to Hagen. Ian casts sparkling blinding lights as it sprinkles out over the party and heals us all up. Juf tries fire underwater. He's like, I like my spells, they're all good, I don't want to waste them. Peep and Jared will switch targets, allowing them to finish each other's enemies off. As Juve just keeps his fire underwater. Whoop, I bumped the microphone, sorry. Yay, heal staff! There we are. Much better. So they hit Peep for one. Finishes off the Wizard Sahagan with a critical hit. I want a more exciting sword. For Jerd. Been using this uh, ice sword and it's, I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. Empty! Can't hold anymore. Fucking hell. Ah. Oh, damn it. Alright. Drop. Fucking Juice Cap. Fuck it. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, another ribbon! Yeah! Totally worth. So, if you think you dropped your, your cap, Juif, now you got this ribbon. Awesome. So now, Juif 2 has pro uh, protection from all elements. Which is tight. Especially since we're on our way to fight Kraken. Who's probably gonna cast ice? You know, I don't really know. If I remember correctly, I think he just beats the shit out of you with his eight tentacles. Oh, Jern leveled up! Ooh, ooh. Strength up, hit points, vitality to luck. And then Ian levels up to 330 hit points. Also gets strength, intelligence, vitality. Yeah! Saha, Ian, I still got more hit points than you. I hit 22 strength, so my damage went up by one. That's awesome. Yes! Go down. Dun, ba, da, 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 dun. Right over this way. Another sea troll and lobster. Maybe he can use his heal staff. Look, we just we just got a bunch more hit points. So we gotta heal him up. He only got six more hit points off his level up. That's fine. Just means he doesn't have as many as me, and that's that's important. Because I would like to feel important in some way. Wouldn't we all? Ha! Got him. Yay! Um, down here. Okay, just a treasure room with treasure? Nope. Damn it. Oh boy. Oh, it's water elementals though. Which I tried the lightning and it didn't do great against them. But it's still better damage than anything else. Let's keep com Oh fuck. Okay. Hit turn for 78. That's not a joke. Hmm. Yeah, they even hit P for 17. That's a lot of damage! Zeus call it! It's like normal damage, it's not doubled. It's still damage. Poof, but they are still alive. Uh, I'm gonna try an ice spell just to see. If we're s Maybe you gotta freeze the water elementals. Everything else is weak to lightning, but these guys are weak to ice! Oh! Yeah, it is. These guys are ice. Okay. Okay. Now you're in trouble and never see you again. If only my ice sword mattered against them. Alright, beat the shit out of this water elemental. It's just a water elemental underwater. So, I wouldn't know how you would discern that against 
the rest of the water. Just swing wildly until we feel safe. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> hey, a lot of level up for peep, strength up, agility up, vitality up, and a lot of hit points. And juve leveled up, Intel agility, intelligence, vitality, luck. Everything but strength. And you got three more hit points, baby. Yay. <laughs> Shit! All these empty buildings. I think... I believe uh, Kraken is somewhere down here, though. I'm gonna hit him with an ice spell. What about that? What if I hit him with ice? Huh? Maybe I'll do mad deeps with my magic, because I can do that too now. Ha! Freeze! Uh, okay, I mean... Did a lot to that first one, and then Peep can finish it up. You're welcome, Peep. Oh, 49 to Juve. We'll hit up this last one and heal. Got him. Yay! Another thousand experience points. Are these all empty? This is like a pathway over to this one. Wait, no. Nope, I remember this. This just goes in a big fucking circle. Okay. Yeah, this I believe this is the bottom floor. So all of these are actually uh, empty. Except for the final room, which has the fiend and the orb restoration place at it. Pretty sure that's the case. All those snakes are alive. Ooh, crate on P for 63. That's right, I did three hits. Eh. Get him, Joof. Yay. Three hits, 289. Oh. Heal staff. I'm actually are getting low on hit points all around. Except for Ian, he's at full. Nice. Oh wait, Ian and Juve leveled up. Can they use, uh, can you use some of that level seven magic now? Yeah, they can. Awesome. They just hit the point where they can use level seven magic. Oh. Oh, wait. Shit. No, they could before. But I didn't realize it because we had leveled up and then I rested at the end. And then it restored their magic point, so they could before. Now they can just cast two of it. Alright. They had they've had the they've had the level seven power in them all along, you guys. I'm just dumb and didn't pay attention. It's fine. I don't think any particular level 7 spell would have been that super useful down here. Maybe Ice 3 for Joof against the Water Elementals, but that's it. Oh shoot, what if Jeff used Ice against Kraken? Didn't even think of that. I don't remember that being the case, but that could also be the case. What is this? What is this nonsense? More heal staff. I'm gonna keep that knife on Jew forever. Yay! Mage fire! <laughs> Ow! Oh! 100 hit points is low. Heal staff! Eh. Ooh, 21 more on Jerd? That's pretty good. Die, please. Damn, dude! I knew something called a big eye would have big hit points. Until it meets Peeb, that is. Yeah. Up and around. Through this giant empty building. Other rooms that don't even have doors. Filled with nothing. Ooh, I think that's it. But first I must kill these lobsters. <laughs> 
that just sounds funny. There! That place there! That's the room that houses the power of the orb. But first, we must kill these lobsters. <laughs> Alright. I killed one! Yeah, fight amongst yourselves, you foolish lobsters. Oh, not me! Oh, poison in the crit. Oh. Oh, that's danger. Another crit on Jerd could kill him. Come on, Ian. Your Zeus Gauntlet was weak. Kill another. I have no idea which one isn't confused. Yeah, kill each other. Perhaps yourselves. That'd be hilarious. Do it. Do it. Eh. Yeah. Cool. All right, we got this. One last Zeus Gauntlet zap. Yay! Now let me just uh, heal up some of this poison situation. Wait, hold on. I still have these 19 pures I'm never gonna use. And rearrange your position in the team. And then we're gonna heal up Jurd. Uh, oh, we'll use, we'll use some of Peep's Cures. Oh, who's now has a... Now I got three casts per day. Is that for me too? Yeah, awesome. Alright, use all of Ian's level one cures, because they're level one. They're the same as heal potions, screw it. And, uh, cure two. Uh, that should be good. Well, I'll use a one more heal potion to top off Jerd and to top off Juve. And then we do battle. Yes! The Fiend's ball is shattered, evaporating all the water. Ho ho ho! Cow foolhardy! To dare challenge me, Kraken, the Fiend of the Water! Oh shit! That is an octopus. Don't tease the octopus, kids. Alright, blast with lightning too! Ian! Uh... I think just... I think just blasting your Zeus Gauntlet's your best bet. Uh, Juf, why don't you power up a Ice 2 just in case. Ice 2! As it freezes over the crack and his ice forms over his tentacles and he shatters out of it. And then a lightning bolt comes from Ian's Zeus Gauntlet. Eight hits against Jerd for 155 damage. <laughs> Ow! Jerd comes back with his own lightning too for extra damage. Alright, lightning too seems to be working the best. Jerd took a lot of damage though. Jerd, cast fly it fast on Peeb. It's the only way. Uh, let's have Ian cure three on Jerd because he was getting low on hit points. Juf, we know the ice is not the answer. Call upon the powers of lightning three. Lightning starts sparking around Juf like he's a super saiyan or something. Jared places his hand upon Peeb's shoulder and speeds him up. Eight hits against Peeb. But then Peeb comes back with his own eight hits for 229 critical damage. Juf, lightning three. 140 hits it. Disappointingly low. Jared's out of spells. Uh, still have Ian. Now that we've healed up, hit him with the Zeus Gauntlet. Juve, another Lightning 3 in case the last one was weak for some reason. Goes from Lightning 3 in one hand and throws off the other one and finishes it off. And the Kraken is defeated. Da -da -da -da. We have done it! The Kraken defeated! Restore the Water Orb! And then teleport out. Whoop! We have done it! We are now have three of the four orbs shining bright as we try to restore uh, the world or whatever. The fourth orb is the wind orb and it's way up in the sky, currently inaccessible by us. Unless... We, we do some super cool things. I, I went back to the town and just rested real fast. That's all you missed. So we're back up to 100% completely full. I also have all this money to spend. 
uh, which sounds like a lot. I have over 200,000, but we're at the point where all the spells to buy cost 45,000 each, just for the level 7s. Uh, so at some point, need to buy need to buy some spells, but I want I want to check the other places first to see which ones I'd rather have, just in case, because the black spells were tempered and blind. Both are kind of sucky. And by sucky, I mean they don't work at all, so they're, they do nothing. Which is suck. That, that's suck. Uh, and the white spells, saw cure three, or saw heal three, and anti-rub. Anti-rub is pretty tempting. Because freaking rub spells, man. You saw what happened to Peeve. Shit's no joke. But I don't remember if that's protects against all rub spells or just the rub spell. Let me rephrase that. So there's a lot of spells that instantly kill people. Bane, uh, nuke, uh, something else. I, forget, I don't remember if anti-rub protects against all of those or if it was just the specific rub spell. That's what I was trying to say. Either way, I probably will still end up buying it because... The other spells I could get aren't crazy exciting in White Mage. Like, heal three, I don't like a whole lot. Especially when I can just use the bug to cast heal two as heal three in battle. Keep got poisoned. And Juve got his ass kicked for some reason. So the other level seven White Mage spells are... Is the cure, is cure 4 level 7? Or is it level 8? I don't remember. It's like that and possibly harm. I'm not crazy about harm because I'm at the point where I have so many other things I can deal damage with. Who cares? So let's head back north to that one enclosed city and just check those magic shops real fast. This is mostly for me. You boop. Ah, you guys had some magic, right? Wouldn't mind buying some. Juve would like to learn ice. Th ah, break. Break was another insta kill spell. So we'll have Juve learn ice three, and then you can learn break too. Fuck it. I'm sorry, Brack. And for white magic, it was tech. Okay, okay, let's cure four and harm four. Um. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get, you know, fuck it. We got harm four. That's fine. And then I can uh, fly back to their town and grab... Uh, the anti-rub, yes. But first, where are your weapon shop at? I've got so much garbage to get rid of. Uh, I pretty much still need all these armor. I can, I'm gonna sell some of the weapons. Just some, not all of them. Mostly the stupid light axes. Whoop, this is the armor shop. Armor shop's white armor. Not weapons, weapon shop, here we are. Hello, sorry. All right, uh, light axes. Bam, just made a cool 10,000 off of those. I still have the coral sword for some reason. Um, I guess I could sell the giant sword. And the flame sword. Because really, at this point, who cares? Mm. Nope, keep those from Ian, Juve, Wizard Staff. Oh, extra ice sword. Don't need that. You sell that. Other things I'm going to keep on Juve, though. Awesome! Ooh, wait. What about the other magic spells? Do we need the level 8 ones? No, 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 no. Getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. Don't need level 8 magic yet. Can't even cast it. So we're just gonna leave and do plot stuff. All right, so as you remember, back when we were in the mermaid village, we just found a slab and that slab was covered in bizarre markings and codes and text and it made no sense to us simple folk. So we're gonna head straight south to here and then east because that slab as it turns out, is vitally important. We just need to find the right person who can read it. And we already met that person. 
all the way back at Melmond. This destroyed shithole of a city. Turns out they're still shit. Oh, oh, he's up. Never mind. Jim the Dwarf's still here. Hold on, let's talk to Jim the Dwarf. Because he's checking things out about the vampire. What about now? Night Warriors, thanks to you, the Earth is beginning to revive. I can't find my way home. I spent all my money getting here and no one wants to hire a dwarf. It's Dr. Oon! Remember Dr. Oon? A slab! This slab will lead us to solve the riddle of the Lefenish. Now, listen to me. And the implication here is that he just taught us, in an instant, how to speak the Lefenish language. Remember that one time I went to a town and everyone looked weird and talked weird? It's because I didn't understand their language. Now we do. So now we can head to that final town. And I think they got some level 8 magic there. In fact, most positive they do. But before I do that, I'm going to head back north and grab the last uh, level 7 spell for Ian. Just to fill that out. I'm not going to grab any other level 7 spells for Juve because they're just, just so not worth it. Sadly. Sadly. If I end up just rich as fuck and I got all this extra money, maybe then I'll, uh, maybe then I'll go and just get something for him. Just uh, his, his spell book is, is full. Wiz Ogres and Cerberuses. Cerberuses, you're, you're ice, weak ice type monsters. I'll throw all this ice around. Look, oh look, oh look, ice three from Joof. Joof got ice three. Jerk, ice two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 236. That's some hot shit. Arr, the scorching six, three. Yeah. You barely touch us anymore, nerds. Zeus gauntlet from Ian. I want to see ice three. He ruse himself! Hit him with magic! Damn! Ice 3! It's so cold and screen! 320! We did it! Fam! Joof has cast a spell dealing over 300 damage. And we got a pretty healthy amount of experience points out of that. Damn it. Ugh. Poor Joof. I really wish he was getting more hit points as level ups, because he is far behind everyone else. So, um... Brack. Let's Brack. Oh, wait, only- you only Brack one? Oh, I thought I did it against all. Shit, I just wasted a Brack spell. No, he's already dead. Damn it. They call it the Brack spell, which is short for break, which is supposed to be, uh... Flush to stone. I don't know why that's translated as break, because they did that in later Final Fantasy games too. Like, turning them to stone, they just call it the break spell. I don't know why. I'm sure someone in the comments knows why or can figure it out. I never could. You figure it'd be after they're turned to stone, then you would break them, and they'll have no chance of coming back to life. But not the case. Eh. <laughs> Let's grab, use the last of our money to grab this white spell. Boom. Hello, Ian would like to learn anti-rub. Thank you. I still got 12,000 gold left over to spend. Tight. Which isn't a whole lot now in the grand scheme of things, but, you know. I'm sure any one of these townsfolk, they saw me with 12,000 gold, they'd be like, Dude, you got 12,000 gold? Damn. I want 12,000 gold, and I went, too bad. Probably should have been Light Warriors. Alright. So we've got the slab, we got it translated, we got all our spells, we're back to 100%. Back to the airship! Rather than do a lot more... Just, just walking. <laughs> Let's beat the hell out of Cerebus. Think we care, dude? Yes, Ian's hammer for 17! Three hits from Jerd. Your Scorch does nothing to us. 
It's because we got all the sweet armor weapons and the ribbons and stuff. <laughs> Later, man. You super dead. I think it's actually easier to fight the forest monsters than the ice or the monsters in the river. Oh, Sabertooth Tigers! Sabertooth! Arr, arg! Actually, probably really not all that hard. Fire two from the Mage Staff, maybe? Ow. Yeah! Four hits, 315. Zeus Gauntlet! 100 damage kills that one. 51. Still alive. Extra fire from Jufer. Another 100 damage. I don't know why I did the great puff of smoke. Kick out! Three hits from Jurg's ninja abilities. It kills it! Yay! Alright, back to the airship, and we're going straight to the left, pretty much. Yeah, like. Yeah, almost exactly west. All right. This way! As we wrap around the world, back to this area with the one safe. Whoop, I missed. Hold on. It just, it moves so fast. There we go. So you can tell Peeb is leveled up by his sprite in the, uh, <laughs> in the forest because only his shoulders stick out from up above. Look at that! 45. Three hits crit. That's a weak crit, all things considered. The heal staff from Ian. Hey. Ha! Good work, peep. Let's move on. Got that dollar off the dinosaur. I'm surprised he had any money. Whoop. Oh, zombies. Hold on. Harm too. Fuck it. Uh, uh, nah, I've got, let's use the mage staff. I consider using har fire three just to be like, lol. That's probably wholly unnecessary. Oh, this is so much free damage. You're dead. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. They can still crit the mages for quite a bit. Oof, alright, the harm 2 sucked. Maybe it was a good thing that I bought harm 4. Just, just get him. Just, just get him. Just get him. Slice, slice, slice. Yay! These guys are still worth a thousand experience points, though. I mean, I had to fight four of them to get that much, but... It's pretty comparative to what was in the... Uh, the underwater shrine. Like, I was getting around a thousand experience points per fight down there, too. Sup, giants. You wanna party? Uh, let's have Joof. Let's try Quake. Let's see what, let's see how Quake does against him. Oh, or Jerd can take one out all on his own. Fucking wrecked. He only hit Joof for nine. Quake! Ineffective. Okay. Could not make him fall into a hole and die forever. Yes, these giants aren't shit for experience points. There it is. And now we made it to the city of, I think it's just called Le Lefin or Lefine. Hello. We are the Lefinish. Only our bravest became Sky Warriors. Your airship was theirs. So this airship we are wielding is actually Lefinish technology. At the time of destruction, a legend was born. In 400 years, warriors with orbs will appear to save our people. Are you? Oh! Oh, the light warriors! The legend is true! Yeah, it's us, baby! Just walking around, big dick swinging, we're so cool. Until 400 years ago, the control we controlled the power of the wind. This enabled us to suspend the castle in the air. 400 years ago, we had an advanced civilization. Our interest was the universe! We made it to the sky, so, you know, we were almost there. The floating castle floats high in the sky, seemingly among the stars. 
We have passed on the legends from generation to generation, but 400 years ago caused our memories to fade. I wonder if they have rope, if the robots made by our ancestors are still moving. Freaking robots. It's kind of the fascinating thing with uh, this game, because a lot of Final Fantasy games mix a lot of fancy elements with sci-fi stuff, like technology and robots, steampunk, or machinery. But that wasn't a new thing. Even like this original game still had that kind of motif going for it. The floating castle, our ancestors lived there. The Mirage Tower is the entrance. Oh, we saw the Mirage Towers in the middle of the desert. Our last five warriors left to find the cave of the world's decay. But we, we know they live, but as bats. Did I see five bats somewhere? We fought with Tiamat, but were unsuccessful. The fiend now inhabits our floating castle. The power of the wind was taken by Tiamat. With this chime, you can enter the Mirage Tower. Noise. Remember they said the Lefenish used a special sound to get into the, the tower? It's because we needed the chime. We knew that a great power controlled the fiends. Our five bravest warriors left, never to return. So yeah, that's your problem. You sent five. Should've just sent four. Prophecies and shit, you know? You know, know what I'm saying? I mean... No, nah, I'm saying. Hello, Magic Shop. Got life two here for 60,000. That's how much that costs. Okay. And nuke. I want Jeff to cast nuke. Nothing would make me happier. All right, so I am gonna have to return here at some point, which means more annoying walking through this forest of power. I don't even peninsula. Uh, none of these are fun. Ooh, I should probably rest before I move on. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and do that after Juve blasts them with Ice 3. Or, I could grind up to the point where I can cast level 8 spells and buy a level 8 spell. Is that... Is that madness? Is that too much? You show up to Tiamat and Juve casts Nuke. Ah. Juve no one hit points. But Cure 4. The way the Cure 4 spell works is it doesn't give you so much hit points back. You just straight up go back to maximum no matter what. So it is a full heal. Dead. Giants work, aren't worth a whole lot anymore. Let's see, watch. Cure 4 on Juve. Bam, full hit points. It didn't even make the blululululink sound effect. It just. Just bring out about it full. Still gonna rest. Wait. Was there an. In here? There is not. The innkeeper's racist. See your face upon the clean water. How dirty! Come, wash your face. Wow, it has been a long time since I washed her face back in Corneria. It's covered in all kinds of innards. Yeah. Slightly better, I suppose. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Juf, do you wanna... Thank you. Because it's funny to me. Or Jerd can just take on a troll all on his own. Ah. Uh. Oh, well, this last troll's fucked. Here you go, buddy. 113? That's weak. Mage staff. Or Peep slaughters it. Just chop off all their limbs and, and head and separate them. So even if he wants to regenerate, he'll... Oh, there's parts too far away. Which this... Oh, speaking of regeneration... Another fun tidbit about this game, it's supposed to have a regeneration mechanic. Some hit enemies are supposed to regain hit points over the time, but that's one of the other many things in this game that just doesn't work. Let's see if we can get Ian's harm 4 to go off. I want to see how much it does against Zombles. 
But first, Joof's Mage Staff scorches them all. Come on, Ian, do it. Do it. Do it, Ian. Do it. Do it. Yeah, hard four! 123. 142. 208. 82. All right. I don't know if it goes higher than that 200 zone or not, but I guess it's a better option than some of the other crap that we saw, you know? So it's fine. But I'm going to try to hold on to all of his level 7 spells for things like Cure 4 or Anti-Rub. And I know the last life spell is only at level... Uh, level 8. Stop using up so many of my spells just so that... Because I don't remember... 8 hits from P! Blah, 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 blah. Just, uh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna try to stop using my spells so much because I don't remember if the house completely restores all magic points. I don't think it does. Heal. I sped up P because it's funny. 717 critical hits. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh, turn leveled up! Got four hit points. Ian's gonna get more. Just watch. Ian leveled up. Oh, and got six hit points. S still beating ya! Damn it. But I can get another point of strength. Which means I'm uh, that much closer to increasing my damage output. Agility 25. I have the same amount of agility as Peeve. What's the point? What's the point? Ian has 36 intelligence, Joof has 40. Hmm. Alright. Sweet. Got another good level up. You know what? Let's uh, fight a little bit more for another one of them. One of them. Get another level up. Oh, it gets a Tyrannosaurus. Yes. Yes. Ice. Ice. The Ice Age killed the dinosaurs. Hit him with ice. Yes. I should have used a break spell. I said I wasn't going to use any more spells, and that. There I go. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Oh, four hits from P. X3! Ding! Damn it. X3 sucks. Ice 2 from Jared! I'm sorry, Jared. It's a big difference. Bum, bum. I can throw out a heal too, though. Mage Staff! Eh. Got him! Yay! 846 experience points. Level up, Joof! Strength up, intelligence up. 261 hit points. Ow, oh, shit. Peep, come on, dude. Only 300. Let's get one more level up for Peep. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's pretty indicative of how much I haven't been over leveling or I'm still leveling up pretty quickly just off of regular ass shit. And not intentionally trying to spend time to level up. Because it's been averaging about every 12 fights or so is when a new level up would come for us at the moment. So long as we averaged a thousand experience points per fight. Which is what we have been doing for the things that we have been fighting. Which really isn't that many fights. Yay! Yo, level up peep, level up peep, big, big, big! 516 hit points, strength up, agility up, intelligence, vitality. It gets all the stats. All the stats. And mad hit points. Now, more importantly, Ian and Joof leveled up. Can they. Nope. Cannot cast level 8 spells quite yet. Dang. Oh, Joof, you still need a level 6 spells. Oh, so does Ian. Damn it. I gotta go do that. So here's the Mirage Tower. I need to get that, but I also need to finish off those level 6 spells. Where did I go for level 6 spells again? I forgot. Uh, that's level 7. That's also level 7. Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's back. Oh, I was like back to Crescent Lake. That's right, Crescent Lake. I'll go there. 
I'm never gonna use my regular ship ever again, pretty much. Uh, there it is. Do I have the money for this? I might not. I rest at the end for sure. Yay! I don't wanna. I don't wanna dawdle too much right now because we got the stuff to go to the Mirage Tower, so I wanna. I do wanna get there. Uh. Oh, that's right. That's right. What is the spells they got right now? Ian's got Fog and Exit. Joof has Lightning 3 and Quake. He's got, he's got Fog and Exit. I can only afford one. So it's either Soft, which can be super useful, because you can't use Drinks of Soft in battle, but you can use the spell, even though I don't remember if it actually works. Uh, stun or Rub. Oof. I want Joof. <laughs> uh, it, just, it seems so redundant between Quake and Rub, but it's also the Rub spell. It's it's funny. I'm pretty sure Stun doesn't work at all. Shit, I don't remember. Ah, oh, this is a huge conundrum. Nope. Nah, mm, take it, Joof. Take Rub. It's funny. It's too funny of a spell to not have. <laughs> and now Joof can rub people. <laughs> Yay! Uh. Yeah, so. Okay, 17,000. So about 17 more fights. Which I guess we can go to the Mirage Tower. Kind of get it started. So here's the thing with the Mirage Tower, is that's kind of like two, two dungeons right in a row. Land here. All right, let's move. This big ass fucking desert. Ooh, red ankylos. Okay. Gonna not cast fire or anything. Um, here the Zeus Gauntlet since we're at full. And then Joof. Mm. Mm. Wizard Staff. Two hits on P for 36. 111 damage off of four hits. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, they hurt! I confused one! I confused two of them! God damn, alright. This brought Joof down to freaking 63 hit points. That's no joke. And Ian on 177. Alright, kill the one that's not currently confused. Uh Cure 3, Joof. Joof blast it with mid staff. Eh. It, it's a little bit more damage. Take whatever you can get. Kill the one. Not confused and fighting himself. Yes! Gear 3! Come on, Juf, get up! Alright, better. Actually, kinda glad I used that wizard staff then, because they wrecked the shit out of Ian and Juf. Alright, one down. Same thing, keep focusing. Keep focusing. Hooah! Hmm. Oh, nice! Mage staff killed it. Kill yourself! Oh, he has like so little hit points left. It'd be amazing if he kills himself. Everyone else is gonna miss because I was fighting that one, but. He's still confused though. Good job, Groove. Kill yourself. Ah. Oh well. Be worth a lot, like a shit ton. It's still a thousand. Um, oh, I didn't buy more heals either. Hmm. Whoops, I accidentally used a tent. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. That's fine, we'll save and... Shit. Wait, did I walk past? Where the fuck is it? There it is, alright. So, we'll at least kind of scope this out a little bit. 
Just a little bit. Uh, and insta fight. Against chimeras? This, this is another sprite that they straight up stole from D&D. Uh, no, we're actually pretty good on hit points. No, Ian and Jew for low. Heal up. Do you poison or something? Re Cremate! It's just fire damage. Hmm. It's a lot of fire damage against Peeb. Oh, Peeb doesn't have his elemental resistance because he has all the opal armors. Hmm. It's a good thing I used that heal staff then. He's very much alive. Yeah. Oh, I got him. Good. 500 experience just for him. And then... Uh, okay, yeah, you have to get to the top of this tower, but... Here's our robot friend. There's also all these treasures. Vampires? You guys just hang out now? Look, we both know you're not scary anymore. I got this mage staff that casts fire. Yeah, so now we're getting to the point where just our bosses just become standard enemies. He ain't shit to me! 116 from a Zeus blast plus a mage staff? You're done. You're done. Easy money. What's all in here? Is it gonna be more easy money? Can't hold any more armor! Fuck. Jared's hat. So if I need to reset it, I can. Oh, the heal helmet! You know what happens when you use the heal helmet? It heals! Can I wear that? I can! Oh, I actually keeps my armor pretty solid. Sorry, tight. Uh, money. Lots of money. The Vorpal Sword. Mmm. Kinda wanna give that to Jerd. Alright, hold on. Peeves at 50 and 108. Vorpal Sword. 4498. Alright, yeah. So Jerry can't use the defense sword. We're gonna give him the Vorpal sword. Wait, wait, wait. Gotta check the comparison. 4072. 3572. Oh. Oh, but it's the Vorpal sword. That sounds cool. Damn it. Fine. Alright, money sword. Uh, cash money. Can't hold any more armor again. Uh. <laughs> I guess drop the flame shield. Fuck it. For Aegis shield. Oh, shit. Ooh, no, that's tight. That's tight. I think Aegis shield protects against elements. I think. All right, damage fit. All right, oh, no, I'm sorry. Absorb 74, evade 58. With the Aegis Sealed, goes to 74, 58. But I think it protects against, it protects against something. Either way, it's called the Aegis Sealed. That's tight. <laughs> Sabertooth Tiger and four Medusas. Mostly afraid of the Medusas because they are stone cold bitches. See what I did there? All right. Fire three. Which they don't have a whole lot of hit points. As evidence of the fact that a Zeus Gauntlet is killing all of them. Ian on a rampage. Peeb against Sabertooth Tiger. Crits and kills it. Jufa, fire three against a lone Medusa target. Incineracer brings her to ash. There's some fat experience points and money. And a cabin. Alright. Um, I guess overall, the things I dropped and then ended up using ended up being okay. So I'm gonna go back out, rest and save. 
Or sh no, I'm, I'm gonna go talk to that robot. I'm gonna see what that robot has to say. Oh, fuck. Guard robots! Uh... Lightning. Because every other Final Fantasy game has made electronic enemies weak to lightning. I hope it's the case here. I... I don't remember at all. They paralyze, somehow. Lightning! Bzz. Uh... I... Yo, yep, okay. Weak to lightning. Tight. And fire does... Still pretty good damage. It's not halved at the very least. Don't paralyze anymore. How much are you guys worth? That's at the point. Anytime I fight something, it's like, ooh, what will you get me? Another blast from Ian's Zeus gauntlet. Did I? Maybe it's in here. Maybe the other hammer is in here. 1500 experience points? Shit. I may actually grind here. Because those guys aren't too tough. Two chimeras might be. Might be? Maybe? Maybe not. Four hits to Ian only for 20. Shockingly weak. Fire doesn't do much. Three hits to Peep for three. Zeus call it! 78! 40! Ha! Wait, Jerd, use your heal helmet. Well, Ian blasts him for their Zeus. Juve mage again. So I think Ian can, or Peeb can kill that one, yeah. Oh, Creamy did 88 to Peeb. I was wrong, it didn't protect him against the elements. Cause that Creamy still hit for a lot. It's K okay, though, I got this heal helmet. <laughs> Yay. Oh, nice. The fire blast from Juf's mage staff finished it off. 1,000 experience, 5,000 gold. Just want to talk to this robot. Don't mind me. Hi, robot. Are you the master? I'm not. Nothing here. You sure? Because it looks like important buttons and stuff. All right, I'm going to get out. I'm going to save, rest up. Probably... Grind out some stuff. Bad mans! I am the knight. And he's bad. Uh, uh, get him. He looks weird. I think he's still. Is he technically undead? I don't know, but he's a he is a bad man. Can't have that. Which is why Peep killed it. <laughs> Goodbye, evil! Zeus Gauntlet! Eh. Uh, same thing, I guess. These nightmares aren't tough at all. I thought they were, but they're not. See? That one's dead. Blast that one with more fire. Blast that one with more lightning. He doesn't even know how to feel right now, aside from dead. A thousand experience, more or less. Let's get out. Let's get out. Yeah, so at this whole tower, you have to get to the very top, and then you use the uh, this cube. Colors gather and swirl in the cube, and you use that cube at the top of the tower. Alright. So let's go here and rest up. Got all our spells still, pretty much. Except for a single level five, so really not that big of a deal. I had a bunch of houses and cabins and tents. Uh, so I, I just used a house and then saved immediately afterwards. So we're back up to 100%. Mirage Tower, let's go. Now we've already cleared out the first floor, so we can just go right to here, and move right on up. To fight more chimeras, which is fine with me. Because hopefully we can get a, another solid level up before we move. Oh, it's not cremate on Peeb though, it's really a pain. If we can get another level up before we're done with this tower, that'd be great. 
made staff. Man, it's not really cutting it anymore. I think I've been, uh... I think I need to be more liberal with some of the Joof's spells. Oh, a huge crit from Jerd kills off a Chimera, though. That was three hits, which means I cut off all three heads, three heads in a single maneuver. That's how fucking cool I am. Uh, actually, that one's almost dead, so let's have both Jerd and Ian use their heal items to heal us up. Ow. Mage Staff. Heal. Yay. I'm so smart. Beep, kill it! Excellent. Do 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 bip ba do. Thousand experience points and five thousand gold. Which oof. Yeah, I'm gonna really need all that money if I wanna get those level eight spells. The first floor is kind of a freebie with just getting free items. Here we actually have to try a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with lightning too. Joof. Uh, what was I was saying, Joof. Also, lightning two. Between three lightning twos, they should probably be dead. Ideally, we only need two of them to go off. They say they don't hurt super hard. Yeah, lightning from Jerd. Damn it. I'm cool. Yay. No. Eh, no. <laughs> Oh, Peep slaughters one of the robots. Lightning from Joof! Do, 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 do. So this probably won't be an entirely exciting episode as I just try to get through this tower. Uh, but instead, question of the day, discuss in the comments, who's your favorite, who's your favorite character in the party and why? Your favorite light warrior. Another robot! probably also going to ask me if I'm the master. Oh no. Four vampires and we get to strike first? Uh I don't even I don't even need to barely do anything. Mage staff. Oh, you guys are so fucking done. Oh, we're just four vampires hanging out! Bye! I told you not to have the vampire convention in the Mirage Tower! Ah! Murder. Wait! What do you want from me? I didn't give you money! Women! Riches! We only want justice! Juice stabs! <laughs> oh, Ian! Critical hits crushes his skull with a hammer! You still got it, buddy! I know you've been using that Zeus gauntlet a whole lot, but just. You still got that hammer! That was 8,000 gold! Hot damn. Uh, right in here. Oh, these guys. We can fight these guys. We fought plenty of these guys. They might scorch us a little bit. Hello, helicopter. You are quite low into my house. Please stop. Crowd control from Joof. Confuses some Cerebuses. Decent what if I can does he think I can equip Peeb with to help reduce all this elemental damage he's been taking? Taking? Taking. The taking. <laughs> this is Final Fantasy Part 20 whatever. The taking. That's did you have items? For we have arrived. And now prepare for the taking. As we, as we take it all. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I'm killing shit. Easily. Ha! I know there are better weapons out there for Peep and Jurid. We just gotta find them. There are a thousand experience points. Yay! In here! Look at all this robot machinery and pure happiness. 8,000 gold. 7,000 gold. 
The Thor Hammer! What's the Thor Hammer, you ask? Uh, it's the second best ha hammer in the game. Do you know you can use it? Only three classes. Oh, the Sun Sword? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Out of my way. Hold on. P. No, you're not worthy. Oh, let, me, let, me kill these, let me kill these dudes first. Oh, I forgot about the Sun Sword. I think that actually could be an upgrade for P. If not P, for sure, Jerd. Which is excellent. Because it's greatly needed. I mean, it's not like vital, but it, they've been using these same weapons for so long. Let's let them upgrade. For Ian and Juve, let them ha always have their, their hammer and their knives. They, they want that. That's, that's where they're comfortable. It makes them happy. But for Peeb and Jerd, they're used to constantly updating their weapons. I'm gonna throw out some hit points on everyone, since it's only one guard left. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, double heals. Uh. Get him, Joof. Yay. Peeb. Ba -da 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 -da. I want to check these last two chests first. Can't hold any more, damn it. Alright, so there's armor or something in there. Okay, so the Thor hammer. There's only three classes in the entire game that can use this. The knight, the ninja, and the Ian. Equip the Thor hammer. That's right, Ian. You are worthy. Move over, Jane Foster. You are worthy of the power of uh, and then let's check the sun sword real fast on Peeb. Uh, what, 50 and 108? To 52, 103. So it is an increase in damage, but a slight reduction in hit percentage. However, I think it's overall better for Jur to use it since he can't use the defense sword, right? Oh, I can't use the defense sword. Fuck it. Never mind. Alright, we good. We good. The slight reduction in hit percentage isn't too big of a deal because he wouldn't be able to hit for five times for. What is it? 32, 64, 96. Yeah, not until 128. So he's several percent off from getting that. So we'll just use. We'll just use the new Sun Sword. And unless it looks cooler. If it looks cooler, I might give it a jerk. We'll see. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got one more chest filled with. Uh, wait, nope, 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 nope. You can drop this piece of shit. Yes. Dragon armor. Ooh. Absorb 74, evade 58. To 74, 58. But it's made of dragons. Yes. Awesome. I think it's actually supposed to protect you from... Dragon element or dragons, but that's not it's not really a thing, but still. Excitement! Oh, I hit it with the sun sword. I hit it with the sun sword. So here's the thing with uh, Thor's hammer, is that it functions just like the Zeus gauntlet. Is that Ian can hold up the hammer, call down lightning to it, thrust it forward, and lightning just shoots out. So now I could drop the Zeus Gauntlet if I wanted to, because now I got the Thor Hammer to use. That's a good idea. If I ever get full on armor again, I can just drop that Zeus Gauntlet. Whoop! Look out, robot! Guards! Hit him with the Thor Hammer, baby! So cool. Oof! Ooh, a big hit from Joof! Maybe I should give Joof the uh, Zeus Gauntlet. That way he's got a free cast of Lightning too, along with his uh, fire spell. It's actually not a bad idea. No, because he's he's fully equipped on armor stuff, isn't he? Yeah, the Thor hammer. Got murder shot to you as we throw out some heals. 
Pikachu for you, armored up. Yeah. Oh no, you got you can drop the opal armor. Okay. That's right, I made him drop his hat. <laughs> Which is giving him one. So I think I don't think dropping one armor on Jupe at this point is really gonna matter a whole lot. I'm okay with it. Okay, so the Sun Sword is pretty standard looking sword. Hmm. Hello, sir. One of us escaped with a cube. He floated far to the west. So the game actually does do a pretty good job of uh, telling you where the items you need to move on are. I don't know, that one. that's why we found that one robot in the waterfall. He's just chilling there with a cube. Oh shit. Is that fast? The blue dragon! Oh shit! So here's the thing. As I've mentioned previous many times before, they still stole a lot of things from Dungeons and Dragons. Blue dragons in this game, much like the ones from D&D, cast lightning. So we're gonna use anti-lightning and hit him with a fast peep. Really, it's all you need. Two hits for 236. Big crit. Now peep is faster with the sun sword. Anti-lightning from Ian. Whatever lightning breath weapon you plan on casting upon us will do nothing. Or he just bites Ian because he's pissed about it. Jerk! Two hits for 112. And with that, it's fight's pretty much done. Uh, Mage Staff. Oh look, Thunder! And it's all... Oof. Oof. Was that weakened? Because that still seemed like quite a bit. Damn. I'm glad I... Glad I did that. Yeah, Jerk kills it! I killed a dragon! A blue one! I like blue dragons a lot. I think blue and black dragons are some of my favorites. And that blue dragon's always gonna be there. Transporter operation requires a cube. That's the transporter, and that teleports us straight up into the Sky Fortress. Am I... ready to do this? I don't... I could go back for some level 8 magic. But that could also be wholly unnecessary. Uh, just, we'll use some heal potions. Oh, oh no. Oh, I just thought of something that's coming up. It's real scary. Right, heal everyone up. Heal everyone up. Eh. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay. Let's do it. Ooh. Different music and everything. Welcome to the Air Fortress. Alright. I have to remember where to go. I think... Oh, fuck. A great Naga! I haven't even seen a normal Naga! Get it! I still need to shift items around, I keep forgetting. So we are once again in, uh... Mostly unknown territory, because I really don't remember this place a whole lot. Thor, Hammer, Blizzard! Ooh, big crit from Peeb on only two hits, though. Wow, just one's worth 800 experience points? That's tight. Alright, let's... Before I forget... Swap those around. Put that right there, so it's easy for Juke to cast. Let me go to their weapons. Let's swap some of those around. Uh, you know what, Ian? We're, we're still gonna keep your your silver hammer. It's it's got it's got a lot of sentimental value. We've been using that for since Elfland. The Bane Sword. Shit. It's so good. All these cool weapons. Okay. 52, 103. 42, 93. Never mind. Not good at all. I lied. I don't even think it's any better for Jared. It's supposed to... I think you can use it and it casts Bane, though. Or something. 
I'll try it. Let's see what happens. Oh, Nightmare's an evil man's. No longer are they bad, they're just evil. Let's, let's see if that works. Thor Hammer, Mage Death. Ha! Take that, and that, and that. Three hits from the Nightmare on E and only did three damage, so they're not scary. Thor! Kill the bad man? Four hits, 405. Bane! It does cast Bane. But that has such a low chance of success, it's really not worth it. So. So never mind. Bane Sword sucks. I got excited over nothing. Don't you dare snort! Yeah, and effective, you bitch. Mage Staff. Oof. Mage Staff not doing a whole lot of damage, is it? We could still heal up a little bit, though. Prove it down. I think we're all, like, back up to full, basically. Alright, beat the shit out of the Nightmare. Arrgh! Two! Oh, look how purple the hammer is! It's purple! Ian's favorite! That's awesome! <laughs> yeah, that's for you, buddy. I don't know if you watch this at all. Probably not, but there you go, dude. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so fitting. What's over here? I remember this place being crazy confusing. Not the confusing about money, though. Shit. Oh, it's an eye. Look, we all know how this is gonna go down. Uh... Nah. He'll, he's gonna get murdered real fast. There's just one of them. It's the same thing we fought back in the ice cave. <gasps> oh shit, that was close. Oh wait, that was XXXX. Wait, no. Hold on, let me think. Oh wait! Level up for Jerd! Uh, strength up, but not a whole lot of hit points. Ian! Strength up, agility up, intelligence up, and still just behind Jerd in hit points. Heal potion. Money. And money. And fight the eye again. Oh, no? Okay, good. So the, the eye cast XXXX, which I believe is basically the improved rub spell. If I remember correctly, that's what it is. Because I think there's also an, there's also a spell called X-Fer, X-F-E-R, X-Fer. And you can cast that to remove, it's a dispel, it's a dispel. At level eight. All right, so I, I guess I do have to watch out for that from eyes. They can straight up murder you with XXXX. But Pete resisted it, thanks to a successful saving throw. More level ups, joof! Three more hit points! God damn it. I just want Joof to be able to take some hits. Um, uh... Nope, that looks important. That goes to the next floor. Grey Naga and an air elemental. Stick with our usual tactics for now. Big hits on the Grey Naga. Check ya! A couple hits of air elemental. Some magic to finish him off? Fire did okay. See, yeah, so the Grey Naga just rused itself, and if I hit X for it, I can use that to remove the ruse. But I don't think it actually matters. Especially not right, not, not right now, because we're dealing so much damage to them with our spells and magical items. Oh, and Jerd just murdering the shit out of it. Fuck you, Air Elemental. Just peeve, you cut so hard, you can cut air! Mmm, that's good. Level up, peeve! 547 hit points, strength up! Some other shit, who cares? So let's see what treasures lie and wait over here. Quite a few, it looks like. Like a paltry amount of money. Decent money. Mm, more armor. Ah, oh, double armors. 
And more money. God damn it. Alright, so drop the opal armor first. One at a time. Oh, another protection ring! Can I? Wait, Joof, why aren't you wearing your protection ring? You fool. Don't. Actually, don't know if that's gonna be any better for anyone? Maybe Jerd instead of the power gauntlet? Hold on. Absorb. He's at 58 58. That's easy to remember. Oops, wrong one. If you wear the protection ring instead. 60 60. Oh, it is slightly better. Okay. Okay, so it's. Protection ring is slightly better than the power gauntlet, which is fine. Because it's the magical ability of the power gauntlet doesn't help at all, so I'm okay with dropping that. Uh, let's drop the Zeus, since we got the Thor hammer. No. Let's keep it on Juve in case I want him to cast a lightning spell. So we'll drop the power. And check this one. For another heal helmet. Alright. Now Juve can do a little bit of extra healing too if I want to. Manta cores! Uh, also Zeus Gauntlet. It's all kinds of lightning. More like Peeb and Jerd are lightning fast with their cuts. Slice, 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 slice. Killing manticores left and right. And I think this game was programmed so that your intelligence stat uh, can improve the damage of using items. I think that's what it originally was, but now it don't work. Wait, where that second heal helmet went? Oh, it went to Ian. Whoops. Whatever. That's fine. Still get a couple of heals off since we leveled up. Yay. Get our hit points up, everybody. <laughs> oh, Jew. So cute. Ow. I just got those hit points, you jerk. Oh, four hits, 405 from Peeb. I wanted to level up again. How long would it take? 18 fights? Alright. Oh, shit. Juice out of... I've got too much stuff. Alright, it's fine. Keep Juice on the offensive. He doesn't need to heal. His damage mitigation is killing them before they cause damage to us. The Great Naga! Just beat, just beat the shit out of it. Eh, well, eh, never mind. We'll get a heal staff off. Couple more hit points. Kick ya! Kick, 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 kick ya! Dead. Easy experience and money. Now, if we can get another level up before we fight Tiamat, that'd be awesome. And this place. This place is just a bunch of more treasures. Which I'm not complaining about. Another house. Whoop! What's up, dude? Uh, just in case. Oh, it's a level 7 spell. Ah, sh shit. Zap it. Maybe he'll die before he gets it off. Hyah! Come on. Oh, no, okay. He just looked at Jerd and made Jerd uncomfortable, so he lost a hit point. <laughs> okay, 100. What are you guarding? Freaking hell, dude. Alright, we can drop the extra heal helmet. Fuck it. Because I really want this. Silver helmet. I'm gonna drop it now. Just gonna drop it right now. Fucking garbage. God damn it. I'm insulted, game. Why would you give me something so sucky? Nightmares and evil mans. Even though I, I, I feel like I'm slightly under leveled compared to where you should be for the rest of the game, I don't feel super threatened by monsters at the moment. Unless they do like the instant death spell or crit Ju for 150 or something, because he has such low hit points. But I really don't, don't, really, don't really mind fighting. Don't mind finding 880 gold. Don't mind uh, fighting 13,000 gold. Let's put it in our pockets! 
Real talk though, trying to walk around with tens of thousands of gold coins in your pocket or on a sack, or whatever. That shit's heavy, dude. Nice cremate, nerd. Didn't do shit. Now you're dead. Yay! I'm just gonna go around in a circle. I think one of these has another teleport up. Oh, straight down there. Okay, now we know. Oh, rock golems! Hmm, I don't think lightning's gonna do a whole lot to them, so Juve, why don't you power up? Power up an ice, too. Oh, alright, Peeves killed one with 200 damage. Ice 2 did 28, so that wasn't the right answer, but Jerk got it. Just distracted little Rocko long enough for Jerk to dismantle it with his blade. Those guys are worth a, like 500 each. What are you guarding? <gasps> Adamant! Yes! Do you remember what Adamant is or what it's for? The legendary metal. Now we can bring us all the way back to the dwarven blacksmith. Fuck yes. All right, really glad I'm being thorough and checking all these places because I completely forgot where the adamant was, to be honest. So, dude, I'm freaking stoked. I know I said I want some upgrades. Technically, just did. Take that. Plus, if things go really poorly in here, I can. Escape out of here, use the adamant, and then come back. Oh, the black shirt! Oh, shit, okay. So, the black shirt is an armor that can only be worn by Joof, as he is the black wizard. So, his armor is 33 absorb, 66 evade. Hit him with that black shirt. 3365. Plus, I believe if you use it, I think if you use it as an item, it does a thing. I think. Hold on. We'll check uh, gold versus opal. Alright, opal's better. We can drop your bitch ass. Cool. So, Joof more or less just got his class armor. Which is awesome. Oh, it's another eye. Beat the shit out of it. Oh no. Dad. Bye. <laughs> Got him. And over here, we got a big old building. Does this have the white shirt? An opal shield. Which is... I already dropped earlier for the Aegis Shield, so we can drop that again. Who cares? To get... Another ribbon, though. That's three ribbons? Hmm. I think giving Peeve the ribbon over the Opal Helmet might actually be my best interest. 74.59. Seven sixty-one. So you lose seven absorb, but then he's protected against elements, which I think I'd rather have. I think the protection ring also protects you against elements too. I know it's just Jared wearing the ice. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's keep the ribbon on him. We'll keep the ribbon on him. Because he has so much hit points, he already has such great absorb, I don't think losing a little bit more is going to cause that much of an issue. Alright, let's try using the black shirt, see if it does a thing. Black shirt! <gasps> it casts ice! Now Joof has infinite cast of all of his basic spells! And that did a decent amount of damage. So I th Maybe Chimeras are weak to ice. Only one I haven't checked yet is up here. Oh, 
hello. Opal gauntlet. Opal turd. Drop you. Fuck off. Oh, I've been dropping all these shields. I've probably been giving to Jared this whole time. Jared, sorry. Oh, well, Thor hammer. Black shirt. Ah, your stingers are ineffective. Hopefully because of all my ribbons and protect rings and stuff. Black shirt, freeze. Yes. Oh, oh the deeps. Yes. That's, that's actually made Joof really good. Because even if they're not weak to it, Ice 2 has a higher damage range than Lightning 2. So that alone just makes it so valuable to have. Cut you up. Cut you up. Thor Manticore's dead, baby. Which I believe that's weird because Manticores are solitary creatures. Alright, and then we can head south to teleport up. Rap. Oh, well, there's Manticore tries to avenge his fallen brethren. It won't work. Throw up a couple heals though. Black shirt. Yay, the cremate didn't do anything to peep. Cause he's wearing a ribbon. Yay! We'll counteract that cremate with a heal staff. Uh. Especially for Joof. Black shirt! Freeze! Beautiful. So good. I'm gonna throw some cures on Joof before we move on though. Uh, Peeve Cure 2, and some regular, what's, two regular cures, perfect. Going down. Now, oh shit. Oh wait, that's the exit, isn't it? You can look out over the world from this window. Yeah, I think if you like walk up, you just jump out, and that's how you leave if you want to leave. I don't want to leave yet. I'm actually getting really close to the end. Oh, I'm also really close to just getting rock hard killing four manticores. Well, Ian, Ian continues to heal us up. Since we get the first strike, might as well take the time to get a few more hit points up. Right? Right. Freezing manticores from the power of my chest. Juice chest, not mine. You know what I meant. Dun, bam, 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 bam. Ian powers up the Thor hammer. Does it kill the last two? Yeah, he do. Mm, God, our team is just such a well-oiled machine. All right, we got ourselves a room here. I don't remember what other treasures you can get in this place. Holy shit, though. Please be all money. Protection cape? Some more money. A soft. Some more money. Okay, this protection cape is just straight up better than the protection ring. Flat out. So Ian, yeah, 4364. Oh, you can wear both? 5162. Well, having both seemed redundant. So, let's just give Jurd the protection cape. Uh, 48.59. Wait, that takes his... Oh, it's a shield item. 52.61. Okay. So, never mind. That's, that's weird. That's, that's why you can wear both, because it's technically a shield item. Okay. But still, wearing both is redundant, so we'll drop the one protection ring. Yeah, let's have the protection cape. Okay. Cloth! You fucking game. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Man cats and medusas. I'm gonna blast him with some. Oof, what do I have to blast him with? I'll try the main sword. 
you never know. Black shirt. Pee cuts up and murders one man cat. Ooh, they cast fire too. I'm glad we have all this elemental reduction on, across the team. Because they all cast fire too, that probably could have brought Peep down to much danger. Bane? Kill. Kill. Death. Die. Here comes. Poison smoke. Yeah, I got one. I got two. Hooray. I helped. Ugh. Oh, wow. Okay, so fighting man cats suck. Because they all cast fire too and just chips away hit points across your entire party. Damn, dude. That is a lot. Alright. Thor hammer! Hmm. Lightning doesn't do a whole lot against man cats. But they're casting fire, juice, black shirt. Uh, more fire! God damn. It actually produces a lot of our hit points. Oh, uh, black shirt not doing a whole lot either. Hmm. Except for Medusa. Freaking wrecked Medusa. Uh, we'll throw out a couple more heals. Is it. I haven't done. F is that the trick? The cat used fire and the weakness actually is fired? Or we just need to step it up? Step it up and hit him with a lightning three! Ah! Step. Oh, okay. That one died. Oh. Oh. That didn't do shit. I think that is weak against elements. Oh, uh, slowing the whole party. Jerk got slowed again. Quick, use a hip, heal helmet. Get us some hit points back. Stop it. Stop it. Damn it. Another heal from Ian. Hope these guys are worth a lot. Oh, okay, I see what happens. Jerd slowed again. So you start off with just... Oh, there it is. Fire 2. I was gonna say, you all use Fire 2, and then you all use Slow 2. Or Slow. Eh. Killed another one, yay. Alright, we're just gonna keep trying to murder. Eh, I'm slow. 31, got him. God, please don't hit me again. Damn it, what the hell? Why is it always Jerd? What is it about Jared that makes him susceptible to losing intelligence? Just kill him! God. This is the hardest fight we've had so far in this entire place. It's just been against man cats. More heals, more heals. Uh, just good old juke stab. Oh, never mind. Peep got it. Use heal two in battle just to make up for all of that. Um, where do I go? I don't remember. No, 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 don't no, no cast life. Didn't mean to press that. Just trying to cast heal two so we get some hit points back. Shirt. Damn it, it lives. Ian, can you get your spell off? Never mind. Peep killed it. Yay! I don't think there's much more to this floor. Like the pathways are weird, but they all just kind of. Oh! Hello, not Astos. It's a fighter. I don't remember him at all. Let's use heal two. He casted wall, so he's protected from all elements. Mm. I don't think he's crazy tough, so I'm just gonna use a black shirt, even though it'll be weakened. Or you can just get instantly killed by Peep. Peep steps forward, sun sword in hand. You call yourself a fighter? 
and just kills it. More money. A heal potion. More money. And protection ring, which I've already had plenty of. I don't need another one. I know this episode's going long, but I have reasons for that. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, so there's the pathway to move forward. That's what I was mostly looking for. I still haven't gotten Ian's heal two off. Blackshirt. Eh. So good. Just free, free damage. Yeah, it's a good amount of damage, too. It's the best part. Ian with a sick dodge. Jerd kills one. Peep kills another? Yeah, he do. And then heal two! Yay! Actual hit points. That's way better. Cool. Makes up for all the shit that we just got through from those fucking manticores. Oh, 24 damage. That's a good juke stab. Which, as people have pointed out in some of the previous comments, I didn't try to make that into a a thing. I just kept saying Joof Stab. I wasn't trying to make that a thing, but I guess it's a thing now. Joof Stab. Alright, let's check this building. We're soft. Cash money. Cash money. A katana! Oh shit, I th I th is that one of the weapons that only Jerd can use? I want to say that was a thing. Hold on. Can Peep use it? He can't. Only Jerd can. It's a special sword for only Jerd. Hold on. How good is it? Uh, 4284? 4584! It's better! And it's only for me! Ha ha ha! Yay! <laughs> Look, it's not often I get to have things, so let me have this. Alright, this was the place I got confused at, and there's actually a trick to it. It just like, loops forever. If you just walk in any direction, it just loops forever. And the way you get out of that is you just have to go any direction, like any horizontal direction once, followed by any vertical direction once. And that's it. That's how you get out of it. But as a kid, didn't know that, so I was lost in there for fucking ever. It was terrible. By the way, let's uh, talk about Jerd's Katana. Did y'all see that? I saw it. Oh, killed it with the ice shirt. Damn it. Come on, Jerd's all you. Ha ha! The katana looks like a knife. It's, it's kind of weird. Still, it's good. What direction was I going? This way? Then up again? I think. Ooh, sentries. They're bringing out the big boys now. Thor hammer. Uh, Zeus gauntlet. Ha ha! Three hits for 84. Why does that seem worse? Oh shit, 111 to pee? That's no fucking joke. Alright. Peep, kill it please. I don't like him. He is alive. That can't be good. Keep hitting him with the lightning! Oh, okay. A crit from Peeb. We're good. Go up. Right some more. And then... Oh shit, okay. There it is. We were just before Tiamat. Um, hey! It's me! Jared, so this is the war mech. I 
I have to explain some things before we move on. So, in between episodes, uh, I actually... Let me move back some more. So, in all of Final Fantasy 1, the absolute rarest encounter you can have in the entire game, the rarest monster you can ever fight, is... The War Mech. And he is also one of the hardest monsters in the game. He is probably harder than any of the four fiends. Uh, harder than... Uh, po potentially the final boss. Really, he does a crazy amount of damage. He can wipe out your entire party super fast. And he's super hard to find. And he only appears in one place in the entire game. And it's this long hallway just before Tiamat. Now, I've played Final Fantasy 1 before, and in all my times of playing Final Fantasy 1, I have never seen or fought the War Mech myself. I've heard about it and seen it in videos and in speedruns and the like, but I myself have never done it. So in between episodes, I accidentally took one step, one, and the fucking War Mech showed up. And then he hit peep for 200. I could die here, and a lot of progress will be lost. Like an entire episode's worth. If that happens, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna try my best. <sighs> Alright. Peep attack. Jerd, you're going to fast peep. Uh. Ian, anti rub? Joof Lightning 3. Alright, Jer gets the fast off, so Peeb is now super fast. Joof hits the robot with Lightning 3 for 38. That didn't do jack shit, that sucks. Ian throws up the anti rub. And hopefully, that'll protect us, because I think he casts like nuke or XXXX or something like that. Nope, he used the nuclear ability. Oh my fucking god! Peep him for five times for 44. I'm dead. This is it. I'm fucking dead. Um. Cure for Peeb. Joof. Ice 3. Okay, get the cure 4 off. Peeb hit point max. Hit him! Five hits for 77 on a crit! Alright, Jerg will fast himself because he wants to help. Alright, hits P for 252. We still in this. Alright, both of you fight. Um, I'm out of cure force. Cure three. If Ian dies, I'd lose life. Cure three, Ian. Joof. Uh. Oh god. I don't know if any of this matters. Lightning 3 again. Ah! I have no idea how many hit points he has. Oh god. Oh god. No, Jurt's dead! Oh. 7 hits from B for 58. Okay. I don't think the life spell works in battle, if I remember correctly. There's something weird about it. Keep curing yourself, Ian. Je Joof. Keep blasting with your best spells. Ah! 68 from Joof. No, he kills Ian. Oh, big crit. He's still alive. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to do this whole fucking dungeon over. I'm gonna have to do this whole dungeon over. Oh my god. Another nuclear. Joof dead. It's, it's Peep, Soul Survivor. <laughs> Eight hits, quit for 300. He's alive. Another nuclear kills Peep. Oh my god. Oh. I lost all of it.
It's all gone. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that sucks so bad. Oh my god, that sucks. It was one step. It was one step, guys. I, I wanted to do a thing. I was like, I'm gonna try to find the war mech. Wouldn't that be fun? So, I, I wasn't fully healed. I wasn't prepared. And then... One fucking step and he's fucking there. God damn it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this episode now. Because I don't want to go through the whole thing again and show the whole thing again. Maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll fast forward it. Oh, sh oh shit! Oh shit! All right, welcome back. Back to where we literally we just were. Um, pretty much everything is close to the same. Uh, I did fight a little bit more just in case. So uh, there was another level up in there that you didn't see. Not not nothing too exciting, honestly. Uh, everyone got some more hit points. Except for Jardine and Joof, they get like very few of their level up. So, uh, so yeah, in between episodes, I literally went right here, and a fucking war mech showed up. God. See, the thing is, if you kill war mechs, they're worth a crazy amount of experience points. You get, uh, every party member gets 8,000 experience points, and you get like... Oh, 30,000 gold, or something like that. So I never killed one, never even fought one before, until just then. You saw how it went. See, the thing is, I feel like if I was at, if I was at full life and I knew it was coming, I think I could have killed him. But this is the only place to fight him. Please don't be a war mech. Oh, God. Okay. It's just Red Hydras. Okay. I can fight Red Hydras. I used to. Fuck you. I hate this place. Uh, I made, made everything like pretty much exactly how it was. Uh, black shirts. God damn it. Eh. <sighs> oh shit! You guys are all gonna get killed by shirts! Oh, well, most of you got killed by a shirt. The cremate spell still? So. Maybe, uh. Maybe once I do some other stuff and level up a little bit more, maybe I'll come back and fight the war mech just to say that I did. I'm, I'm just trying to move on, get to the Kraken. See, this is a long hallway. In this whole hallway, you can see the war mech. See, now I'm like super nervous every time a battle starts. I am terrified. Uh, what worked against them? Was it the mage staff? God. That was the most painful thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. It was crushing too because I lost a lot of progress. I should have... I could have jumped out when I had the chance at the window. And then saved. But I... I sh just should have done that in general. But I honestly did not think freaking Warmax was going to be right there. That'd be so crushing. Just playing this and out of nowhere the game's just like all that progress you got. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, oh, so bad. So bad. So now we're just gonna get some heals and fight some weak ass wind elementals, air elementals, whatever you want to call them. Oh, the black shirt does work the best, okay. Yeah, get some heals. Mmm, so good. Were we close to another another level up at all? Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll get level 8 spells first, then I'll come back and fight the war mech. Maybe then I'll stand a chance. I won't stand a chance. And... Oh, 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 oh. Black shirt. There we go. And we're gonna get some heals in the meantime, because we still have another boss fight coming up. I don't remember how tough Tiamat is. I think Tiamat uses lightning a lot. I think that was her whole thing. Which I do have idea lightning! And all these protect rings and the like, so I should be okay. God, this fight's taking way longer than I would like. Die! There. Yay! How close were we to another level? No, not that close. Not that I would level, want to level right here, because this is Warmack territory. <sighs> oh my god. 
God, every time, dude, every time. No joke. The, the percentage of seeing the Warmack is like one in 64 or something like that. So it, it's a minuscule percentage. Or if you're Jared trying to do a video for the internet in front of thousands of people, as soon as you take one goddamn step. Never seen anything like it. There you go. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how crushing it is. But if you kill him, that's also the highest amount of experience points you can get in the entire game. I like that idea. I'll get it level 8 spells and come back and try again against the Warmack. We'll hunt it. Alright. Boom! There we go. Another orb. Do we need to heal up? Uh, no, not really. We're pretty good. Alright, let's do this. TMF fight! Lightning erupts from the fiend's ball. So you have come this far! I, Tiamat, the fiend of the wind, will now put an end to your adventure! You, you're not the first one to do it. What's up, Tiamat? Do you have all five heads? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four? You're supposed to have five. You're missing one. Alright, well this will be funny. You know what? I'm gonna fast peeps. We'll get that anti-lightning up. And then Joof. Ice three. Fast beep! I mean, he tries to freeze all four heads. That didn't do a whole lot at all. Ian puts up a magical shield around us to protect us from her lightning. Presuming that she does that. I believe she does. Ooh! All four heads step at Jur. He was able to uncanny dodge out of most of the damage. Uh, let's... Oh, I'm out of fast. Damn it. Alright, I guess I'm just cutting. Uh, can I... Don't really need to heal two yet, so I guess Ian can hit it with a Thor hammer. Ice three didn't work very well. Let's try lightning three. I don't know. Thor hammer! Bzz. Nope, that didn't do shit. Peep! Super fast! Seven hits for 81 and a crit? That's not a whole lot. But Jared backs him up with three more hits from his katana blade. The team turns attention towards Peep, starts biting it. Most of Peep's armor gets rid of the damage. Juice to lightning. Not much. Uh, fight, fight. Uh, let's... Let's, oh, let's use a, a heal too. We had, we had some bites go around. I'm gonna save one in case I need a life spell. Uh, ice didn't do much. Lightning didn't do much. It must be fire. Juve, try all the elements. Just one after another. All the elements. Fire now. <laughs> Still not great. She just must be very resistant to magic in general. It looks like it's gonna be up to Peeb and Jerd to deal all the damage. Kick ya! Katana cuts. Three hits for 80 and a critical hit. P plunges the sword in multiple times for only 45. Still kicking. Rather impressive, honestly. Oh, use the heal staff. Joof! Speed up, Jerd! We must let our steel finish this! Ow! Eh! Six hits! 122 critical hits! That's what happens with Jerd's fast. Fast crits, snack, fast sneak attacks. Mm. All right, everyone's got plenty of hit points. Peeb, still speedy, cuts the underbelly for 84. Still alive. Damn, Tiamat. This is actually a good fight. I like the Warmack fight where we just, you know, died. Fire three? Oh, there it is. There's the Thunder Blast. I knew it was in there. Glad we had the anti lightning because that still did a lot of damage, even with our protection rings as well. Or ribbons or whatever. Fire three from Joof. Barely singes the scales of one of the heads. Jur did five hits, but they're all against a foot or something because it's only eight damage. Even Ian gets a Thor hammer in there. God damn, still alive! Uh, Ian, put the Thor hammer away. Use the heal staff. Just fire threes from Joof. Oh, more bites on Jur. Peep, do it! Come on, eight hits, 45? Nope. Ian quickly turns his attention towards the party, mends their wounds. Jared rejuvenated, cuts four times for 13 damage and kills Tiamat! I killed Tiamat! Me! Yay! Yeah. I could go back and fight that Wormack. No. 
I want to be done with this place. Let's restore the orb. <sighs> Teleport out. <sighs> there we go! All four orbs are restored! Get me out of here! Just get me out of here! What level am I? 24, that's it? Jesus, man. A Tyrannosaurus and a Wyvern? It's just fine. It's fine. We'll beat you up. You're not even scary. I'll beat you up. Juf, what's your best spell right now? Oh, Ice 3. Do that. <clears throat> God damn it. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. That Warmack fight completely threw me off. with a lot of hits. All right, so we do have a couple of things we need to do, though. One, sleep in a freaking inn. <laughs> that's like... That's like number one priority. Sleeping it in. But then we got some, we got some errands to do. All right, so let's... All right. Okay. Where's, where's, the, where's the nearest place to sleep easily? Straight south to Provoka? Sounds good to me. Let's go back to the pirate town. Remember how pleasant that was? This... Oh, God. Okay. Uh, uh, hi. Oh, peaceful music. Hello. Ah, oh, you're nice to hear again. I could probably sell off all those extra weapons that I have that I'm not really gonna use. Oh, my God, yes. Let me sleep. I have a lot of cash money. Holy shit. And all these weapons I could sell off. Like, damn near all of them. Which I will for money. Then I'll have probably not more than enough, but at least a good amount to get the rest of the level 7 and the level 8 spells. For example, Peeb, now that you've got the Sun Sword, this giant sword is shit. Vulpal Sword. You suck. Why are you worth so much money, though? Wait, is there something weird with you that you can be used by other classes or something like that? Like the red mage? I think that was it. Like, it was the red mage weapon? Whatever, I'll sell you off. Jerd, you've got the katana, which is worth a lot, so your coral sword is garbage now. This bane sword don't work. Defense sword, you won't defend when you're too busy stabbing. Ian can throw away his ice sword. We're keeping that silver hammer though. And then Juf, all your weapons are good. Alright, cool. Yeah, that's like another 90,000 gold right there. Alright, let me, let me take a look, see real fast. So we need a level 6 spell for Ian, a level 7 spell for Juf. Excuse me. We still can't cast level 8 spells at level 20, 24? Hmm. Do now, can cast level 9 level 1 spells, so that's maxed out. It must be 25 for level 8 spells or something? Okay, so let me think. Level 6 spells were down here in Malamond. Or, I'm uh, sorry, not Malamond. Crescent Lake. And these were the wholly unexciting ones, and that's why I didn't get them, wasn't it? There's probably one white spell I can still get for Ian, though, right? Is, uh... Oh, invisibility, too! Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, I think invisibility, too, is... Invisibility, too, is super useful to have against the war mech. Glad I had that at the time. I'm a fool! Let me guess, Fog 2 doesn't even work. Oh, wait, it's Fog 2? <laughs> Shit. Fog 2 actually might be one of the spells that doesn't work. <laughs> Whoops! Alright, well, we're here. So we're gonna go straight up north. Back to... Oh, no, that was right. To the Dwarf Cave! Because we found Adamant, or Adamantium. Back in the Floating Castle. 
Oh my god, yes. Hi. I brought you this. Adamant! Now let me make the sword for you. Here, the best work I've done. This is my gift. <laughs> Adamant! Let me make the sword for you. King done! So that makes the Excalibur weapon. This is the... I think the second best sword in the game. Hold on, let's check Peep. Damage 53, hit 109. With Excalibur, 66, 114. But here's the crazy thing with Excalibur though, and why it's so good. Oh no, I'm thinking something else. Okay, damn it, it's the other sword. Can I use it? Damn. Actually, I think the Excalibur is the knight only sword. Yeah. Oh wait. Is the katana or sun sword better for Jurd then? 4586. 4481. Nope, katana is better. Well, I can sell the sun sword. Peep's got the Excalibur, he's just gonna burn the shit out of shit. Those are five not Excaliburs. Who wants those? Du -da -dun, dun -dun -dun -da -da. Cool, got that! That was one of our other errands we had to do. And then we need to... Spells! We need to spells. Uh, back here. Great. Damn it. I'm trying to remember where all the level 7 spells were. They're all over the world! Give me a break. Oh, worm! Peep, use your Excalibur, I want to see it. Do it. Do it. Choof, you stabbed him. Ian's sweet Thor hammer. Jared's katana blade. Peep, Excalibur! Yeah, it's all golden. Four hits, 400 damage. Now with the golden Excalibur blade at his side. Fears no evil. Save maybe the war mech. That's not really evil so much as it is death incarnate. Prosecutors and red kidneys. Ah, you can you can use your Thor hammer against them. It's cool. Uh, Joof. Shirt. Wait. Oh shit! I didn't find the white shirt. Uh, there's a small chance the white shirt is back in the floating castle. Damn it, I don't remember. I think it's there, I could be wrong. I think it is. Thor hammer! And the crap to the red caribou down there. You guys are worth like, are you worth like pitiful amount of experience points everything I was just fighting? Eh, nah, it's not too bad. I gotta go to the secret shops. Trolls, dude, come on. I think I give a fuck. Look at them, they're all like, oh, I'm having a really bad day! You're having a bad day? Dude. What I've been through? Please. Now you've got to die! I wonder if this will be the sword that pushes P beyond the 500 damage melee limit. Alright. Just gotta remember what is what and where. Which is harder than it sounds. Alright. This had Saber and Blind. Those are both worthless. And I got the other two from here. Which is Anti-Rub Heal 3. No, I didn't get heal 3. I got anti-rub. So Ian is good on level 7. Juve needs a level up. <laughs> Wait. Oh, sorry. I already got the other two level 7s for Juve. Alright, um, how about... Just to fill out your spell book, we'll get Saber, because that sounds cool. Fuck it. Just throw 45,000 gold away. I don't give a shit. 
right, so there are level 8 spells in Lethen and the other ones were hidden away at the Mountain City? That's where they were, right? I forget. I'm really good at video games. Nice scorch, you nerd. Oh, yeah, that's 1% of our hit points. Not even for some of us. Black shirt! The black mage uses the black shirt. Cut, 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 cut. Dead. Yeah! Yeah, Ian, you killed her with a Thor hammer. Sweet. Back to the airship. All right. So. Was the mount? Yeah, mountain village, yeah? I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that right. Cause this had the this is like where they had the hidden away shops to the north. I need to get life too, because that one restores him to life, but also brings him back to full hit points. Still can't use it in battle, which sucks. Hold on, I'm gonna sell my sun sword. Sell, sell, jerd, sun sword. Oh, you're not worth a whole lot. Excuse me, lady. Wait, do you have anything cool to say? I saw a shining object flying towards the east. Nope. Is it this way? I suppose? Yes. There we are. Okay, Ian. Fade, wall, and dispel. Oh, shit. I think... Fade kills people. Wall basically sets up the effects of ribbon, protects you from all elements, and Expert dispels all the magical effects they have. Joof. Stop. Zap. X, 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 X. Uh, th this is the, the best spell names. Uh, I forget what most of these... Hold on. Wait. Oh, I thought I had my instruction manual in here, but I, I forget. Uh, this one insta kills. This one insta kills. I think this one does a lot of damage, and then there's nuke over at the other place, which is also a lot of damage. So Joof, let's give you Zap and X X X X Sephiroth X X X, And then Ian, which I have more than enough money for, which is very shocking. Let's give you... Uh... Wall? Shit. Hold on. I'm gonna grab my instruction mail. I'll be right back. Five seconds. <laughs> Bam, I... I'm back, just like I said I would. All right, hold on. <laughs> Got my manual, and I'm I need mean, to remember what Fade does. See, right in the back, they have all the spells. All right, uh, okay, so... It says here... Wait, hold on. White magic... All right, so... Fade causes evil to be gone. Yeah, so it's like a... Get rid of... Uh... Wall, plant a protective wall against magic, and expert, deprive strong enemies of their special defense, and life two. Life two is the big one that I want for level eight. Black magic, uh, nuke, mel melts everything with tremendous heat. Stop, time is stopped for the enemies. Zap, the enemy is pushed into the fourth dimension, does not work all the time. And XXXX, similar to, but more effective than rub. Those enemies are defeated completely. So three spells that all just instantly kill people <laughs> at level eight black magic. This ran out of, ran out of ideas, really. 
But nuke is, uh, I think it's non-elemental, just a ball's ton of damage. It's, it's the flare spell. Alright, um, so... <laughs> I already... Hold on. Yin's got wall. Juve has zap and XXX. Alright, so... Yin, you'll have wall... Fade. And then we'll go over and get both nuke and life too. And that'll set, have our level 8 spells set. Which is, which is a pretty cool thing. So once we can cast level 8 spells, uh, we'll have them. But it kind of makes me want to grind a little bit just so that I can cast level 8 spells. Because we're basically at the point of the game that I can go to the final dungeon and that's it. Like that that's that's where we're at. I don't know if you find that crazy exciting or whatever, but like I kinda do, I suppose. But that's where we're at. Doop doop doop. So I don't I don't know if I wanna make a pure grinding episode. Cause I really don't think that'd be all that interesting to watch but I could I don't know if I could keep talking the whole time and keep it interesting because I don't have a whole lot of topics to talk about <laughs> freaking jerk got poison wait hold on still got all these pures there we go move on Oh shit. For, four giants? Oh, if only I had a zap or stop or whatever spell. <laughs> Damn it, it would have been so cool. Uh, quake them! Send the giants to the depths of the hell. Fell to crack. Damn it. Fell to crack. Damn it. There's a lot of just straight up removal spells in this game. So many. Uh, Thor hammer from Ian? 114 on that guy. Yeah, jerk killer giant with his katana. Do, 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 do. Do, da, da. More katana cuts. Dad. Barely any experience. They used to be worth so much. How long is this episode? I lost track. Oh, uh, that's a pretty good length. Okay. So might, uh... Could also try to get us to level... Another, just another level up. Hopefully by then we can use our level 8 spells. I believe that to be the case, because we got three, we can cast three level 7 spells. We would certainly get level 8 spells before getting a fourth cast of level 3 spells. That's generally how the progression works. Ooh. Ian's still calling down the power of Thor to slay these zombies and trolls. Except those two fuckers, they lived. God damn it. Peeping jerk went after the wrong targets. Damn. Well, now you're super fucking dead. Hope you're happy. Mage staff. Fucking. That zombie. Clinging to life. Someone. Peep, jerk. Anyone. Peep, peep. Peep, Scalloper, peep. Yes. Done. That's almost a thousand experience right there. We actually are getting pretty close to another, another level up. But let's go to these battle places first. Hey, I killed your robots. Except, except that one. The one that murdered the shit out of me. Why did you guys make that again? You walk on over here? To your secret spells? Give me. Ian, learn the power of life too. Yes! Joof. Learn the power of nuke. Yes! I'm out of cash money. But I don't have a whole lot else to buy. Except for maybe more heal potions? That would take so many to level up at this point. 
fight these nerds though. Fire two, Thor hammer, mage staff from Juve, just deaths all around. Oh, there it is! He did it! Four hits, critical, 553 damage! He broke the melee barrier of over 500! We knew it was gonna come and he did it! Yeah, peep! Hooray! I'm excited! Now, do that against the War Mech. I don't think you can. War Mech. You hit the War Mech and he's like, four damage. Yay! I'm trying to think of the best place to level up. Am I actually just going... Might just be going back to the Mirage Tower slash floating... Floating continent. Oh, what's up? You guys are fucking done. You guys are just fucking done. You got this preemptive strike, bitch. Preemptive fire. You're all done. So dead. So dead. Even Juf. Oh, 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 oh. Barely any experience points. That used to be instant levels for us. We've just come so far. I guess that is kind of neat about this game and how how many times it makes you go back to areas that you've definitely have been to before just to get spells or secret items or whatever but it also just really lets you see uh, how far you've come Juve, I want you to rub out that giant just rub it rub damn I want someone to get killed by Juve's rub it'd be so good Instead, I guess we'll just stab the hell out of the giants until they die. Alright, alright, same thing, same thing. Juve, do it. I believe in you. Rub. Rub. Rub it. Come on. Damn it. Come on, Juve. It's your last chance. Rub! Damn it. I have no idea if that spell actually works for players. I don't remember if I've ever used it. Maybe I'll find an imp. We'll go back and fight an imp and rub it. Another 650 experience points. This episode's getting kind of long, but I wanted to at least get another level up before we move on. I'm glad you got to see the... the, the uh... Warmack, though. So can't say I didn't. It was the worst. Uh, ice three. Jordan Juf ices. Ice spells all around. Yeah. Oh. Now they're all alive. Thor hammer kill? Nope. All right. Kill that dinosaur. Yeah, peep. Do 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 do. Thirteen hundred experience points. That's better. How are we doing? Uh, yeah, we're we're pretty close. So just a few more fights. So we'll do that. Or I can just fly over into this desert. Where the enemies are slightly harder with worth more experience points. Hooray! Aha, figured it out. This will be it. So right in this desert, we'll hit to level 25, which should get us level 8 spells. Yeah, red ankylo. 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 That's hard to say, naturally. Ooh, we actually did a decent amount of damage to Ian. Okay. Floor hammer. It's, it's so purple. <gasps> did you see that? Did you see that? Ian hit twice with his hammer. Ian. Ian hit twice with his hammer! Bam bam! Now we can all do it! We all have multiple hits! Yes! That's awesome! Tyrannosaurus! I'll do it again. D do it again, Ian. I wanna, s I wanna see it again. In case the people at home missed it. Do it again. Hold on, he might be dead. Yeah, he's dead. Never mind. 
Come on. I know there's better stuff in here. I guess I could also just walk towards the tower. The tower's got real good stuff. Well, got the sweet preemptive strike on him. Two hits! Two hits! Yes! Oh, that makes me so happy. Everyone's doing multiple hits. Ian is finally there with his hammer. He's gotten so adept with it, he can just swing so quickly. Jerd leveled up! Still back to getting a whole lot of hit points. Ian leveled up. Oh, he got one more than me. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> so frustrating. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, but still. There we are. Three ankylos. Ice two. Thor hammer. Uh, lightning three, I guess, because I'm out of ice. You just killed Joof. Are you fucking serious? Damn it. Well, now we have to run. I'm not gonna make Joof lose out on all this experience points. Please don't die anymore. Alright. It's a good thing. It's a good thing I got these life spells. Also, don't kill Ian. Alright. Uh, magic of Ian. Hey, look! You can cast one level 8 spell, just like I said. But first. <laughs> you know what? Give you a cure for while we're at it. There we go. There's the tower. That's what I wanted. Might just be better off quick fighting our thing in here, calling it a day. Probably should have saved the game a long time ago. Fight me! Yes! They're striking first, but it matters not. It's just it's just our nightmares and bad men. <laughs> Best spell, Juve. Fire three! And this should be enough to get at least Ju for sure. I don't know. P might be a little bit behind still. Lots of hits on the bad men. Setting up Juve's fire. Damn it. Fuck. Stop! Juve, do something! Thank you! Holy cow. Oh, it doesn't do crap to nightmares. You can't burn nightmares, but you can burn bad men. Ah, oh, that one lived. It's fine. Just finish him off with our items. Stop hitting Juve. Stop hitting Jerd! Stop hitting us! God! Alright, good crit, Jerd. And a little more damage from Ian, killing the bad man. Juf Mage Staff. Alright, Peep. Could you please? Thank you. A single hit for 210. Getting us 1200 experience points. Peep leveled up! Yeah, strength up! Not a whole lot of hit points that time, though. Hmm. And Juf leveled up to. Still not many hit points for him. He's nowhere near getting 300, but. Hey! Now we can cast level 8 spells, so that's pretty tight. So, we have all the orbs. Look at how bright and shiny they are. They're all lit up. We're currently level 25. We got some level 8 magic going on. Uh, but we're at a point in the game where uh, I, I'm ba I can basically go to the final dungeon. That's what's left. However, I'm only level 25. The maximum level in this game is 50, and I'm only 25 right now. As such, Joof and Ian can only cast a single uh, level 8 spell, which isn't quite where I want to be. I'm going to use a house and get some magic points back. There we go. So, because of that, uh, I do want to level up a little bit, so I'm going to spend some time doing that. And we're going to go back to the Sky Fortress to do so. And just fighting pretty much everything along the way that I can. Use the Thor hammer. Use the Mage Def. Say, so yeah, I'm gonna try to fight pretty much everything. And we saw it before, but my ultimate goal is that while I'm doing this, we're getting all these experience points, we're getting some level ups. I wanna go back. And I wanna find that war mech. I want to kill Warmech. 
I've never done it. I want to kill Warbeck, all right? It's just, it's just, it's very important to me at this point in time, okay? I just, I need to do it. So if, if I can, even just getting a little bit of a, of, of some levels out of it, just to kill Warmech, great. Because I'm also at a point where I really don't need money anymore. Everyone's got all their magic spells. I mean, I can use it to buy more heal potions, which, that's exciting. Which I probably still will do before I go to the final dungeon. But, not, not imperative by any means. Hey, Chimeras, how you doing? Ian charges his Thor hammer. Shoots shoot, shoot, his sure power. Oh! It's a triple crit from Jerd, though. I did, did uh, rearrange some equipment a little bit on the party members. Just to help uh, spread some... Spread some love around. Like, I had the ribbon on Peeb. Which I realize was unnecessary because he's got the dragon armor. And the dragon armor does the same effect as the ribbon. Where it protects him from all the elements. So I took the ribbon off of Peeb and gave that to... Ian, I believe. Or Jerd. So whoever didn't have... Whoever didn't already have a... Uh, protect from all elements thing. Oh, vampires. Feel the holy light of Excalibur as Peeb slays you. Now, if I also remember correctly, at this point in the game, there's no new exciting armor to get. We pretty much, pretty much got everything. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I missed a thing back in the Sky Fortress, which is one of the main reasons why I'm going back. But otherwise, I believe the uh, like all the really cool end game armors and all that, we already have them. Save for the white shirt. I'm gonna go back. I, I believe I lost that or forgot it back in the Sky Castle. But much like Joof's black shirt, you can get a white shirt, which is some of the best armor for the white wizard. And it also, uh. Go up one more floor. The white uh, shirt also casts. I wanna say invisibility 2 on everybody? Or is it just yourself? Damn it, I don't remember. It's a really useful item, is what I'm saying. Uh, black shirt. So we're just gonna go up and do that. Along with killing everyone along the way. My thought was trying to get to like level... 30 or so? Before we move on. Which might be a little bit... A little bit of the overkill. It's mostly... I mostly want to be that level to kill War Mech. Oh my god, that was devastating. Oh, 582 damage from Peep. Oof. Oof, that's another reason why we need to level up. Because that way you can crit way harder with everyone. And that just feels so good. Damn it, he lived. We're beating the hell out of a lot of Peep, alright, though. He's lost like 200 hit points. That's no joke. Alright, well, you're dead. Do 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 I mean, every fight's giving me about a thousand to fifteen hundred experience points. Oof. Yeah, right now we're averaging about need twenty to twenty-five thousand experience points just to level up, which is a lot. Hi, guards. Should sure be a shame if you got hit by all this lightning. Or you can just get instantly chopped up by Peep. Sweet. And then up in the Sky Fortress. Most of the things we fight there should be giving us, like, probably 2,000 each, if I remember correctly. I don't remember anything. Stop hitting us. Zeus! I thought, there we go, that's a good hit. And kill it. Damn it. Alright, well, that one son of a bitch lived. Ian, hit it with your Thor hammer. It'll be awesome. Yes! He went first! Bam bam! Ah, oh, damn! He missed! It would've been awesome if you hit him! <laughs> he like, just shoots it out with lightning so he gets electrocuted and stunned, and as it's shooting lightning, he runs forward, just whack! But he missed. It's alright, Ian. 
It's alright. We all miss sometimes, but mostly you. There we are. Back to the Sky Fortress. Pretty much, pretty much, uh, pretty much the same thing. Same with the Thor hammer. Item with the, uh... Uh... We could probably use the black shirt. Probably. This won't be a mistake, right? The wizard mummies will be okay, but... All the cockatrices and stuff should just get destroyed. Yeah, there we go. I'm more afraid of them. Because the whole turn to stone thing. Now, I always really wondered why it is in this particular game that uh, removing stone or bringing someone back to life just isn't a thing you can do in battle. And I've always wondered if that was a design choice to somehow make the game just a little bit more difficult, or if that was done uh, because because of uh, technical limitations, perhaps. I don't, I don't know. Something I would be really curious about, like maybe they couldn't find a way to easily program someone essentially coming back to life in battle. Because they also have, if everyone turns to stone in a fight, it's also game over. So maybe it's just a, a weird programming thing there. Oh, the blue dragon. Oh, what if we just fight the blue dragon over and over again? I didn't consider that. Well, let's, let's see how well, well this goes for us. Black shirt. Yeah, that wasn't a whole lot. It bites peep for a pretty good amount of damage still. And we all have defense against lightning. Well, we got ribbons on. We got the anti-lightning anti spell. Oh, oh, peep just slays a dragon. Oof. How much are you worth? Nah, uh, only 800. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure I gotta remember which one of these I've already checked. It's been a while since I last played this, like a like a good week or so. So my memory is a little on the fuzzy side. But I want to pretty much want to check all of these again to see if there's any one of these I didn't get the treasures from. The hard part's gonna be remembering which one that was. Yay, heal helmet. Let's get a few more hit points in everybody. There we are. Chop, 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 chop. Damn it! Keeps friggin' living. I wanna use a heal too, Ian. If you can get it off in time. Doo doo doo! Hooray! There we are. Everyone's feeling much better. Especially Ian, he got a whole hit point off of that heal. Did did him. Yay! 600 experience points, not crazy good. Let's keep going up. I checked all of these. Fairly certain I checked all of these. I'm gonna go try again just to be sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, keep using that black shirt. Get him! Get him! No. The hell? At least the the, the the demon unicorn doesn't hurt all that much. Comparatively. Oh, so Ian and Jufer at max hit points. Just peep and jur that need some juice still. Look here, two peep. You, you could use it. Ow. There you go, buddy. Yay! It's like 40 hit points. Oh, a single crit from Jerd. 1300 experience. It's not great. Pretty sure I did all these. Yeah. I, f I feel like I remember being thorough on this floor. Okay, I think I know which one I still need to check, so I'm just gonna keep going up. Four manticores! Oh my god! 
Oh, 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 don't fight, Juve. Don't fight. Use your shirt. I debated whether or not I wanted to show all of the grinding process on camera or not. Because getting up to, uh, getting up to level 30 is probably going to take a good amount of time. And I decided I want to at least show a little bit of it. Because a lot of people have told me before in the comments that they actually like the grind. Or being able to see all of it or seeing the entire process instead of having anything taken out. Uh, I'd imagine mostly because the level up in this game are exciting. Or at least I get excited about that and thus you get excited while watching, maybe? That's the only thing I can think of. So because of that, that's why I, I'm, this will this will be an episode of me just killing stuff before we, before we move on. Smash! Oh, damn Ian. Ian Juf got a stab in there. There we are. We're getting there, though. Right, was it this floor? I think it was this floor. I feel like I wasn't thorough enough on this floor. Whoops. Oh, and the man cats. Well. And they have the first strike, so this will be obnoxious. On the bright note, uh, I've got all this protection from fire stuff on, so... We'll be okay. This won't be like the one time eight red gargoyles showed up. Or was it seven red gargoyles? Not the point. The point is they showed up out of nowhere and we were all on fire until we almost died. But not this time. Ow. Eh. Stop it. Stop it. Let us have a turn. Let us have a turn so we can destroy you. And no one's turned to stone. Okay! Yep. Time to end this. Ice 2. Thor hammer. Uh, black shirt. Slow? Slow on the whole party? Damn, that's not fair. Oh, Peep finally lost intelligence. No, don't do that! He has so little as it is! Oh, now he's super on fire. <laughs> I think you take a lot, good amount of damage from that fire spell. Oh, Peeb even slower. It's okay, Peeb. We'll, we'll still like you just as much, no matter what. Oh, three times slow. <laughs> He's just drooling right onto his sword. Chewing on it a little bit. <laughs> Black shirt! Eh. Hopefully this will kill the Medusas. Won't work well against the man cats because it's the fire three spell. But Medusa's? There's one. And then they're dead. Alright, cool. That taken care of. Thor Hammer from Ian. Did surprisingly little? Yeesh. Uh, that wasn't great at all. So, Jared, how about that Ice 2 spell? Yeah! Ninja spell! Hilton! Nope. 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 Alright, well, that sucked, and we're getting slower. I guess I could try to have Peep cut with his sword, but... Oh, okay, he killed it. So they don't have a whole lot of hit points left. Uh, sleep two? Oh, only one target? Ooh, never mind. Right? That's only one target? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's try to cut one. And maybe, uh, let's use the Zeus Gauntlet. It might be a little bit more than the black shirt. Just a little bit more. Oh, okay, yeah. So they don't have a whole lot of hit points. There we go. We're slow, slowly chipping them down. Dark? Why do these man cats have so many spells? You're more man than cat. Zap. Zap! Yay! Jeez, that actually was a lot of damage on the party. Mostly because of that preemptive strike. If it wasn't for that, it wouldn't have been so bad. All oh, that for only 1400? It's really hoping to be worth more. Throw out some Cure 2s. 
And then Peeps also got normal cures. And that's good. Ian, you've got normal cures still. I'm using my cure spells rather than my potions. Because if I do it this way, I don't have to buy as many potions. Okay, let's be thorough and check all the spots here. I must have missed one. By the way, I've like already doubled my money since I came in here. That's how much just, just straight up cash you can get. Um, try Ice 3. Let's see if that's any more effective if you just did the actual spell. Ah! Better than Jerds! Uh, oh, okay, that's 70. Uh, slightly better. Kills the shit out of these Medusas, though. So that's great. And then Peep and Jared are already targeting the man cats. So we should be able to kill at least two of them. Yeah! Yay! Good. Less fire damage for us. They'll, they'll still getting plenty of it. Peep! So it's a clean 400. Let's have Ian use a heal too for the entire party here. Yeah, yeah buddy. Hmm, there we go. Much better. Good. Chop, 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 chop. That's, that's probably a couple too many chops, but whatever. Okay, did I? Nope, this is just where they have their robot meetings, as you can tell by their office chairs. Damn it, okay, so that wasn't it. Some manticores to kill. Not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, this peep instantly takes one down. God damn. Can Jerd do one? Yeah, Jerd got one killed too. Just I get, I, I'm so proud of our little dudes. They, they do so well on their own. Oh, oh, joof. We're such a good team. You're such a good team. Like, we cover all the bases. We complement each other's abilities so well. I got good friends. Damn it. Tiamat is the fiend of the wind. That's what the computer says. I don't think I ever did that before. In all my times playing Final Fantasy, I don't think I ever checked the computers to see what they said. And now we've got the information. Tiamat is the fiend of the wind. Tiamat's also dead, son! Because we killed him. Ow. Not the greatest damage, but thankfully Ian Thor hammer! Yeah. Oh shoot. One lived. And that's not the one Jerd targeted. Damn it. Eh, alright, well, let's beat the hell out of him. He's got like nothing left. Juf kill? Oh. He did a good amount of damage, but didn't kill it. Do 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 do. Cut, 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 cut. Hey! So it wasn't that one. That's an exit. And up one more floor is death. I mean, probably death. It's where I died against War Mech. So I don't want to go up that high quite yet. Now I'm gonna, I'll probably get a few levels and then. Uh, Get a few levels and then ascend again. I got all of these. I got all of these. Right, just making sure. I'll get a few levels, jump out, save, ascend again, and then hunt the war mech. Because I don't want to level up a bunch and then go up and try to fight them, only to die and lose all the level ups I just made. I already got this one too. I know I have. I'm still checking it. This will be known as the uh, level up episode. Super exciting stuff, I know. Maybe, uh, 
Yeah. I don't know if I'll, I should show all of it on screen. Because, <laughs> again, we've been going for a good 20 minutes or so already, and um, we haven't even leveled up once yet. So now if I want to get us to level 30, it's going to be a good five episodes of me just grinding. And that's not particularly exciting. Especially since I don't have a whole lot much else to really discuss or talk about. Like, if I have more observations about the game to bring it up and keep conversation going, then I easily could. But I kind of already used up and wasted all the topics I really wanted to talk about in previous episodes. So, I'm sorry about that. But still, I mean, but also not sorry. Whatever, we're killing robots. Come on. Ah, oh, gosh. Sentries hit like trucks. Sentry truck. Mmm. Easy experience, though. If we could fight multiple sentries, that'd be good. Or bad. They hurt a lot. They'd probably be bad. I, I, they'd, they'd probably kill us. Or at least someone, because of how much damage they do. Oops, I used the wrong... Juve attack. Whoops. Hopefully it's still enough to kill some. Or at least one. I mean, Peeve and Jared will kill one. Stop trying to sting us. I don't even know what that does. Poison, I assume. Based on my Manticore knowledge. And how much <laughs> this game has copied Dungeons and Dragons. It's entirely what I'm basing my knowledge off of. Here! I got him! Four hammer! Ow. Oh, look how dull. Alright, one did live. Just like I said it would. Kill him! Kill him! Oh, good. Peep! Well done. I knew we could count on you, buddy. Alright, up here. Did I check this building? I did. Damn it. Alright, I got all these. Let's right, right. I didn't like accidentally forget a treasure chest or something. Nope, I got all of these. Okay. What one didn't I check then? Maybe it wasn't floor back down. There's a white shirt somewhere in this place. I gotta find it. We're hunting the right white shirt. Just because it's another really good armor piece for Ian, and then gives him yet another armor piece that you can use to cast spells. I'll find it. Especially and because I, I really want that shirt because it'll be really useful against say, a war mech. That'd be good. Can't go that way. Damn it. Oh, the man cats. Um Ice two, I guess. Thor hammer. Uh use the wizard staff. Maybe we can just confuse most of them to not hitting us. Nope. Nope. Uh nope. And uh Alright, great, we got the Medusa. We did it, everybody. Gonna be okay. Uh See, even with the resistances, is all five of them use their fire two spell? They're taking away like a good 100, 120 hit points off the entire party. Oh yeah, the Medusa hit the man cat. <laughs> Bite it with your snake hair. All right, that one just did a normal attack. That, that's a little bit better. Save us some damage. Oh, oh, the party. Ugh. Oh. See, this is this is my this is why I want to stay by the hole to jump out and save. Come on. Even the Medusa barely died. Oof! Oof! Get him, peep! Ah, right, we got one. Do you have any items you can? No. Uh, uh, same stitch, same stitch. Just hit him with all of our, all of our multi-attack spells, and/or items. Let's try to take them all down at once. 
with what little damage we can. Ow. Black shirt, come on. Yeah, 40, that's pretty good. All right, kill, kill. Kill? Yeah, all right. Main cats are dead. Lost a lot of hit points for it, but we got not even a thousand experience. Yay. All right, back down the floor. Where it's less man catty. All right, I'm gonna, starting from here, going counterclockwise. Checking all of these again. Now, I know what you're thinking. Having just watched the episodes, you probably know exactly what, what I didn't check. But it's been like a week for me, so give me a break. And at least I'm going back and checking it forward, so just, you know, skipping over it. So, relax a little bit. Oh, 50 damage to Juve. Actually getting really low on hit points. Oh, Jerk leveled up! No, oh, not like four hit points, agility, intelligence, vitality, luck. Not everything but strength and yeah, leveled up. Agility, intelligence, vitality, luck. All right, the start of our mad hip level ups in here is beginning. How much more do we need to level up? 26,000, yeah, that sounds about right. But first, I got these two. There it is. I did skip over it like a dumbass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. That's on me. That's on me. I'm taking full responsibility for that one. It's, it's on this guy right here for being stupid. I am so sorry of uh, retroactive comments who are probably already yelling at me for not getting that one chest. All right, uh, Ian, you were at 43 absorb and 66% evasion. Let's give you this white shirt and save your opal ring and see how you're feeling after that good buddy. Like 33%, 65 evasion. Try to cast a spell, so, you know, whatever. And then, uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna, let's keep the heal helmet on. Uh, well, we'll keep it on you, it's fine. But I am gonna give the heal staff to Jurd, just in case. Just in case I wanna throw out some heals. All right, cool. Found it, you guys, all on my own. I'm the best, I'm the coolest, there we go. I'm so sorry. Ah, it's a gray naga. Kill it. Oh, I forgot to heal, shit. And, oh, oh. Poisoned? Ah, son of a bitch. Yay. Where's 800, though? Level up for Joof! He's so close to 300! Just a point away. You can do it, Joof. Eh. Uh, let's, not, let's see here. I do have cure four, three cure fours. All right, cure four Peeb. Uh, cure four Joof. And then I can use cure twos on the rest of the team and then I'll be pretty close to good to go again. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to one. All right, cool. So just using the cure four has made us back in a good place to keep fighting. So I'm not gonna... All right, that's, that's like the only treasure I wanted. Everything else is either money or inconsequential. So great, cool, did it. Oh, I'm so stupid. I don't know what happened. I don't know what distracted me to just not get that chest. I hate myself. I'm the worst. Oh, P4 hit 668. Holy shit. That was amazing. That was without like fast or any other buffs on him. Just that was all on you, Peep. That was the power inside, and you did it. Now kill that one. All right, good job. <laughs> Dude, that was a huge crit. That's like maximum possible crit. Level up for Peep! Strength up! 590 hit points. We just need one more fight for Joof. I've never wanted just a plain white shirt so badly in my life. 
but we got it. Who is that? Who is that dude who sold like a white, plain white T-shirt for like a hundred and thirty dollars? Is that Kanye West? I'm gonna hope it's Kanye West. I don't know celebrities or rappers or whatever. Anyway, the setup for that was in your heart, in your heart. Combine in your face and eat your heart up. Combined and just everything is going terrible. Let's start over. In your face, Kanye West! Eat your heart out! Presumably, guy who made that white shirt costing $130, which people bought. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Thousand experience. Just from that one dude. Droof, did you not level up yet? Oh, Droof did level up. No, he did. I'm just not paying attention. Okay, but now he's got two casts of level 8 spells, which is great. And then, uh, 23 more of those centuries, and we'll level up again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep. Here we go. Fighting manticores. Slowly getting experience. We'll, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. Now, I could, um... I guess I could level up slightly faster if I went to the final area, fought stuff there, and then came back. But for the sake of uh, storytelling and drama within the series, I don't want to reveal the final area yet and show the final dungeon and the stuff that's in there. So that's what that's why I'm grinding here. People also in the comments are probably yelling at me to go do that very thing I just said. Let's see if we're gonna throw out some heals. Just to keep our hit points up. Nope, oh, never mind. Juve's shirt killed him. Yay! There's one. There's 24 more fights like that. We'll be good, everybody. Not against a single Chimera, though. You're nowhere near hard enough. Fear my shirt! Get some hit points, though. Again, if if I if I fought the war mech, you level up super fast. Cause the killing the war mech would probably get everyone like twenty five thousand experience each or something like that. Maybe not that much, but it's still worth a lot. But as you saw, he is just a devastating creature to fight, which is why he's so rare. That's why I am chilling right here in my little, my safe zone. Ooh, chance to strike first. Good. Kill them all before they can even do anything. They just stood there in horror as they watched us kill the rest of his brethren. These three unable to move, just taking all of our zaps and attacks and blows. Bam. Dead. Peeb? If you would, please. Murder! Murder makes us better people! Yay! Ah, how much money do I have now? Yep! Made a cool 100,000 gold since I've been in here. <laughs> Which I'm going to spend almost exclusively on heal potions. Now I'm at the point where I don't- See, I'm, I really don't think I need to grind to beat the game at this point. It certainly wouldn't hurt. But I don't think I need to. I'm mostly doing it because I want to kill the war mech. That's that's the bigger threat. That's the bigger threat than the end game. I believe. I haven't fought the final boss in a long time, but I, f I feel like war mech was always worse. Which is interesting to me because everyone always talks about how grind heavy these older RPG games are, especially like Final Fantasy One. And playing through it again, I kind of realized it really isn't that grind heavy in need of experience points. We were just all dumb kids and bad at video games. For the most part, you can get really far into this game and not need a whole lot with just really good equipment. It's not your experience or your levels that's holding you back, it's just getting the good stuff. Now, if anything, I would say uh, needing a... Can I black shirt? No, we just size three. I would say you need to grind for money more than you do anything else. Not experience points, but getting money for everything, especially the spells, 
That takes a long time. That was a 400 damage ice 3 spell, Joof. Well done. It's the grinding for money that sucks, not necessarily grinding for experience points. But even then, you don't have to do it that way. You could just get whatever money you need for like the more important spells and then move on. And then once you're rich, like right now, after going through the Sky Castle once, then go back and buy everything. So you don't need to sit there and grind up money until you can't afford all the spells, fill up your spell book, and then move on. That's how I played, because that's how I wanted to, but you don't need to do that. So all that, basically what I'm getting at is that this game is a lot shorter and a lot easier than people think. I don't know, I think uh, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people kind of either make up excuses or most people remember this game being hard because we were younger and didn't fully grasp how to play it. And all those people who played it in the young kept saying, that game is hard, you have to grind so much in it. And people said that and heard it so much to today that people just kind of parrot that opinion that they've heard other people say. So other people, if they've never played Final Fantasy 1, they would say, oh yeah, that game is so grind heavy. You have to constantly fight and get all kinds of experience points. But again, playing it again, I don't think it's that bad. It really isn't. Not that it isn't in there at all, because there is some, as there is with most RPGs. But I don't think it's as, as excruciating as we all kind of made it out to be. Am I making any sense? Maybe not. I guess that you uh, start to go mad, and if you walk back and forth in a single place all the time. Uh, lightning to... De uh, well, they'll no, four hammers kill him. Stick the black shirt. Ah, the fire twos from man cats. You're the worst. Stop it. Stop it. Yep. You guys sure are cool. Blast and fire. As long as none of us turn to stone. God. This is the worst part. They're not hard. There's so many of them. They're just whittling away at our, our hit points. No, Juice's getting low. That's not good. And they, these man cats resist like every element of spell. So it's hard to easily blast them away with magic. Man cats are hard. Just because there's no good, fast way of killing them. There's always so many, and they're all just setting us all on fire. Please don't kill Juice. Game, you know keeping the hit points the same is very important to me. Now Jurd's low too. Ah, we got one. Lightning too? Weak damage. Oh. Oh, damn. All right, shoot black shirt. Kill. And they're all so fast. I think I might be better off trying to kill them before they... Oh, shh. No, Matt, uh, Ian. Get us a heal, too. Doof black shirt. Come on. Okay. So now this this is the round where most of them cast slow instead of fire, too. So that won't be as bad. They're, they're far worse things that could happen right now. But still, they're weakening us way too much. Doof black shirt. I held under his blue robe. Okay, got one. J just one. Ian's heal two. Come on, get up off your knees. Stand and fight, men. Jurd's lightning too. No? Oh, okay, you killed one. Yay. Alright, got three of them. Good. Now just slaughter this one, please. While everyone else... Yeah, well... Most people slaughter, the rest use heal items. Yeah, just get a just get a couple more heals off before we finish up. That'd be good. That'd be good. Oh no. He's blinding us. It's too bad we can still see your death! After we heal, hold on. That would be really cool if I timed it right. I mean a little, a little cool. Not great. Not my, not my best work, but you know. Got him. Hey. Alright, let's uh... 
let's use some heals, huh? Which I am really running low on. Cure 2 Jurd. I want to save the heal 2s for battle. The only one I got is Cure 4. Which seems like a waste right now. Alright, we'll, we'll use some heal potions. Some heal potions. Just a couple. Whoops, wrong person. Whoops, whoops. Alright. I just realized I got this white shirt. I've been talking about it this whole time, but I haven't even used it yet to show you guys. So let's get into one more fight. Use the white shirt and see what it does. And then we can move on from there. Doop, 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 doop. Perfect! And we got a chance to strike first, so awesome. You guys attack the same one. Alright, white shirt! Uh, and then do f just, uh, just give the old stab. Just so we don't actually kill him. Right, white shirt! Yeah! Okay, it is invisibility too. It doesn't have the whole party. Awesome. Just help everyone dodge. Which we'll need against the war mech since his like basic attack does so much damage. Alright, cool. So with that done, we can just throw some of the uh some of our lightning items. Kill off these dudes. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Jerd! Cut, cut, cut. Aha, Peeb, I killed it first. You were the ineffective one. How's it feel? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're all vital members of the party. Okay. There we are. So how are we doing? How close are we? Oh, God. Another 16,000. Next level up. Yep, this is going to take a while. All right, I don't want to spend the entire week of episodes just leveling up, so I am going to do some of this off camera. Get up to like 30 or so, just so don't waste your time. As I said, I leveled everybody up. We are now level 30. Everything is looking much better. And uh, thanks to all that fighting I did, uh, we're now super rich. But I've got nothing to spend the money on. I, I bought like some houses and cabins. I maxed out on heels, bought some pure, some softs. But otherwise I don't, I don't know what else to spend the, the, the money on. There's, there's nothing left. So, we're pretty much ready to go to the final dungeon of the game. But before I, we do that, I want to go back to the castle and check a thing. Just, uh, going back to check a thing. Because I want to see if this game gives you a, any other clues on where you're supposed to go. The princess always worries about you. Okay. So, I forgot to do this back at the, uh the air fortress, the flying castle. So the window that you see that I thought you could jump out to go in as an exit wasn't actually an exit. I was wrong about that. But what it does do is if you look down that window, it says you can look down upon the earth and you can see the location of every shrine that you visited. The earth shrine, the fire shrine, the wind shrine, water shrine, etc. And you can see all of their energies going towards the center of the world. All of those energies focusing on a single point. Right onto the Temple of Fiends. The very first dungeon we went to. So we actually need to go back to the Temple of Fiends. And if you look on the map, I, there's no real good easy way for me to see it, show this, but... Right where I am is like the exact center of the world. And then straight northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast were all the previous dungeons. And this is right in the center of between all of them. So it's another minor cool thing that the way they made this world. So anyway, let's do it. Final dungeon time, baby. Temple of Fiends. Well, then what are we supposed to do here, you ask? We went through all the rooms. You're right. But do you recall this black orb that Garland had this entire time? Let's take a look at it. The four orbs now cover the black orb. To take a step forward is to go back 2,000 years in time. So you use the, now that our four orbs have been re-energized uh, re and lit back up, we use those energies to destroy this black orb and thus wake up 2,000 years in the past in the Temple of Fiends. So this is pretty much the same dungeon. Only before it's all became a shithouse. Now, this will be fun because I really don't remember this place at all. 
A worm? Get him. I don't know how bad you, you hurt, so I'm just gonna use my old standbys here. Tap, tap, tap. Five hits from Peep for 600 damage. Bye. That was an easy 1,000 experience points. So I'm gonna play it pretty chill. Whoop. Oh, Jesus, okay. Four Frost Dragons. Good thing we got all these Fire Twos. Uh, we're all protected from everything. Uh, Ian, why don't you use the... Uh, yeah, we'll use Taurus, fine. And then just a base staff. See how strong they're... Wow, really? Oof, oof, okay. And we all have our ribbons and stuff on, so that's actually having the damage. That was more than I thought it would be. I don't know if throwing up an anti-ice on top of that would have helped much. Oh, suck fire! Eh, not bad. Combine with jerk fire! Nope. Damn it. <laughs> well, really thought that would have been hammer. Alright, all fire plus some four lightning from Ian. Nah, we'll kill most of the Darkens. That's all I can really ask for. Now let's have Jurd and Ian throw up some heals while Peeb and Ju finish it off. At least we'll bite for five. There we are. Get some of those lost hit points back. Oh, nice. We got both off. Good. Want to conserve as much of my spells as possible. It shouldn't be too hard with all the items we have. And I do have the 99 heal potions too, but again, I want to not go crazy with those. Okay. There's a stairway down. What was the... Oh, I think the places are blocked off. I think it's just this. This is all I want. Alright. Now, there are still worthwhile treasures to get in the Temple of Fiends. I just gotta remember where they are. This is a big black thing of nothingness. Okay. Earth Elementals! Sup, bruz? You're just earth elementals. Really, how hard could you be? Fire? <laughs> That's the a lot of damage. Oh, well, they still hit for an okay amount of damage. And I've always got this white shirt to help protect us. Yeah! Jerd! Four hits! Yay! Yeah, you guys aren't going to be worth crap. Thanks for the money I'll never use. Okay, how do I... Oh, that's in their teleporter. Okay. Well, just kidding. Wait, what? Oh, is that what's going to be? Oh, there's going to be multiple stairways down and only one of them... Oh, only one of them is a good one? Is that what it was? I have not done this place in years, well over a decade, so I uh, apologize if I wander around a little bit. This will be almost as fresh for me as it is for you. That's exciting, isn't it? Oh, five hits! Crit for 600. Your slow was too slow, Rock Golem. We're already killing you and your friends. Murder. Oh, with the stuff we're fighting in here, we might be able to pull off another level up before the end. Alright, so let's go back up. Let's try northwest side. Can I, I think I can get around these. Nope, that's all blocked off too. Yeet! More friggin' frost dragons. Mm, I'd rather not blast off all my ice two spells for now. Uh, I'm gonna try throwing up an anti-ice and see if it does any better. Joof! Fire three. Ha! Weak! 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 Okay. Still rather on the disappointing side, if I'm being real. I mean, it's easily set them up for killing from all our melee attacks. Oh, blizzard! Damn it, Ian. At least get it off so I can see if it's even effective. I'm gonna use way too many spells in here, aren't I? Ugh. Oh, there it goes. 
Yay, defend cold. Alright, give him the chops. Ian, why don't you use a heal two? Your heal two is probably gonna be more useful than cure three will be. And that did not double up. Alright. Frost Dragons are just friggin' dangerous, because their blizzard attacks still do a lot. Alright. Might be time to uh, start dipping into your spells and, uh, and potions. Well, alright. Alright, peep. Well, you've got, uh... Let's use some of your cures first. Let's use some of those up. And then, Ian, you got all these cure ones that you'll never use at any other time. And, uh... Then we'll use some, uh, heal potions. Yeah. I want to keep everyone at or above 300. Chuck, it's like one floor and it's blue through 10 healing potions. All right. Oh, here we go. I can go this way. God damn. I'd be better off just to run against these dudes just because of how much damage they're able to do against us. Uh, just use that mage staff. Oh, look out, Juve! Ian with a heal helmet, just to get us all a little bit more hit points. Shit. Man. I'm glad I put a ribbon on P because he would have gotten just decimated in here otherwise. Mage staff, fire! Oh, that was a good hit. There we go. Why can't it be like this all the time? I killed one. Alright, good. Dirt goes out of there. Not down this way. And then stairway up. Alright, going up. Uh, okay. Up some more. Whoop! The gas dargons. You can tell they're gas dargons because they're green. So I'd imagine you're gonna poison or something. Don't know what you would be weak against, so black shirt ice spell? He's able to kill one right away. I like imagine Juve is a little bit like a care bear, just wearing his black shirt going, and this ice blasts out of his chest. Yeah, oh, oh, oh! Poison gas just Deals a lot of damage to everybody. Oh my god, this place is devastating. Okay. Oh, good hits, Jerd. No! Stop gassing us! Wow, that was a lot. Dude, this place is rough. This is a brutal last dungeon. Like everything else, but up, but up to this point, we've been able to handle okay, but my god. Well, I'm glad I bought all those heal potions. 3,000 experience points? Oof. If we can even make it, that is. Uh, Alright, let's get Joof up. Oh. 99 is just not gonna be enough. I've already used some of the spells. Oops. Shirt some. Alright, pick it better. Okay. Do I wanna go Aries? Hi. Hey buddy. I know I'm scared too. This final dungeon is terrible. More gas dragons. I just wanna run from them because of how badly they hurt. Try the Zeus call it. Maybe they have a weakness. Jerd can't run? Oh no! It's always worked before. Yeah, if all four of them use a gas, poison gas attack, whole party's looking at taking like 200 damage. That's a lot. Oh, one hits Joof. Zeus lightning? Oh, no, 
not especially better. Jesus. Fun fact, if you go into this uh, dungeon without the exit or warp spell, I think exit, uh, you can't get out. You're just, you're stuck in here forever until you die. Or, you know, press reset. Alright, we'll, we'll stick with the black shirt. Just keep, keep, keep our hit points up. Any and all hit points are good. There we, oh yeah, fight peep. You can take it. Okay. Whew. Well, they didn't do a poison gas attack then. Now, it looks like the black shirt ice spells is my best bet against using, against these gas dragons. Yep, I don't think there's any running from these dudes. Just get resigned to our fates. Ow! Eh. Okay. Killed him. Move on. 4,000 experience. Holy crap. Oh, this. Oh, oh. Phantom Eye. Hello. Um. I do have anti rub, but I'd rather not waste that. I want that cure 4 spell. Uh, let's throw out a heal 2. And use fire on it. Die! Oop, that was weak. Oh, oh, okay. So you can paralyze everybody. And you paralyze Peeb. That sucks. That's a, that's all right. We still got Jer. Jer can do damage. A little, little bit of damage. Maybe Peeb will get back up right away. Good old, effectively a heal three on everyone. Damn it. Uh, use the white shirt. It'll protect us from melee attacks if he even does that. Get up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, white shirt on. Mm. There are two treasures here that I kind of want. Glare. Tried to turn Peep to stone after <laughs> paralyzing him? Uh, I'm out of harm. But, uh, uh, oh. Uh, Thor hammer! No, no, I'd rather get the hit points. The main staff team to work better than the black shirt, because he is still undead. That's right, just keep getting his hit points again. Keep getting his hit points. Shirt, cut, 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 cut! Critical hit! Oh, he's still alive. Woo, he's casting Zap! Oh, I think that's, that's another one of those instant death spells. There, people might actually die in here. Oh, Juf got it with his mage staff, good. Whew. All right. One experience point, one gold. Now that's a boss. All right, uh... There's 45,000 gold I'll never need. And, uh, more gold. Great. All right, we're super rich, guys. Don't worry. So, here's this. There's a stone plate on the floor. You sense something... evil? Now, if you remember way back when, we were told that this loot can ward off evil, and you're supposed to play the loot here. The tune plays, revealing a stairway. You have to play the loot here, 2,000 years in the past, to remove this stone to continue down into the Temple of Fiends. Left. Let's go left. Yeah, all right. I like how uh, every floor basically has the same layout as... Oh, Chimera and Gymeras! Not Gymeras! I set to some defenses with the white shirt. I like how the layout of every floor is still basically the same as like the Temple of Fiends on the first floor, like where you enter in. It's kind of a neat uh, setup. I don't know what a Gymera is, but they're dying pretty quickly. Peep, if you would please. Wrap. Alright, P, why don't you go for the kill while Jared and Ian get some more hit points on the party. Yay! Look, it's it's not a whole lot, but every little bit counts. If we keep it consistent, it should stave off a lot of the terrible damage we've been suffering throughout this entire place. If we maybe maybe after these floors, if there's no more frost or gas dragons, we'll fare way better. I think all of these are empty. 
I think. There's a stairway down. Ooh. Another first strike against Jimeras. Thor hammer. No. Nah, change my mind. I keep wanna default the end to doing damage. That's what I was doing the entire time. I was grinding, but now I just wanna. Now I just need him to get us any and all hit points. Which we're doing alright overall. Juice close to max or is that max? Jurd and Ian are pretty much at or close to max. Peeps still got a little bit of pain on them, but it shouldn't be too hard to fix. Yeah, between the these guys, should be able to kick on two regular Chimera. Another one dead! And Jurd goes in for the final stabbing. Yay! It's a lot of experience points. We're level up pretty quickly in here compared to what I was doing outside. Alright, so down here... What's this place? Another regular ass worm. We're just gonna beat him up. Ow. Take that! This sprite work is awesome. He's got like a massive amount of drool like flying out of his face. He's just going... That's cool looking. I like it. Alright, everyone's at max except for P. Which is pretty much right where we want to be, since Peep can take a lot of hits. Um, my. Alright, so this is oh, this is back where we, like we first entered. So I had to go all the way up and around, which means there's gonna be frost dragons, <laughs> which is what I was about to say. Okay, death. I oh, just gotta kill him as fast as possible. <laughs> As we suck blizzard damage. No. Oh. Just as I was saying, hey, we're doing way better in our hit points. Four frost dragons show up. Yay. Kill him. Kill him. Good. Fire from Joof. Weak. 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 Damn. Was it up to help Jerk kill one? Yes. He is Thorhammer. Mostly inconsequential. Alright, but we can get some more peels off. As Shoof and Peeb finish them off. Ha! Yeah. Oh, that was a big hit! Why can't it be like that every time, Joof? Oh, Joof got both of them! Awesome! Take that experience points as we keep running. Alright, so down on the upper left. Brings us back to here. Four earth elementals. Yeah, look, you guys, you guys really aren't gonna be all that tough. Let's let's uh let's be real. Oh, I say as they punch Jew for 94. I mean, they're they're not as tough as everything else we fought. They don't have crazy AOE attacks or anything. Oh, peeps real low. Let's, let's get some hit points on everyone, huh? Let's get some hit points. Jerd. Damn it. Son of a bitch lived. Alright, same thing. Same thing. Keep using that heel hat. Imagine he just has his helmet. He's running up to all of us and just giving us a quick rub, healing up, runs over to Jerd, gives him a quick rub, rubs it on himself, runs over to Joof, rubs it on him. He's like, where does it hurt most? And just presses the helmet against it. Oh! 700 damage from Peeb! That's the highest he's ever done! I mean, he's on an earth elemental, so he's on the weaker side, but still. Ah, man, you know what I should have done before I win here? Went back and fought some imps. That could have been funny. Did I just go backwards? Totally did. I'm sorry. I'm paying attention. I, I saw a stairway, and my mind was automatically like, go there! Four Magigolums. Uh, fire? Oh, Jerk sticks on a Magigolum all by himself. I don't know how much fire damage is gonna do to him. Not a whole lot. All right. Come on, oh, good dodge. Ian throws up invisibility on all of us. Protect us from the Magigolum attacks. 
Bow, 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 bow. Peep takes on another mud golem. Good. Let's heal. And try ice? I feel like I want to freeze mud so you can easily shatter it. Eh? Or, or they're just resistant to magic in general. Alright, get more hit points on the party. Peep kills that one. Another 700 damage. Oh, yeah, that's way more impressive. That was against a mud golem. Tight. Alright, no stairway there, so we're gonna go all the way around these buildings. Whoop, to the lower right, maybe? That's where I would imagine the path forward is. Uh, lightning? Just hear me out. Hear me out. Lightning against mud. If Pokemon's taught me anything, this is a brilliant idea. Nailed it. Sick deeps. Actually, did okay against the rock column. <laughs> Killed it, at least. You see, and throw some hit points on everybody. Beam! Chopping down that mud golem down into just regular mud. It's no longer golem like, that's all that matters. Three earth elementals, which I really don't care about. I like how Ian's basically here acting as a regenerator for all of us. Thankfully, we're not fighting anything too crazy in here. Just trying to conserve spells and healing items. Ow. Ow. Then you're dead. And Peep can easily kill it on its own, so let's get double heals from Jurd and Ian. Yeah, teamwork. Oh, unless Joof kills it. No, he doesn't. Alright. Oh, we hit Jurd for their 76. So this is why we need to throw up the heals. More hit points. Kill it, Peep. Good. Whew. Another thousand experience points. Stairway down here. Yep. Good, good. Oh. Oh, it's the Lich! He's back! Now, now this isn't just a repeat fight. He is a returning boss, but he's actually going to be way more difficult than what we fought before. Um... Oh, oh fast peep. Throw up a heal. And then he was weak to fire, so Joof, blast him with fire three. <laughs> that sucked. That was only 80. Alright. Hopefully a fast peep can do way better. Jerd, you gotta go fast. Hits peep for 27. Yeah. Peep attacks for 5 hits, 426, and kills him with a crit. Alright, cool. That went way better than expected. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be harder. Maybe not. Alright. That's one floor down. So you can already see the theme what's gonna happen here. We're going into the past. We're gonna fight all the fiends again. Oh, hello. You know what? I'm gonna choose to run. Just just to help save us on some uh, some hit points. Ooh, and the red giant and the gamba showing up. You know what that means? This floor is the fire floor. Uh, this way. Couple of agamas. Alright, well, let's we'll throw some heals. These guys won't hurt us a whole lot. Plus, you just got the black shirt. Yeah, their heat spell sucks. And we can heal through that with just our items. Wow, oh, this final dungeon is going to be longer than I thought it was. Hope you're all excited. Nice. Yeah, more hit points. Okay, we can be able to use these fights for like the Healy fights. We kill them really slowly while Jordan and Ian give us free hit points. That's the wrong item. There we are. Juke stab! Ha! That would have been amazing if he killed it. Q. 
healing up. Awesome. Here we go. Starting to feel a little bit better about our situation. Yeah, okay. Cool. So everyone but Peeb is once again nearing their max. Peep can easily kill a freaking iguana, even if he is a fire one. Grab his experience points and move on. What? Fire giant. I got free spells, dude. Oh, you're dead. As soon as he peep walk forward, it's to see death approach. And Dread killed one too. We're a good team. Down here? You kind of already saw where we need to go. Like we saw this stairway early on. Oh, hello, gentlemen. Again, you're pretty easy to kill, so I'm gonna get some more hit points off of you. Ian is just an radiating his healing aura around him this entire time. Maybe based around the item, but without his presence, everyone's wounds would just be so wide open and blood would be dripping down his arms. But so long as we are near Ian, we are safe. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to even hit hard. Fire Giant can still do some damage. Everyone else sucks. Get some more hit points. Yeah, okay. We can handle this. We can handle this. Yeah. I murdered the crap out of an iguana. PBG murders the crap out of an iguana. Iguama. 2,000 experience points for that. Oh, a druid level up! Not a whole lot of hit points, but we got another point of strength and agility. And Ian levels up too! Strength, intelligence. Joof leveled up! Got four more hit points. All right, so what is down here? Treasure? By tombstones? Eh. Oh, okay. Can't hold anymore? Oh, is it the armor thing? I don't know if I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can drop this. Peep doesn't have a hat on. I should give him a hat. Oh, a protection cape! Uh, I can give that instead of... Uh, maybe Jerd's ice shield? No, I want to keep him with the Aegis. Hold on. Jerd... 55, 67. And 51, 65. This is actually worse. Alright, so he's gonna stick with the ice shield. Whoop. I actually took a step past. I don't think any of the other things out here were super worth it. Like, there is one thing I definitely want to get. But I don't remember if... I don't think any other armors on here are crazy good. Yeah, in fact, I'm more and more think about it. I think that's the case. So I think I can actually ignore most of the treasures. Save for one. Peep leveled up! Strength up! Agility up! Intelligence up! And some more hit points. Not a crazy amount for them, but some more. Is there a uh, treasure over here too? Alright, I'll bite. What's in it? Same situation as before. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Fuck it. The protection ring. Okay. Can you... Ooh. Hold on, let me check P real quick. 66, 60, 68. 66, 70. Oh, okay, an actual upgrade. Awesome. And the protection ring should kill him from, like, rub and stuff. Which is really good. All right, let's move on. Going down. Just kidding! Because it's carry. You're seeing the theme now. All right, let's... So the last fight went way better than, than expected. So let's just beat the shit out of carry. Fire three. We are mostly protected. Minimize that damage. P, you're now far more powerful than she could ever imagine. 
between the both of us. Oh, she lived. She lived from both of our assaults. Juve, surprised by this, pr prepares his black shirt ice two spell and launches it out. For 30? That's it? Phoebe and Jared, after resting for a moment, leap back in with their swords. Uh, Teal. As, as Juve realizes his shirt is no longer sufficient, he starts powering up his ice three blast. The air circles around him and starts to darken and chill. Jerd! Katana cuts! Ooh, another crit, but doesn't kill it. Ha! Ah, your up spell failed! Fuck you! There we go, we killed it. Whopping 500 experience points, and then we can go down. Whew. Oh, we are like halfway through the dungeon. Oh look, great sharks and big eyes! This must be the water part! More hit points. Zeus Gauntlet! Whew. Yeah, this place is way longer than I thought it was. It's not like, it's not very confusing. It looks confusing, but it isn't. It makes you wrap around a little bit before you start going down and you visit floors again, but it's kind of a cool effect to just go up and back around down it. But it's very clear about the pathway you need to take, which is good. Because a lot of other times games aren't like that. Looking at you, Final Fantasy 2. Oh, bye, big guy. Alright, so we are now down on the water floor, and we're gonna continue in on here. We are halfway through the Temple of Fiends. And all we need to do is. Uh. Find the exit? Where am I going? Whoop. Oh, look at all these dudes! I want to blast him with lightning, but I really don't need to when I got two people who can do that for free. It's Thor Hammer and Juve Zeus Gauntlet. I got a sneeze. Shit. Oh. Oh, don't do a sneeze. Don't tease me like this and then go away. That's the worst feeling. Ah. Ah, you got me. Ah, oh, you bastard. No. Ah. All right. Well. Yeah. Lightning from Juve and Egan. Zap. Buy a lobster. <laughs> Good. And then Ian's lightning immediately follows up. Beeb and Jared are focusing on those trolls, so they'll be able to take those down. Yeah, just lightning. Free lightning. I think the water floor should be the easiest, just because of the Thor, the Thor hammer and the Zeus gauntlet. Ah, oh, a surprising amount of them lived. Alright. That's fine. You won't be terribly difficult to kill. I'll even get some heals off while I'm doing it. Zap! 80 damage. 62 damage. See snake that. Good. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's try this way. Uh. Oh, there's a stairway down. I don't know if this is actually... Doesn't look like this might be the right path, though. A familiar fight with familiar tactics. More free lightning blasts. Oh, Jared already takes out a troll. Nice. So we don't need to worry about him fighting. And Juve Zeus Gauntlet! Zap. There we go, yeah, 100 damage, 160. Kill him. Kill him all! I wonder if I, if I kill enough of these guys in the past, will they go extinct in the present? Cause that'd be nice. Ah, oh, that one snake's gonna live. Ah, oh, you son of a. All right, fine. Keep hoping I can solve this fight in a single round, but it's not quite working. They, they have like no hit points left after those lightning blasts. Speaking of, let's get some of our hit points back. Eh. Yeah, double heals. Mostly Peeb and Juve need it right now. Jerd and Ian are doing alright. Zeus Blast! 
That... Excellent. Okay, so... Oh wait, maybe this is right. Down here, and then up through this building? Yep. Don't know why there's a bunch of graves there. I don't see any treasure or anything over here, so... We can just, uh, move on. I mean, I, I guess I could chill in here for a while and try to get another level up. Oof. But I'd rather not have something wrong, which would force me to leave and come back. Because it already took a lot of effort just to get to this point. Oh, this, this water elemental is super dead. Oops, not ice armor. Heal. And heal. Or, or Juf instantly kills it. Oh, it lived! Damn it! Oh, what it hit! Ah! That's fine. At least it was Jerd, who was already at full hit points. It, it could have been worse. Yeah. I'm feeling really good about our party. I can tell you that. Okay, ignoring that, I believe it's down here, from what I could tell. Yes. And then east of this way, that'll get us down to the next floor. Oh! Oh! Print of Strike! Damn it. And they poisoned Ian, that's so obnoxious. You, you jerks. Jerks! You jerks, all of you. You know what? Just for you. I am gonna blast lightning too. Hope you're happy. Hope you're happy. Now you got three sources of lightning coming your way. You're all dead. Oh damn, there's beating the hell out of Ian. Yeah, zap. Oof. Well, there we go. Slightly better Joof. I could probably be a little more liberal with some of Joof's spells. We are, we are getting through this dungeon pretty quickly. Let's try to hold on to a lot of them and... Might be a little, might be too stingy. I mean, it's like level one spells at this point, really whatever. Those aren't so important. All right, Jurd, finish him. Ow. Oh, well, everyone died except for that one lobster, so... Zlaps! And then Jerk turns triumphantly to the rest of the party. Fear not, friends. I have slain the enemies. You're welcome. It's a good thing I got all these pures. Stay in formation. There's a stairway down here. But of course, there's a Kraken in the way. It's a fucking party. Okay. Uh, we'll hold on to a fast, because I probably won't... Really need it as we just everyone blast with everything lightning. Blast with everything. Ink? Are you trying to darken us? Yes, silly. Ha! Four hits for six. Ooh, uh oh. Four hits for. Th oh, a crit for 391. That's better looking. Uh, so Jurd's uh, stabbing didn't quite go nearly as well as I thought it would. So let's have Peep Attack. Jurd, why don't you use your heal? And then Ian set up a dodge because he likes hitting us with all of his tentacles. Or are you gonna keep inking? Oh, he's so scared of us. He's crapping himself. And his ink is coming out. <laughs> that's that's obviously what's happening. Of course. Well, just in case you try something. Now we all got sick evasion. Take this! Another critical from Peeb for 200. Zeus Gauntlet from Joof. There's 60 damage. Alright, let's, uh, same plan. Same plan. Ian, back to your Thor hammer. While this Jerd gets us a little bit more hit points. Zap! Oh! <gasps> you just killed Joof right away with a crit! Oh, no! That means he'll lose out on experience points. Not a lot, but. Ah! Uh... I'm sorry, Joof. 
I even used the white shirt to try to protect you. The tentacles came out of nowhere. This is why we have... Ooh. Ooh I kind of want the wall and fades, though. You know what? We use a life one on you. So he gets a hit point. And then we'll use all these heal potions. Ooh, you're okay, buddy. You're okay. You only lost on like 600 experience points. Which probably puts you back close to what P was at. Yeah? Yeah, so you're like back in back in line with P. Good thinking, Joof. It's a bro move of you. Alright. One more floor. This, of course, is this going to be the Tiamat floor. This is also where I want to find the thing. Two zombie dragons and a wizard vampire. Uh, heal helmet and fire. We'll kill the zombie dragons first. Well, we're watching the guardians of the castle of ordeals. I'd rather them not do whatever it is they do. Spit poison, maybe? I don't know. Get some hit points on everyone. This bit you for 150. Damn it. What's your problem? Alright, now there's just a lone wizard vampire left. Everyone, heals, heals where we got him. Heals, mage staff. Don't kill Juve. Don't kill Juve. Go peep! Slay the vampire! Hooray! Good. So, I believe it's down here. Uh. Wait. Nope. Damn it. Gotta find this thing. Air elementals! But uh, I don't remember fighting these before. Did I? I may have. D -d -d hit them with your things. I don't know. We got a preemptive strike. Should probably be fine. Yeah, alright. Black shirt does decent amount of damage. I don't know how well lightning blast will do against them. Oh! Pretty good as well. Alright, we'll be okay. Uh, if any of them actually die. Sure. Alright, good. Way to cut air. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, killing them left and right. Oh, they don't, they don't hit hard at all. Two left, Joof. Are you able to kill a one with your blast? Nope. Nope. Alright, well. Thanks for helping. Try your own. Try your own Zeus Gauntlet, Joof. If you get it off in time. Yes! Hit points for me in! I should probably heal up Joof again. A lot of things are critting for like 150. That puts him at, like, danger levels when he just gets down to a mere 200. If only he was getting more hit points at his level ups. That's what I blame. Uh, more heal potions. Oh, that Sneeze is back. Teasing me. Oh, make up your mind, Sneeze. I swear to God. Okay, if it's not here... Is it over here? Hold on. Rock golems. These guys aren't even that, that tough. They're not even that tough. They're not even that tough. Just gonna say, for being rocks, you're not hard. Heh. <laughs> Good peeb. There, yeah, I told you. Of course it freaking attacks Joof. They hate some. I don't know why. Over here? Uh, God damn it. Wow, regular vampires? Really? I'm like embarrassed you're showing your faces. Uh, you know what? Joof. Why don't you use Fire 3? Cause it's funny. Joof, remember the time you killed a single vampire with Fire 3? Back in your. Not even the 20 levels? Now I'll do it three times. <laughs> 
Alright, cool. <laughs> Bye. Down. Oh, oh, is this it? I think this is it. This looks like it would be it. Four worms? Uh, let's try fire. I feel like these guys have an insta-death ability. Which should be fine, because we all have protect rings on. Alright, mage staffed into crazy damage. Freaking... Alright, apparently this is a pathway to dune. Or tremors. Take your pick. Hello. Uh, black shirt. Ow! There we go, peeps. 700 damage off of that crit. So good. Hopefully we see something like that against the last boss. Wow, he lived after that crit from Jerd? Okay. Did you already use his attack? Damn it. Alright, alright, let's get some heals. He bit for a lot. Juve stab! Kill it! He did it! Yeah, Juve killed this! Stabbed a worm and killed it. 4,000 experience off of these dudes. Alright. Is this it? I think it's this. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, hold on. Just to be sure. Uh, let's get Ian some hit points. Okay, was there a, uh... There wasn't! Ha! In the treasure box you found the Masamune. Oh, I'm sorry, Masamune. Oh, hell yeah. So, this sword is awesome. Here's a, here's a really fun fact about this sword. And it's that, um, anyone can use it. So, Juf, you want this sweet sword and stab things for 63 damage? Cause you totally can! Oh, I'm sorry, Ian, were you bored of your Thor hammer? What if you had the Masamune? Now, the thing is... I think the Masamune actually does slightly more damage than the Excalibur? Let me double check. Yeah, 70, 135... To 81, 150. Ooh. Ooh, that is a lot. But, Peeb is the only one that can equip the Excalibur. So because of that, we're gonna give the Masamune to Jurd. 71, 115. Oh, oh, suddenly Jurd's got more attack power than Peeb! Ha ha ha! Main reason I'm doing that is because if I give it just to, if I give the Masamune to Peeb and get him even higher, everyone else is still just weakened. And I could give it to Ian or Ju for hilarious attacks. I could, yes. But I'd rather them, as mages, I'd rather them be able to focus on their spellcasting ability. So this is like the best treasure you can find in this whole place. And I'll show you. As a jerd goes to fight off a zombie dragon with his new blade. I want to see it. Oh, I don't remember what the graphic was for it. I think it was the scimitar, but white. Come on, Jared. Just give him a chance. Ooh, that wizard just punched P for a hundred. That's no joke. Come on, Jared. Oh, they're getting up on you, they know. Yes! That's a sweet looking sword. It's like the scimitar, but white, so not stupid. Uh, nah, I want Jared to cut, but I'll let him, I'll let him get some heals out, I guess. Here we are. Cool, so I think we've I've pretty much maxed my party out in terms of equipment. The only thing more I could do to improve them would be to go back and level them up to 50, which is the max, which I'm not going to do. Because it's unnecessary, and that's just, that's just almost too much. Boo -doo 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 -doo. But any level ups we gain along the way will be great. Because, uh, let me see here. 135, 115 hit percent. 
Okay. Jared's still quite a bit of ways from being able to get uh, five hits. He would need a total of, what is it, 128%? So that's like a few more levels of, uh, as long as he gets the actual agility ups to uh, get more hits off. Well, we just got a preemptive strike, which is hot. Because I mean, instantly kill two of them and get some hit points on the party. Five hits from Pete for 513. Four hits from Jerd for 383. Yeah, baby. The only thing holding me back from dealing as much damage as Peeb is I have one less hit. If it wasn't for that, we would be equals. Or I'd be stronger. Not that it matters, because we're buddies. Stop punching Joof. Oh, four hits for 395. Yes. All right, so I think let me go back then up. Hold on, I'm gonna heal up Jerd a little bit. And you. Right, this way. Yeah. All right. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, we're just gonna do what we did before. We're gonna get some heals off from Ian and Jerd as Juve blasts them with Fire 3. Ha! Ah! Suck that. All you nerds are dead. Oh, that one lived? Are you kidding me? At 150 damage? What, do you have 155 hit points? Ooh, that one lived too. Ooh, that was a big hit on Ian. Goddamn. Alright. Don't hit Juve! Oof. Ooh, they're vengeful! They're vengeful! Heal up! Heal up! Well, now we got these two nerds left. And they have like no hit points left, so... Whatever heals we get off, and then a mage staff from Joof! Yeah. Feeling a little bit better. There we are. You're super dead. And you missed. You're gonna suffer for it. Jerds at max. Boop. Death. Getting so much money. Okay. So then if you head back north from here, and then go east, whoop. Hold on, gotta kill these worms. Ha! Masamune damage! Nice! Not another one dead. God, they keep targeting Joof. Uh, black shirt? Try to freeze the, all the drool coming out of his mouth. That'll show him. Let's throw out some more heals. I mean, every time I use uh, the heal helmet or the heal staff, it's very close to basically giving the entire party a heal potion. So it's like saving me four heal potions with every use. That's just economically smart. Another fat 3,000 experience off of those dudes. Okay, and then right in there. Whoop, hold on, gotta fight these air elementals. I think hitting with lightning was my best bet. Just based off earlier experiments. Yeah, so the Masamune can be equipped by everyone in the entire game, which is silly. So if you ever want to play this and have a katana wielding white mage, you can. Nah, that's not gonna kill him. Uh, the will set us up. Uh, nah, never mind, Ian. Keep using your Thor hammer. Keep blasting him. These guys will be worth a lot of experience too. I don't think we're close to a level up. 
I mean, we're at the point where we need like 30,000 some experience points every t for the next level each time now. Not that it's impossible to level up off here, but pretty unlikely. There's also not a whole lot left for us to do. Heal helmet! Nice. Okay. Damn it! Son of a bitch lived. Ha! Okay. I need to heal Joof again. Oh, a peep digging to level up! Strength up! 688 hit points, that's what I'd like to see. Jern leveled up! Strength up, agility up, intelligence up, luck up. Ian leveled up, who got way more hit points than Jern. Damn it. That upsets my... Okay, let's, uh, heal Joof. Heal Joof. It's actually not bad that Ian gets more hit points. I'm better at taking hits than he is with my armor and dodge capabilities. Just gonna throw out some of these. Alright, much better. Alright, here we go. So right in here... Is Tiamat. Yes! Alright! Now if you recall correct before, this fight was no joke. So, let's use... Alright, Jared, fast yourself. Ian... Um... Can I... I just use a... Use the white shirt to protect us from physical attacks. And then Joof, you're gonna fast Peeb. We're gonna make them as fast as possible, so we can do all of our melee hits. Yeah, screw your Bane spell. We're protected. It wasn't that long we fought you. Not that long ago we fought you. So we're gonna do it again. Yeah, buff us up, buff us up, buff us up. Okay. Now the melee fighters are ready to go. Get in there! And second white shirt to double up on the protection. I think that works. And Joof! Uh, let's hit him with uh, Lightning 3. That's probably a mistake. Yeah, it was. Oh well. Oh, 200 damage on Peeves! Team at still a threat. Nine hits from P for 380 damage! Yeah, that's why, that's why we're stacking up the uh, white shirt effect for the invisibility. Because... Jared hits for seven times, 177. Uh, Ian, why don't you use a uh, heal two? No, it was just Peep who got hurt. Uh, cure two, Peep. Shoof! Uh... Ice three! Ah! Work better! Hit! Mm, still not great. Peep so fast! Eight hits, all critical! Killed! Haha! -ha. That's what happens when we're so fast and we're critting all the time. Joof leveled up! Got like, what? Four more hit points? Come on, man. Okay. Oh, uh, what do you want, Rock Olms? We just fought Tiamat. Think we care about you? Well, that's, that's it. We defeated the four fiends. But the game's not over yet. What else could there be? Jerd kills with a rock golem. Oh, this feels so good. Remember when you all doubted Jerd? It was just a setup to show how cool he was this entire time. Actually, pretty much everyone in the entire party is cool. <laughs> like this, this is a cool party. Everyone does it. Everyone's got their own thing going. Everyone's awesome. Feels good, bruh. You know, usually in RPGs you have the one or two party members, usually at some point, we're just like, this dude sucks, why is he here? I don't want him. You're just kind of stuck with it. Alright, downstairs some more. To a familiar scene. What's this room? Alright, before we step in, we gotta heal up to the max, because this is it, baby. We have 33 heals, we're gonna use them. 
get everyone healed up. Uh, which thankfully consists of just Peeb. Everyone's max. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the final boss. What? Is that who I think it is? Remember me, Garland? Your puny lot thought it had defeated me, but the four fiends sent me back 2,000 years into the past. From here, I sent the four fiends to the future. The fiends will send me back to here, and the time loop will go on. After 2,000 years, I will be forgotten, and the time loop will close. I will live, live forever, and you shall meet your doom! Chaos, the final battle, the true form of Garland. So basically, in case you couldn't tell, so the reason the four fiends uh, exist in the modern day was because they were released by Garland, who did that in the past, which is why the four fiends were able to exist to modern day to send Garland into the past. And he did all this, all this on purpose so that he would live forever as his final true form of chaos. This fight is no joke, because if you don't do it right, you, he can completely heal himself and do all this crazy, crazy nonsense. <sighs> Alright, so uh, we need to set up some... Uh, I think it's the best if I just go in Cutton. Jerd sets up the fast. Ian set up the white shirt to protect us from melee attacks. And Juf also fast Jerd. Now what sucks is even though it's like the final boss in the game, and that, that is an awesome looking sprite, just really intimidating looking. There's no new battle music for it, sadly. They do give it new battle music in the uh, remakes and stuff, but for the original game, it's still the exact same song, which is lame. Maybe this is it. Final boss. Peep and Jerda fast. Ian is protecting us. Alright, going cutting, going cutting. Uh. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Ian, wall yourself. That was and then Joof? It's time. Nuke him. <laughs> Alright, he likes using the elemental spells. That's a lot of damage. Oh, hang in there, Joof. Nuke! 170 damage, which is a lot to the final boss. Jerd, 5 hits, 130 damage! Ian, set up the wall. He's protected against everything. Peeb, 8 hits for 267 to the crit. Well done, well done. Uh. You know what? Why don't you wall Joof as well? Because I don't want him to stay alive. Joof, keep nuking. Yeah. Six more hits from Peeb with another crit. Oh, Chaos punches Peeb back for 240. Jerd, seven hits, 160 damage. A wall up on Joof. Now he's protected from the elements as well. And he launches off another nuke against Chaos. 149. Joof and Jerd, undeterred, keeps the blade swinging. Seeing the damage fall upon the party, Ian, uh, uh, heal two, get some hit points on everybody. Juve, you still have two more nuke spells left. Keep blasting them! It's our strongest spells! Ian leads off with another regenerative circle on the whole party, which is much needed. Peep cutting! Nine hits for 270 damage, critical hit! Ooh, slow two on Peep, failed! Too fast! Too fast! 300 damage from Jerd! He's still alive! Juf with the nuke! 116! Terminated! The nuke kills it! You killed me so hard, you destroyed the backdrop! Uh, also, fun fact, you've played uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia at all. Uh, Chaos is the same final boss in the Dissidia games. It uses the same plot. It's kind of neat. That's it. Dead. Dead. The time loop is now broken. Your 2,000 year long battle is over. Peace prevails. Control of the four elements, the earth, the wind, the fire, and the water, again belongs to the earth. Garland's hatred burned for 2,000 years. That hatred 
led the four fiends to this world. It says four powers, but it's, it's, it was the fiends. Chaos was created from those four. Evil dominated the world and covered it in darkness. For, for 2,000 years? But it is over now. Wrong has been set right. The light warriors are returning. As they travel in time, the world returns to normal. Sarah and Jane? Wait for them. Of course, Garland does too. Who the heck is Jane? Who's Jane? But when did it ever happen? So even this game's like, time travels crazy. Who knows how it works in the plot? Everything went mad in a day. The reason lies in the 2000 year time loop. The four chose to become one force in the fight against the four evil forces that set darkness upon the world. When the four return, it'll be to their past. All signs of the battle with the forces will be erased, saying the Light Warriors, when they return, all their battles with the fiends, not there. But the legend will live on, passed down by the dwarves, the elves, and the dragons. Passed on by peoples unsure where the story came from. The Light Warriors return from their journey back in time 2,000 years. Their, the memories stored deep in their hearts will protect the world. Never forget the good and true. It's good words. Never turn the four powers to the dark side. Four fiends, don't, don't make them sith. And truth will always live in the hearts of the people. It's a nice, neat little bow ending. The warrior who broke the 2000 year time loop is truly a light warrior. That warrior was me? I was the ninja. May the orbs always shine. It's yet another one of those old NES games where like the real winner is you. And this is, in case you're wondering where all the graphs were in this game, it's right here. So I'll let that play out. So what's kind of interesting about this whole time loop is that it was self-fulfilling because it was the Light Warriors who went back into the past to defeat the Four Fiends there who became Chaos and defeated Chaos because the Four Fiends were sent to the present by past Garland and those the, few, the, the present Fiends sent Garland to the past so the past Garland could send the Fiends to the future or whatever. Basically what I'm getting at is that the prophecy that you've been hearing about this entire game saying like though I hear the Light Warriors are supposed to show up with the crystals and save everything. Well, yeah, that's because that's what we did in the past. But because we did it in the past, it made everything okay. Time travel. The end. Also, I don't know why the final song to this game is basically a remix version of this town theme rather than, say, the Final Fantasy Overture, that awesome song that played when we crossed the bridge. But whatever. Maybe it's because the towns are peaceful and everything is right again. And that's it. This is another one of those games where once it's over, it's it's over. You gotta press reset. But dudes, we did it. We finished Final Fantasy 1. I, I have not done that in well over a decade. I did it alongside my friends and all of you watching. That felt awesome. I had such a good time. I really appreciate everyone who's watching. I really appreciate everyone who's making uh, really cool fan art of uh, the entire series. I started putting them at the end of videos. It's just a, a means to say thank you. But thank you to everyone who made fan art. Thank you to everyone who watched. Thank you to everyone who commented or showed support. Or any of that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to all of the Light Warriors deep inside all of us. And thus, our journey comes to a close. Final Fantasy 3 is next. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. 
See you next time!